Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you can stick around, but... <laughs> Get the fuck off my stream. <laughs> you can sit on the floor for the rest. I got the shitty old, like, garden chair. The one with the holes where your ass usually falls through the, the hole? Usually, yeah. Yeah, those, I hate those chairs. Those are the worst. Those, ch those chairs suck. Those are, those are like the absolute like worst kind of chair that if you have any of those chairs, I'm always like, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, this intro is so crusty. Dude, this intro is great. Like, this is this is just great. You see this as a kid, and you're like, hell yeah. Get hyped for Digimon. <laughs> It was just the sick guitar. Just ignore the 2D oh, no characters for 3D models. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> well, they had no need to model the uh, the tamers. See, that looks like a guitar. That guitar oh, dude, is so good. Is that the, the temple from uh, Melee? I love that level. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is just straight up 90s. I love it. I love it too. Despite what I'm saying, I actually I love stuff like this. Mm-hmm. I grew up on this game, and this game was this game was a lot of fun as a kid. Recently, 100% of it again. Fun time. Oh, that cheap motherfucker right there. Oh. <laughs> I have wanted you to go through arcade mode because the final boss of the arcade mode is uh, such bullshit. It is amazing. Yo. Going, or doing. Thanks, Steve Bloom. Was that Steve Bloom? Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck <laughs> is that Steve? What the fuck? That is Steve Bloom. That is fucking Mr. Spike Spiegel, Cowboy Bebop himself. <laughs> Hi. Hey, hello. We got uh, Captain Falcon. What's up? Blue Williams. Hello. Seraphim. Good to have you. Bruce. Welcome. Tiger. Hello. Trolling Chuckle. Welcome. Thank you for the follow again. I don't know why, which is weird things, but whatever, it's not important. Christian Shark, hey, look at it, bro. What's up, Orgrimmar? How's it going? I have a very special announcement today that I have not even told Maniacal. So, oh, well, uh, welcome, hello, hi, Mana, welcome. Uh, you fools, uh, Drag, hello again. You fools like to spend so many goddamn points and waste them that now, if you go to the stream, like, okay, thanks, Twitch, telling me that I need to learn my channel points thing. You will notice, uh, there is, uh, a new waste of points. Oh, nice. But, it's a special waste. It is a community one million waste. And what happens, say the community pulls together to waste a million? Literally fucking nothing. <clears throat> Good. Absolutely nothing will happen. But you like wasting points so much, why don't you make an effort out of it? How many points can you waste as a community? It should be there. You could do uh, 2,000 per person a stream. And it's set for 30 days. That Wasting points like that does not contribute, though. Unfortunately, ZRK. Is it on mobile? If it's in the point option on mobile, it should be. Can't contribute on mobile? It's shame. That's annoying. It's like the super mega ultra hyper waste of points. So, ZRK, you were so awful that you, you didn't even put your points towards the, the proper waste. How dare you? <laughs> Thank you, though. Uh, yo, how you doing? Secret welcome, Dr. Pepper. Get ahead. I'll be announcing it uh, a few times later today. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get the show on the road. I don't know anything about Digimon. Alright, that, that's what I'm here for, apparently. Everyone's just throwing their points towards the wrong thing. That doesn't count. What are you gonna play with? Is it All actually right. working? Can you, can you see the waste? Uh... Like on your end? So 
I can see it happening on the side. Um, there, should, there should be a thing that says 2000. People are saying it's not working for them, though. Well, hold up. Let me let me let me double check this uh, really quick. All right. Nice, nice. thank you so much. Very thank you for the nice. uh, resub. Happy really community it. night. Oh, I have to start it. That's why. So I'm gonna start oh, it right oops. now. Now it is started. Now you should. Well, be able there to we see go. It. I've never done channel point uh, things like that. All right, so let's go through who we have here. We have here Gabumon. He becomes a wolf. That's about it. Uh, here's Agumon. He's the mascot. He becomes a mech. Fourteen man. thousand already. <laughs> Jesus. All right, here's Padamon. He becomes an angel. Terramon, he becomes an actual mech. Uh, Gilmon, he becomes a knight. Renamon, she becomes is a... It, isn't Gilmon and Agumon the same? No, they're very different, actually. Uh, Renamon becomes a kind of shrine lady kind of person. Wormon becomes a common rider. Uh, Vmon becomes this big, like, buff dude. And Gatamon either becomes a sexy angel or a dragon, or like a pink dragon. Okay. I know all the furries want me to pick Renamon, because of course they do. If I'm gonna be real with you, Renamon is the best character in the game. <laughs> so, by that logic, I am gonna say, heck, Renamon, we will play as someone else first. Playing as my favorite. I'm gonna play as uh, my main. Actually, if you hold L1, R1, Square, and X, I think that should give you an alternate color. Too late. Well, I did it for myself, though. I think it worked. It, oh, the sound is terrible for this game. Oh, shout out to Takato on having his actual uh, VA. This is some other guy. So uh, here are the stages. They all have different effects to them. Uh, let's just pick one and you can see the effects for yourself. Okay. You should have all the stages except for Reapermon's Den, which you unlock by beating a single player. Pepper Breath. Oh, my favorite. There are multiple characters you can unlock in this game. You can unlock all the characters' evolutions. Uh, for use in uh, multiplayer, as well as Ready? Imperial Dramon Paladin Mode, who is the combination of of Wormon and Vmon. Oh, nice. I guess I got a high score. Yeah. Nice. There As is... someone who's never done anything Digimon except for like one time on stream and I played apparently the bad version of this game. Like, like the you, played the, you played the bad sequel. So uh, I don't know anything about Digimon, but already I can tell you uh, as, as a person uh, clearly winning. Your Bidoof is awful, step up your- What do you mean my Bidoof? Agumon is not a Bidoof. R1 to Digivolve. Oh no, as well, this is gonna take forever. As well as R1 to use your special attack once you've digivolved. Now, Agumon, digivolve. Triangle and circle are your special attacks. I'm down here. Okay. Oh, there's items. That one confuses you. Of course it does. Why, why would I pick that up? Nice. I won. All is set within the world. So yeah, I know I know nothing about <laughs> Digimon. Anyone talking about Digimon to me, other than Renamon is, is the furry character. That's all I know. I guess this is a pretty good Smash Bros. Better than PlayStation All Stars, which just doesn't say much. Mm. No! Yo, oh boy, what's up? Glad you welcome. Hey, there's no grabbing on the ledge, is there? There is not. I can explain why I wasn't grabbing it either time. Digivolution. It takes so long though to digivolve. It does. And that's the only unfortunate thing. I'm sure you could easily just have it be 
say it and have it happen while people are moving. Oh, by the way, L1 is to guard. What's that? I honestly don't know. I think that one can make you Digivolve. This one, you use the circle attack and you get an item like that. Uh, you can use, like, say, like, that's a fire that you can just use it and hurt. So, what's, what's the appeal of Digimon? Like, they're the champion? They Digivolve into Digivolve Champion? Is that the uh, the appeal of Digimon, I would say, is definitely the kind of the story. People would say that the animated Digimon series are better than the Pokemon. Let's play again. It's Pokemon, you but they lean into the furry angle. Ah, <laughs> the darkest timeline. Yeah. Of course. I don't like the Sandy River. Every time. It just Digivolve immediately. That's cheating. Well, uh, too bad. No. No, 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 no. You're gonna beat up a child? Yeah. I'm a royal knight. That's actually what Gallantmon is. He's one of the royal knights, along with like many other Digimon. Was that, was that make Agumon? Uh, nothing. Just an Agumon. Oh! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Remember, all I want to use your super? I know, kidding. What the? Okay. Ah, fuck. Throwing around. As much as it makes me sad, Gilmore is one of the worst characters in this game, which sucks because he's like my favorite. That didn't sound anything like you. Yeah, that, that's Agumon's voice. It's like, Hi, Ty! I guess for a 30 minute look, this will this be pretty neat. Alright, yeah. since I know everyone here wants me to play as them, I guess I have no choice. Let's play as Garmon. Or Garmon. Yo, Garmon. Garmon's a good choice. Let's be Garmon. You can do it, Garmon. I don't like that guy. Get him, Garmon. No, Which right. one? He looks weird. I was Ken. Try this one. God, like this game feels really lazy and low budget. Like, I can see it, why it you say that because of the voice clips. Like I'm, I'm having fun with it, but it's like, oh my god, the present, the like the way they present this game is terrible. Mm hmm. Yeah, there are some unlockable characters. Uh, Beelzemon is definitely one of them. I was gonna say, well, uh, not no, there's Imperial Jamon Paladin mode, Reapermon, Black War Greymon. Uh, who else is unlockable? Yeah, there were there were passwords, and I put them in before the stream, oh. but they didn't kind of work. Omnimon. Also, the music in this game is super good. It's like, I mean, yeah, the music's good. I can get behind it. Gabi does not look like a wolf. What the fuck am I Yeah, you have to run into it. You can't, like, hit it. You bastard. Oh. Alright. Time to writer, writer this up. Common writer? Hell yeah. I assume the, de the design is supposed to be a common writer. It looks, this it thing looks is like the original common writer. This thing is straight up a common writer. I think you did this as your first trip or two. Uh, it was definitely one of them, yeah. You did, you did one of the Digimon games. Oh yeah, this, this is the one I like 200%ed on it. I mean, if it's easy enough, I'm gonna give it a shot. It's not too bad. Oh, uh, there's more to it. Like, there's some that are like, 
win on the East difficulty, win on the hardest difficulty, win without losing a round, win without digivolving, like the entire like arcade mode, stuff like that. Digivolution. Your internet is having a fit, oh no. <laughs> oh, I think you got it at the very end, nice. You win. Oh fuck! <laughs> Done, son. Please stop. He is baby. How do I use this item? That's a that's a negative item. That one makes you confused. It didn't look like that on the other level, did it? Not found on the confusion. I don't want to hear you using horny shooter. Stop using the horn shooter. No, stop being horny. No, hi. Digivolution. And no DSD. Sorry. Yeah, I can't do it. A lot of them are going to be weird if I do them. Um, maybe at one point I'll land them. Am I believable for me? Uh, you could say that, yeah. It's a uh, Mega Gargomon right there. Or, no, 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 I'm sorry. Metal Garurumon. <laughs> chat, do you see this? Your the chat is the referee. I need you to, to weigh in on the PS. Do you see this legal cheating? Oh, it's cheating. Absolutely cheating. No other way to look at it. You're done. Get back here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck, timer scale. You win. Devin, I, I don't know anything. I, I don't know how, uh. I'm not a Say, there's the seven Digi Destined or Chosen Children, depending on which dub you watch. I just know there's that intro of people like Butterfly. That's the original. I need to stop. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Are you work? Thanks. <laughs> you knocked me into the bread. Knock, knock you into the bread. All right. It's like uh, it's like he used to say, you know, time to make the donuts. It's like Gabumon's favorite uh phrase. Time to make the donuts, Matt. Uh oh. You did that to yourself. Oh, I landed on the bomb too. Ah, oh, shoot. That gave you an instant. So, that item right there, like little cross, that gives you an instant uh, gauge, like just completely full, which is nice. I think I have eye frames here. Probably don't because, you know, they, they stop the game. <laughs> Grab me out of it, nice. Yes, the movie actually does have All Star by, uh, by Smash Mouth, which is pretty incredible. That's pretty terrible. That movie is so dumb. There's so much weird stuff in it. I remember when it was fun to me about Smash Mouth, but then they caused an entire group of people to get coronavirus. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, now I'm just like, well, sucks to be uh, Smash Mouth. Mm hmm. Alright, no memeing around anymore. Since people really want it, I guess I will have to play Demon. Moment tie. Demon, suck it up! Carry him on, hang in there! Are you picking the same one again? Oh, I, I didn't see. Ah, it's fine. Oh, I don't really care. I'm sure there's not that many stages. There's a. Decent number of stages. Uh, I would honestly recommend 
I mean, we could just say that's like the one I for going to the ice. Right. Mm -hmm. We could say that's the one for not going to the ice stage because the ice stage sucks. I'm, I'm sure it has ice. Stage. Yeah, and they're really annoying. You go so far and get hurt. And now we have to do the ice stage. I'll have to play with my main on the ice stage. Ah, of course. Shows how much crap Japanese shows had to go through in order to be fully localized. I wouldn't know. Turning to one of the machines from Mega Man Legends. Yeah. It's bad. Excuse me. Uh, do you see this cheating? Come on. <laughs> We're shooting a baby, by the way. That's illegal. Digi evolution. I just want to get the baby a hug. I guess the appeal of Digimon is that the babies come back constantly, as opposed to Pokemon, where it's like, well, you evolve. Well, I mean, yeah, the, like, in Japanese, the labels are Kid, Adult, Ultimate, and... No, actually, I think it's actually Kid, Ultimate, Champion, and Mega? I don't actually remember. I can never remember what they are in Japan. Alright, your guy, your guy's cheap. Cheap. Momentai. Cheap. You see this cheap fucker? I do. Uh oh. What? Let me, we did it! Well, that was the cleanest audio file in the entire game. <laughs> By the way, for anyone just getting here, we have a new waste option. Ah, shoot. It's good that I didn't get it, because that's the that's one of the bad ones. You did get it, though. That's what I'm saying, I got it. Good for you, good for you that I got it. Usually if they're like kind of a darker blue like that, they're bad. Except for the fires. Oh, I just ran into you. Thing for contributing. Remember, you're getting absolutely nothing if that gets reached, which it will never. As advice, uh, the fires, when you grab those, whenever you get them, you can use circle uh, to use them. Oh, yeah, that's what, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. I said Digivolve! Why is he so angry about it? He's like, I said Digivolve! Davis is just Dunk. always angry. Do you see how I uppercut you and then dunked you into the air? No, 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 you don't get the gay Bowser me. <laughs> hey, I get a grab. No, 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 no gay Bowser. I'm sick of you cheating, okay? Fuck. I'm still, I'm still in this. Oh, I see what you're doing. Get back here. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're right. I was actually <laughs> trying to get health. I didn't notice the timer until you said that. I see what you're doing. Wait, I thought you were going for a timer scam. No, which, I was looking I mean, for health. I didn't see how much time was left. Time, was, time runs out pretty fast in this game. It's either 99 or infinite. It's like what your options are. Let me just stop. You, got, you can get stunned in this game? Oh, you can. The final boss will stun lock you to kill you from like he'll he'll put you from like hundred health to zero like no problem. The final boss for, for the junior nerds out there, not me. Reaper Reapermon. That, not I I don't even think it's that important like in the actual Digimon series. I don't remember where he's from. He might be from. I don't even, I don't think he was in Tamer, so he might be in Adventure Two Digimon. Either way, Reapermon. Adventure Two. The, oh, Digimon Adventure Two. That's the story with uh, Davis. Davis? Sure. Yeah, I didn't know Garfield was a, was a Digimon. Yeah, he's called Lasagnamon. He's actually really strong. He like, fuses, he DNA Digivolves. He's, he's terrible on Mondays, but every other day of the week, he's the best. Mm. 
no, stop gay bowsering me. Cut, cut that out, no! Thanks. <laughs> I saw that, I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll heal it. Damn it! <laughs> nice. Once again, welcome anyone who's uh, getting here. Hi. You win. Or else I'll pick another stage. All right. There's a good number of stages. There's like a lava pit. There's like a cyborg square. There's, there's some neat stuff here. Right. Okay, for real this time. No memeing. I mean, it's only you know, there's only one choice that everyone wants, and it's I mean, it's, it's clear. I gotta be uh, at a mall. Of course. Let's go, Petamon. Better get ready, Gatamon. Is that the ice one? Uh, no, you, you, the ice one, that's the ice one. Let's see, hold on. One, two, three. Well, we'll do the ice one, because uh, we could we probably do like three more minutes. All right. Those are my attacks. We can't see yours. Can't believe it. All I get to see yours. We we don't care about yours. Huh. Ready? Run <laughs> It begins. <laughs> this fucking stage sucks. <laughs> There's a boss I can show up on the stage sometimes, where their grab will always knock you off the stage no matter what. Which will typically do about a good, like, 15% of your health, maybe? 20%? It's a lot. It's like you get grabbed, and then you fall off the stage, and yeah, because the ice physics, you just go sliding like crazy. So it does a lot of damage in the end. That one, I'm not sure what it does, to be honest with you. I think it's a defense up. Does it? I don't know. That one's the one I, like, never understood going back to this game. Oh, TK? Or Takaru? No, TK is his name. This is not what I expected, uh, Gabu. Or not Gabu, uh, had a... You're not letting me show off the move for the stream. Come on. Did you get blasted in the face? Well, maybe you are. I will not. This stage is hot trash, for right? Yeah, this stage sucks. <laughs> What is this grab? <laughs> you you left me up and then you dropped me. You win. The never-ending story dragon? Oh my god, you're right, it is. Falcor? Yeah, Falcor. You know they made like three never-ending story movies and they all had different actors play the main character? I think Did they? Yeah, Jack Black is in the third one. He plays uh, the nasty. Oh, I was gonna hope he was the main character. No, 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 no. He's he's the villain. He he runs a, a group of uh, bad boys who were the nasty. I see. Oh, also another thing about the stage, platforms about it can uh, fall off, as you can see right here. Like, you can kind of take their little clipping on the side there. This can actually fall off, making the stage even smaller than it already is. With ice physics, it's a little annoying. Uh, people like this Digimon game, apparently. I don't know. Dude, the game's great. I just, I never got into Digimon, it just never appealed to me. So it's, it's weird for me to go back and be like, okay, I'm excited to play this. I mean, this is a good right. game, don't get me wrong. I think I think this the game's problems are so far. Um, I think that the actual quality of the game is low. I think I think that really hurts it because I've played a lot of really good games on here that uh, don't 
have this quality that are on the PS1. Mm -hmm. I think that hurts it. I don't know if this was an early PS1 game, maybe it was. I can forgive that. I'm not sure when this came out. If I'm being honest with you. Uh, this takes forever, so it's almost not worth the Oh, evolving. dude, the, the Digivolution, like, these se sequences are... they take so long. I, that, I could see being, being a big issue with Emperor. Again, they, they fixed it in another game. This is 2002. Oh, wow, this is a yeah, late PS1, that. then. Yeah, this is just low effort. I mean, it's still a fun game. You could be low effort and be a fun game. Oh, Did you see? I won! You see what I mean? Like, right there, it you sounds so win. clear! I don't understand. The Digimon themselves have more clear voice clips than the Tamers. Which is interesting. Mm -hmm. which Digimon are you okay. gonna play with, huh? Real this time. Uh, I will actually so play as Runamon. Uh, actually, it would be you. Nah, you. Who's that on the on the menu? Who's like which Digimon? That is Kalumon from Digimon Tamers. Kalumon was basically a walking plot device. Oh, let's do this one. This one looks terrible. We'll do. We'll do oh, more oh, this one. This is an interesting one. All right, this one is for you, all the furries in the chat who really like this game. Ready? Run this is when people realized they were a furry. Like, uh, is Renamon? Yeah. Am I wrong? Uh, I thought it was like Lola Bunny that did that for a lot of people. Also, yeah, this can happen completely randomly. Oh, I hate that that <laughs> the game that adds to my complaints. Yeah, nothing. That that can happen any time. Even canceling you out of your specials, you can just get fucked over for no reason. I see what you mean by she's the best character. Yeah, Diamond Storm is legit the best move in the game. You can still hurt me even after it's come out. Now Abumon, Digivolution. All the Digimon are furries besides the angel one. You see, they, they, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain Digimon to you from an idiot who's never experienced Digimon. Digimon is a series where you start out as a furry as a kid, but then you realize being a furry maybe not for you, and then you become an adult, but then you change your mind and go, nah, just kidding, I was a furry all along, go back to being a furry. Hmm? Okay, actually, a lot of the furries I know are some of the nice Fuck people. off, <laughs> I hate this stage. <laughs> me, that went through you. Yeah, you gotta move those around, is the way those work. It's like, if you move them towards me, they'll start doing damage. So the app monsters. I won, Ty. I, I've you never seen anything did. Digimon. I would recommend if you watch Digimon, go through the original series. It holds up pretty well, like such Japanese. Tamers is also super good. That's the third series. That's my personal favorite. That's the one with Gilmon in them. That was made by the same dude who did Serial Experiments Lane, which that's a fun one. I didn't just stop. Digivolution. Yeah, and Tamers are so good. Who's, who's the threat in Digimon? Uh, depends. Per, per series. So, where where is the cactus? I remember there's like a cactus. Is that not, not in this game, game. no. Cactus if you, was adorable. A lot of the more popular Digimon are here instead. You're trying to tell me the cactus was not? No, here's the thing. With the first series, it's really just time because they're the only ones who get their, like, fourth and final form. The others never got those last forms. I think not till much later. We're, we're gonna do one more match, and this will, this will be the one... last one. Alright. We'll do the first, uh, raffle tonight. What Digimon are you gonna play with, huh? I didn't get to play as, uh, the Kamen Rider. Alright. Uh, who do I not get to play as? I didn't really get to play as Gaumon either. You said you were gonna play as Gabu. That is true. 
favorite series is the Gun Cowboy. Um, that is Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> of course. All right, so what? Yeah, we can go lava. The other, this is probably more manageable. The other one is like a kind of a sky temple. That one has electricity shooting out from all over the place, which makes it kind of annoying. Oh, I to figured navigate. this one was more annoying. That's why I picked it. No, <laughs> the other one's more annoying. This one has lava pits that can deal like twenty five percent of your health. You fall in them though, which is pretty bad. Oh no! Does the stage kill? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, it's the final destination. <laughs> I swear there are more songs than what you've heard in the multiplayer so far. No, there's a ton of songs in this game. There's some really good ones too. Also, yeah, this stage can actually kill you. Usually, it keeps on the lava. I had one time a on. AI hit me into the uh, come back, fire. Come back to final destination. All right, fine. I got, I got my fox main. Strictly, this is, this is final destination. Of course. <laughs> Hi yeah! Hi yeah yeah! It's the wrong character, stop off! Uh, you have full health, I think I just think about that. Excuse me, uh, Fox cannot digivolve? Yeah, he can! No, he can't! I wanna hear that from Olimar over here. In your, in your Pikmin to fight for you. Then Olimar, who are you? Are you Fox? So you cheated, okay. Alright, I see how it is. Well, if you were stunned, why would I not go yeah, for my you, special? You saw he was cheating. Hey, that was great! You it was great! It was great! <laughs> I want such a good, dumb voice. I haven't been like wanting to go through like though. blatant cheating. Unacceptable. <laughs> to think that someone would just cheat openly. You're fighting me down in a Hyrule Fight Club. Okay, fine. Hyrule Fight Club it is. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you take so much damage from that. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, this is now we're even. Get down here. Okay. Uh oh. I'm, I'm biting your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That, that's supposed to be you in there. Ah. We are stuck in here with you. Now, Gabumon Digivolve. Digi Evolution. Oh yeah, no, you don't need to worry about power levels in this game. I'm gonna win. No, you're not. I thought you fell in. Into the lava you go. You murdered me, I can't believe this. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure you can get another one. Well, that was, that was a fun game for 30 minutes. Thank you for the pick. Yeah, no, this was this was fun to play, dude. What'd you think of it so far? Pretty good. I might I might do this for retro achievements. We'll see. This is a fun one, I feel. So it's, it's a good time. Which one? None of them. We're done. Go ahead. Pick some favorite Digimon. It's just it's really low effort. This game is my only. Real there's favorite. a lot. I will say this game is a little low effort at times. Yeah. But there's there's some good here. Like I feel like this is definitely a game that if you do like Digimon and have seen at least like some of the first three series, you'll be fine with. There you go. Yeah. Michael's uh, being yeeted from my couch. So yeah, I get the uh, lawn chair now. I can't Digimon. No, you. Just came to say Juka can't Digimon. Fight me, sir. If you think you could Digimon, then you. And do the next thing. What is the next thing you may wonder? Why, uh, it's quite clear. If you'd like to enter the next raffle to decide what we are playing, you gotta digivolve. 
I feel like I should enter this, but I doubt it at the same time. But if it does, just re-roll it, because I would feel bad. <laughs> don't enter, then! Well, I mean, I know what else I would pick, then. We could just play more no, of this, No, you're not going to enter if you're like, I don't want to win. <laughs> We'll just make you play like another like alternate Digimon or like Pokemon or something. Is it going through? On my end, it's not. Hold on. Uh oh, is it because of your community challenge? No, it, that doesn't matter. Let me uh, let me refresh. Uh, start typing it again. Okay, now it's working. That was weird. All right. Well, at least it works now. There is there a list of games? I, I own every single game ever emulated. Don't don't tell anyone. Do you own Hong Kong '97? I could. <laughs> I did see a copy of Hong Kong '97 at MacFest uh, when I went. At, it was at 2019. This was specifically where I saw the copy yeah, of it. If at any point though, the serious answer is if you if you need to know what games are allowed. I need you to uh, type in exclamation point jukebox. And remember, uh, if you want to win, they say the best way is you get those lucky emotes ready. I hear they uh, actually help you rig the vote. You got those Digilux, now it's time to use them. They do determine the RNG. The more you post it, maybe the more likely you are to win. Did you all the change you kind of hate? Yo, Jumny, did you see the point thing? I knew you're you're the reason this exists. I hope you're happy. Oh, it's Jumny's fault, eh? I was like, all right, this idiot likes wasted points so much. All right, this will teach them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not actually serious about the Hong Kong 97 suggestion. <laughs> I just know it's like one of those things you can't stream and kind of infamous for uh, many different reasons. Christopher, did you not read what was allowed? Anything on that that is not an RPG. As usual, uh, get your things in. Yo, Sam, Sam, what's up? Didn't realize contributing to that would announce you're here. Hi. Hi, hello. Once again, hello, everyone. If you really want to waste that many points, now you could waste it together. As usual, um, I'm gonna give it the 10 second countdown. We'll get ready on this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The RK, congrats, what are we playing? Yo, congrats. It's all rigged with that GG. As usual, have a game ready, please. Be Mario 1. That does not matter to oh. me. I hope they didn't, like, step away for a moment. ZRK, hello, are you here? Don't make me reroll it. Shaman King Master of Spirits. What's it on, GBA? Cool. Shaman King, interesting. Thank you. Go with all the anime tonight, apparently. Shaman King recently came back, right? 
Uh, it got a trailer. I don't think it started airing it, but there is a new series that is being made for it. Which is neat. I never got into Shaman King. I think I might check out this new one. I never got into it. I don't know anything about Shaman King. I guess this is anime night. Welcome to the new season. Jukebox. Anime edition. <laughs> Where, where, where does the uh, the power increase come in? Where, where's your transformation? There are none. Uh, I was the non-transformation anime, I see. No, Shaman King is not like Monkey King. It's, that's something else. Shaman King, I think, is more... That's the best way to describe it. Kind of Soul Eater-ish. You, you could... Sam, Sam, we've been over this. Spinball is not a gym. You even told me yesterday, you were like, I can't wait for tomorrow to make you play more Spinball. Hmm. 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 Private Sergeant, uh, it was because the original series, I believe, yeah, the Japanese version and the English version was done by four kids. Yeah, isn't Shaman King, like, really dark? I don't know. I don't really know Shaman King. Did Konami made this game? I know, like, Cody would be a better expert on Shaman King than I could ever be. Because I know Cody loves Shaman King. I should get him in here. And I could message him if you really want me to. You want? I don't know, actually, I don't think he's online right now. These designs are pretty good. Oh, yeah, though, the art style for Shaman King, I think, is something I've always appreciated, even if I don't, like, know the show or manga itself. You need to suggest a JoJo game? The only JoJo game that you could play is, uh... Well, I guess there's the... That port's not very good in the PS1, but I was gonna say, there's, there's like an RPG for the SNES, and it's not very good. Mm-hmm. And say, you could play the PS1 version? It's, it's not very good. It's Endgame. a weird, not good version of that game, though. Yeah. Could always just load up uh, Fight Kid at that point, but that just takes a bit. Oh, they're rocks. Really think you should be so laid back in the middle of the Shaman tournament? Don't think it's gonna last. First thing tomorrow morning, it's back to the training. Ha ha ha! Poor yo, hang in there, dude. You'll be doing some training of your own, Trey. Can't let yo outperform you. All I know about this series is that Yo Asakura is the name of the main character. It sounds like everyone's in fighting spirits. I get it. Because, you know, Shaman. Don't fall behind, Len. Who do you think I am? I never fall behind. Unless it's my strategic intention. Yeah, he it's seems not. like the dark and gritty type. Either way, it's a foregone conclusion that I'm going to become Shaman King. Oh! This character didn't didn't age well. Oh, God, no. Heads up, yo, uh, we got a visitor. Hmm, who are you? Is there an Ana Kyohama? Maybe, depends what you want with her. Who are you? So you're Ana. I've come for something. You have, uh, the tone of the Shaman. Like <laughs> he looks like it. straight out of streaming on my Tensei, holy shit. He does, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> haven't yet honored us with your name. Of course, the all-important etiquette of the samurai. My name is Magister. You can see I'm a Damaru, so I guess you're a shaman. I don't recall the name Magister being on the official tournament entry list. Enough, I'll see him off. Everyone calm down, he doesn't seem to be one of Zeke's men. Let's hear what he has to say. I have nothing to say, I merely came for the Tome of the Shaman. What do you want with it? You tend to bring Mephius back to life. Who? Don't ask me. Mephius, the guardian of the demons, he was the winner of the Grand Shaman Tournament a long time ago. 4,500 years, I believe. Winner of the Shaman Tournament. He must have been Shaman King. Oh, this is the guy from Space Dandy. Yeah, that's that's Dandy. What does all this have to do with the Tome of the Shaman? You get it? He wants to summon this Mephius person, but Mephius became Shaman King. It's, in it's incredibly powerful. How many people are in this house? A lot of people. Magister here will need the Tome of the Shaman in order to control him. I don't intend to summon a spirit or use a medium to perform spirit control. Or even control him as uh, a Doshi like you. I shall return Mephius to his former glory. He will live as once lived. His spirit and his blood flowing in his veins. A true reincarnation. A reincarnation. Oh my god, there's so much plot for this. Could he take on Zeke? Yes. Ah! A sword! Go to the spooky graveyard. This is a cool map. It's fitting. What is this? Uh, 
Trudging. What is that sound effect? He walked into the fire and just went, oh. You ever, you yeah. ever do that? You walk into a fire and you just go, I, I feel like there'd be more of a reaction to pain. See? Oh. You can't even jump over that. I guess this is kind of a Castlevania-like, maybe? I don't know. I see it more of like this. It feels like a stage-based Metroidvania. Yeah. Was he always the shirtless? I think Yo doesn't wear... I think it just has like a jacket, Yo. Yes. Yeah, it's by Konami. I could tell this is the same sprite artist who did uh, Aria. Can't push this box. I guess we can't go this way yet. Why have so many levels if you can't go to any of them? Yo, this music! This is some pretty good music so far. I got a rock. Nice. This is reminding me of uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean Metroidvania that I play in the, uh, the GBA. This was surprisingly good. So what do the rocks do? Are they like summoning rocks or something? I think the enemies are a little too weak at the start. So they give you a, they give you a three hit combo, and you never need to, you need to use it. I mean, I guess it's not a bad thing that they're introducing weak enemies first, but you know, give, give me something to work on my kit here. Bury up the enemies instead of just throwing the same one enemy at me. Throw the rock like that enemy right there. Easy enough to deal with, but also lets me get that uh. Three hit satisfying combo off. He little bump. Rip the enemy to pieces. Yeah, well, that's not violent. Pretty good though. I, it's it's like a it's like a, almost like a half baked Metroidvania is what it feels like. But it's good though. I'm sure with uh, more time I'd probably really get into this, especially as the, uh, the stage is open. I just wish there was like direction on where to go in this game, because you're gonna have it feel a stage. What the fuck? What is this enemy? Why is there a boxing guy? Zero damage, dodging my spirit attacks. Oh, it's... Gussie Kenji? What? Yo! Okay, alright. This game got really cool all of a sudden. I like this. 
I might have to play this if it's on uh, retro achievements. Magatama beam. What, is, what does that mean? Oh no, I don't have a way to slide under there yet. This is good! I could actually recommend this. You think there was direction? Second Metroidvania. Alright, ZRK. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do this if it is if it is on Retro Achievements, like I said. Because uh, this is really good so far. I'm, I'm really liking this. I'm looking for a new Metroidvania always. It seems like a lot of people here haven't seen this game. Which, I love finding gems like this. Because I wasn't... I like when there's a game that I'm not very invested in. Like, I like going in, I'm like, oh, Shaman King, alright, I, I know nothing about this series. I guess it was the same with Digimon, and that was, that was really good. It was just... Digimon felt low effort? This feels like it has a lot of effort put into it. Like, I guess there's uh, spells you get based on the, uh, the enemies and stuff. You also look like you get a health refill whenever you finish a level. That's the soul drop right in this game, is it like based on luck? Because I know luck stats are usually a thing in these games. only get human spirits. That's a little disappointing. I guess that's there to get you back easy. I really feel like you should be able to get spirits of anything. Yeah, like I said, Grandpa, this is, uh, this is anime night, apparently. bump into this again because it's really funny. Oh. Oh. You get so upset. Oh no, I touched the fire. The way his shirt moves and like flows kind of feels like it's how it is in uh, Aria as well. Chimimori, Chimimorio. I think it, human souls drop first try. Oh. There's like a back dash too. I don't know how I did that. There's a soul there, too. Oh. A big thumb game? Is there a big thumb in this game? How are you doing, Crazy Red? How, did I, how do I do that back there? I've been doing it by accident. Pushes boxes. start to bring up the menu. Yeah, I saw there was a box earlier, but I couldn't nice, nice. Very nice. Hey, I remember when Shonen Jump had a contest to name the villain of this game. Yo, Zah, thank you for that 14 months. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well.
Hmm. Go. Let's try here. This is good, though. It's interesting seeing Japan, though, depicted in, like, a this kind of style, because I don't really think there's that many... Hey! Magnuscope. What do you do? Look around. Mm, I don't need that. It seems like it's every drop is first try, though, which, if if true, I kind of love that. Makes it a little easier, but there's nothing wrong with that. You need, you need the big thumb? Headphones. How does that work? Does, do I get stats from that? How does... I, I can't tell. I'm not too sure, honestly. It what I've seen it, of this It thing. just looks like defense item? Maybe. Status buff? So, from what little I saw of this, I, I guess those other guys are like your, I guess, spirits or like your weapons or something? They're, they're uh, souls from uh, Aria. Like souls, okay. Like one to one, like they, they drop from enemies. Okay. So, this is just a Castlevania clone then. Nice. It's even got four things to swap through. Okay. Has anyone ever made a jelly donut to actually look like an Onigiri? Yes, actually. Yes, there are. actually. I, I know Binging with Babish did one. I can make that episode if you if you don't mind, Joker. Go ahead. Alright. I typed in Bingish. Good job, Bingish. me. Three, three <laughs> Bingish. Damn it. <laughs> Stupid typo. I'm gonna ignore the plot here. Mostly just so we can play more of the game. The intro was I'll look at the plot when I actually play this game proper. gonna go for the kneecaps, just like in Code Veronica, which we've been playing through. Nice. That was also the actual onigiri, if you are interested in making rice balls for yourself. You mean the, the hamburgers? Yes, of course. Eat your hamburgers, Apollo. I like the Halo bump. Halo bump! Bonk. That guy is a very... It's like he's got like a big shield, and at the end of it is like a tiny little sword. Like a, like a what fencing sword. He just got ran over. I can't believe he just ran this kid over. Sorry, yo. More like... No. Oh man, I'm out of <laughs> That was the best death. When <laughs> game over just... I'm sad. I didn't even save. What? Oh no! We got an auto saved. Uh oh. How much does that be done? Not much. Uh, okay. I was gonna say if you had gone for long enough, I feel like I don't know. That's rude. That's real rude that it doesn't. Because games in this era auto saved. Did they? I don't feel like games in this era always no, auto saved. Not all of them, but they did. Oh, well, I guess this is one of them that did it, huh? Well, luckily those stages are really short. Mm-hmm. That I feel like you may have, you know, remembered them by now. 
You don't need to go back and read them, uh, Zok. We were just talking about how there's a new Shaman King anime, uh, well, right around the corner. Well, yeah. well, yeah, but that's also gonna take a while because of the Endic stuff. <laughs> they haven't even started yet. I mean, if you care enough to, like, go back and, like, read the rest of it, that's it, go for it. Does it save on the world map only? It might be the case. I can believe it. I'm not worried about saving, honestly. Um, I know I should be, but, like, eh. I can just try a different path. We didn't get to go down here. That's the good thing about this game. Seems it's good replayability. Like I said, uh, I'm probably gonna try this for retro achievements because it's the kind of game where I would want to play through it in full. Mhm. Mm I mean, no one's really stopping you but you with that. Yeah, first try with uh, enemies it looks like, so that's really good. If you kill an enemy that has a soul, you're always gonna get a first try. I appreciate just that boxer enemy. I wonder if the demons here are from the, uh, the show, where, like, if you watched it or read it, you'd be like, I know that. I'm actually gonna ask, uh, Cody if he didn't already. Oh, I thought he was offline, so I figured he was probably busy. Yeah, you should have messaged anyway, he usually appears offline. Uh. I'm gonna assume Magatama's heal you, like, they're not, like, heal you, heal you, but they're, like, use the heart. Music's really good in this game, too. Oh, here, here's- get ready for my favorite part of the game. Alright, chat, you know what time it is. Oh. Oh. Sounds neat, Zok, actually. Like, I guess just how the series works is, like, they have different kinds of, like, backstories for, like, the spirits, I guess. Yeah, just oh, it, it seems like a cool series. I don't think I want to get into the series proper, but I, I would definitely check out the game. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely seems like there's a lot of really cool stuff, though, in the Shaman King world. Like, man, looking back, 4Kids just did not have any IP that was really truly made for kids. Um, I would... Mm... Pokemon. Have you seen the anime? Yes, I, I have. Remember when James was like, Jesse, look at my huge rat. <laughs> that, that, that never came over here for a reason. Oh, these? You mean my boobies? My super stuffed boobies? Oh my god, shut up, please. <laughs> I hate that so much. I love that meme. <laughs> it upsets me. <laughs> oh yeah, 4Kids Yu-Gi-Oh! was pretty good. Those voices are pretty iconic. I love how extra Kaiba is in the dub. It is sure so is. incredible. I'll have to give them my super stuffed milkies. That is true. Knuckles did chaotic. Or, Fork is did chaotic. Sonic X. Though the Jabby's are. That got sent a bit, because Jabby's versus Sonic X, I know, had like some stuff that Fork kids never did. Like, Shadow Punching Tails, I know, was one thing. As the Sentai Fainos watch more than one mon monster accidentally grow up a ranger and get their shit kicked in. I can say for sure that Japanese kids' shows have lower standards. I think it's oh, better absolutely. that way. Um, eventually, you gotta realize that there are there are things in the world that I know. I know there's that um, debate uh, that's never gonna end. Well, maybe it's not always guaranteed drop because I killed that enemy before and I didn't get one. Oh, well, I guess I did now. But it's it, there's there's a debate of just like when do you want to start showing things to kids. Mhm. Mm oh, hip hop Goku. Oh, hip hop Goku. The GX dub is hilarious. There's so many kids. Uh, national anthem or, or uh, Blue Popo. Ah, uh, Blue Popo. See, Blue Popo. Blue Popo, Popo is such a fucking bad edit. But Blue, I, Blue I Popo, I think, was a Nick. That was a Nickelodeon thing. I don't think that was a Four Kids thing. I swear they did that on Four Kids. Did they not? No, th no, no. That wasn't Four Kids. That was a. Uh, that was Nickelodeon. I never got offended by Popo, if I'm being real. Like, I. No. I guess I'm not the target audience for that, but like. 
You know, it, I never thought I was like, I look at this like I did the kid in this game and go, well, that's racist. Mm-hmm. What do you do with Popo though? I mean, that's my point. He, I think yeah. he's fine. I don't. I've never heard anyone complain. It's like Brock. Brock and Pokemon. Didn't people say Brock was racist, and then they realized that they, no one cared? I think they thought that he was replaced with Tracy for a bit, but they're like, actually, no. We like Brock. Yeah, no one. No one really ever cared. Is his name Choco Love? Is that is, am I understanding that right? Who? What they they're saying in uh, what are K Bark saying in chat? Like who who is that? I don't know. Is that a character in Shaman King? You fucking run me over with your motorcycle this time. Chocolate loves any African kid. Oh boy, that's oh, that's a real bad name. That is bad. <laughs> Suddenly, games with tits doesn't seem that bad. Jesse, would you like to see my extreme technique? Will he use the extreme technique? This guy's just like. Doing it. He's doing an Alucard backdash. He is. I think it's intentional. Gets to slap oh, the bomb yeah. out of there. Yeah, that is a good point. Jinx. Er, yeah, yeah, Jinx. Jinx in the no, original Jinx, uh, Jinx Pokemon. It. Jinx, I felt, was... It's weird. I never had a problem with, uh... Opo, but I had a problem with Jinx. Really? Why do you say that? I don't know, honestly. There's gotta be a reason for it. I, I honestly don't know. I, I, I'm serious. Hmm. Alright. Jaman King. Idle drop. Master of Spirits. Shown in jumps. Oh, you go through levels backwards depending on the direction you go. Okay, that's really cool. Ooh. I can actually respect that. I'm not gonna bother putting anything on for my head. Big thumb. That's big thumb. Okay. Big thumb. So someone was talk talking about that earlier. I think it was crazy red. Now we can push boxes. Oh, finally. Oh my god, he really is just a big thumb. Oh yes, uh, uh, Staff Officer Black in the Red Ribbon Army. I remember that character. I jump and slide. Yeah, I feel like slide should not be an ability. If you ask me, it should just be a thing. Yeah, having the black guy named Black uh, in Dragon Ball, maybe... Maybe not a good thing. Maybe not the best thing. Especially with the way he looks. There's probably a case of it being of its time, but, you know, we've, we've, like, grown and learned from that over time. You know, stuff that is and isn't okay. Well, I don't know, Zach, I, I, as cool as that is, I don't know if I use the word awesome then, which is a shame. Yeah. It was good. I was like, oh, this sounds cool. Up until the last sentence, I'm like, mm. yeah, I was like <laughs> I don't really need money to playing this for a half hour and I'm not gonna save it. No! Oh, I'm okay. That was almost oh, a hey. hit. 
Your spirit saves you. rather than the actual destination in this game. Mm -hmm. Which is an interesting way to do it. Where's the shop? Not important enough for a half hour. I, can, I, I would definitely play this though. But Chuke, where's the shop? There is none. Why, 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 why didn't you draw it? There just isn't one. But you said you drew it right there with magic marker. I never said such things. I'm time to bring out my big thumb. Just like when you got like. Use your big toe to like reach under somewhere. It's like no, yeah, I don't do that. Thumb. That's just weird. Big thumb. Ah. Ah. Are you gonna make it weird? What? What do you mean we make it weird? If you haven't used your toe to like reach under, like no, just, like, a tiny... who does that? No one does that. If you like really need to, you just like no, I don't. Use, like, I get, I get a fucking like broom. Or, or like a, a mop. If or it's something. right in front of you, you're not. Here's the thing: if you drop something a little, no, like little like space where you can that. like That's reach it really quickly, you're not going to go get a broom. You're just going to use your toe or something. I'm not going to do that. It. No one does that. You're the yes. only person that ever does does this. All right, chat, back me up. You put your toes under uh, whatever it is to get something. No, of course not. Yes, you would. If it's right there, you're not going to go like fucking I'm walk go like a, a few no, minutes to get a, a fucking broom. might live under there. I'm not fucking going under there. You think I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it? You could literally just stretch your leg out a little bit and just grab it. It's yeah, not it's that like hard. Uh-huh. I don't know, man. I can tell me. Tell you what? Nisbet. What? This is Mrs. Nesbit. Ah, uh, yes. From uh, Toy Story. Defense A power. movie uh, I that guess I this have is, This is one of the, the ones that I would put in my head. I, I guess... the way the game works. I, I can't tell. I guess supports you put in the headphones. Are we getting a pull? I don't think you need a pull. I see 30,000 has been raised though for, for the uh, the waste. Nice. I was thinking I was like, I'll make it 500,000. There's there's no way these idiots will uh, get it that fast. And I was like, no, they will. Never mind. <laughs> These idiots! Wow, is that how you think of us? Yeah. You, you don't waste points. B. I tell everyone never to waste your points, and what do they do? What do they do? They waste their points. Points are not to be wasted. And yet, look what you've enabled. Humongous waste of points. Leo and Graf do it a back-to-back -back humongous waste. A man, I can't believe you would do this. Those wastes don't even count for the community. You're just, you're doing a selfish waste at that point. Thank you though. Those are, that's a lot of watch time, everyone. You see, that's the, that's the only thing that matters to me about the, uh, the waste of points is, uh, deep down, I know who's uh, here and who watches a lot. So honestly, thank you. I know we joke around here, but seriously, if, if you're here and you got that many points, it. It does mean a lot to me that you you stuck around this long to throw away those points. Hell yeah. I'm just stingy. <laughs> just like, I'm gonna put a few. I like having points. Look, I, I like having a points. Stingy waste. Yeah. Even lonely doing it. Gosh. Even lonely. You know what's going on? Big thumb. 
I got my big thumb. Uh, we're gonna be pushing things. All right, Lone. We have to answer. We, you, have to, you have to answer a question here. If something is like within a reasonable reach of you, no and you're like, Don't, "Hey, I could him. get this with like my toe or something," are you going to not use your feet just to like fucking reach and grab it so you can just like no, get it to you faster? No, because the lives under there. No, you're not going to use a broom for that. You're going yeah, to just use grab a broom. it with your foot. Everyone why, uses a broom. Why would you use a broom to grab something that you could just grab with your foot that's in front of you instead? I'm not gonna use my toe. That's just weird. You're the one who's weird for not using your toe. Even Crazy Red is like, don't use the toe. I wish you could just push this instead of just slowly... Yeah, that seems a little inconvenient. That's one of the only complaints I've got so far about this game. See, most people are saying they would use, like, the toes to grab something. Boogie Man, don't want your net. No, it's not most people, it's one guy! One guy said, yeah. <laughs> I've seen more than just one not, person. No, 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 do, do not, do not make it sound like there are more people. Oh, fuck, I think I messed up. Uh-oh. Can you not reset this? Oh, no, that's bad. So the Jigger just it refuses to admit that I'm right. I'm, no, I, I'm not admitting you're right. I'm saying that no one does this. At half, most of the chat's been saying it, that they do that. Yeah, there's, there's no way to, uh, I think this, this is a soft lock. That's dirty. I don't think it's a soft log. Maybe you just missed something. No, because uh, you were pushing that, and if you push it too much... No, do not make a pull for this. Is one, maybe one of your powers, like, gives you an extra jump or something? It doesn't. Uh, you were supposed to push it here, I guess, and then jump off it. But that's really stupid. Mm. Keep in mind for that when I play this. Um, I guess I'll end this one here then, because we're, we're pretty much on time anyway. You're not admitting they're right, you must be admitting they're, you're wrong. I'm not. No. That's not how that works. You can't, you can't get me with your mind games. <laughs> That's just weird. Yeah, I don't think there's any way out other than pushing... You gotta push this back, but that doesn't reset the, uh, the other block is the thing, so that's... I'm not gonna save. I, I already said I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play from here. I'm gonna start a new game. If uh, if I'm doing retro achievements, I gotta do it on uh, retro arc. Is what I have that on. So the save won't matter. There's there's no point in telling me to save. All right. Yeah. I don't, retro I don't save on purpose for these half hour nights. Anyways, uh, this this was a good game though. Really good. I definitely recommend it. Again, hello, welcome. Uh, if you want to pick the game for the next 30 minutes, oh, get those lucky moats ready. Hope everyone's doing well. Now, as a reminder, hey, while this is going on, have a game ready. But also, did you know there's a charity stream that I'm going to be participating in on Saturday night at my normal stream time? That'll be over really? on Proton John's channel. I will be doing a block of Soul Calibur. It has some very good stuff in it. I have put a lot of work into this, kind of like the first time. So, if you are curious, uh, keep that in mind. It's going to be for breast cancer. Uh, cancer sucks, let's be real. Uh, you probably know at least one person, unfortunately, who maybe either has or has passed away. So let's let's all get together and let's all do something good. Uh, and we can help raise awareness. We can get one step closer to finally defeating cancer. If you want to help yeah. do that, because boobs are great. You know I love boobs. Uh, even Lonely loves boobs. I mean, she hangs out with me all the time. And... Uh, honestly, donate during my block if you can. I have the uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 9 p.m. Eastern block. So 9 p.m. is normally when I would normally, you know, get around for these streams. So feel free to donate. You can see a lot of really good characters. I'm gonna probably 
promo at every every one of these blocks tonight. I probably should have done it for the first one, but hey, that's fine. Will there be incentives? Will there be incentives? Uh, at some point, yes. I think one of the things I was going to do was... Um, I was going to have it be, if you want to pick certain characters that are in this block, when uh, at a certain point John said he wants to fight me, uh, I don't have the old characters, so don't ask. Did you uh, have to make a new save, or what happened? I don't have the old characters because I they only allow you 100 slots. I had to delete a bunch, that sucks. So, a lot of what I have, uh, I have, and he has the old set. So at, at a certain okay. point, we're going to fight and then uh, you could donate for a character that you want to see. And we're going to probably we'll pick those. So, so like the first time around, basically. Kind of like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, up sure. until then, I'm going to have themed uh, matches. It's just going to be AI going at it. And uh, the lore is all dependent on whatever wins. Only 100. That's the cap in Soul Calibur 6. I don't make the choice. Here's my question for you. Uh, which... You said you had to get rid of a lot of characters. Do you know which ones you saved? Like, for sure. I know which ones I've saved. I'm not gonna say. Ah, keep them in suspense. There, I'm making a few more and then I'll be done. You probably won't even see them all, because some of them are just personal ones that I have. Right. Apparently I'm higher volume than you? Yeah, I can lower you. I usually have you at 200%. Why? I have everyone at 200%. Why? <laughs> Why not? It seems so excessive. No, usually people are really quiet on my end. Really? That's yeah. weird. Alright. Okay. We're gonna do the uh, the countdown. Once again, have a game ready, please. Lord wished us well. Thank you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Azure Refrain. Congratulations. I Azure. They must have posted the lucky mode. I feel like I've seen them one before, actually. I think I recognize that uh, icon. Win or lose. Does not matter. Well, I mean, oh. it does. It matters if you win. I going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if you've won before. Oh, no, it doesn't. People are allowed to win on different nights, for sure. You could even win multiple times in the same night. So, Azure, what are we playing? If you get to win, in time you'll win. Don't worry. Oh yeah, everybody will win eventually. Don't, don't think the same people always win around here. If they do, this means they're they're here more often. We do a lot of... we. I think we average like 10 or 12 games a night here when we do these. So you're more likely going to get picked. But what, what are we playing? You'll never win? Liar. You will win eventually. The question is... When? So lonely. If uh, Lauren ever wants, she's more than welcome. Right here. Harvest Moon 64. All right. So Harvest Moon was kind of slow the last time we played the, the SNES one. Do you want to do Dr. Mario 64? I've heard Dr. Mario 64 is actual pain. So if you want to see me suffer, it's your choice, not mine. Uh, my, I... The reason I say Harvest Moon 64 maybe isn't a good choice is because, like, like I said... When we did the SNES one, it was it was pretty slow starting up. They're slow starting games. You get to build your farm, build up your farm, and everything. So I almost would recommend against it. It's it's Azure's choice. We'll, we'll see. Well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm not gonna like tell like what what to and not to do. Beaver and Shields with Doctor Mario 64. All right. I haven't seen much of Doctor Mario 64 myself. I kind of forget it exists sometimes, to be honest with you. you repeat that. I was saying, uh, if Lauren ever wants, she's more than welcome in the community. What is painful about Dr. Mario? First off, uh, as I've mentioned in the past, Dr. Mario, not a real doctor. They gave a baby a doctorate and they said, go nuts. Which, uh, don't let him go near your nuts. He's not a real doctor. Don't, don't let him do that. That's bad. Please do not get Mario that close to you. The AI in uh, Dr. Mario 64 is brutal. Oh. Yes. Also, uh, this game is very interesting because it's a Wario Land 3 sequel of sorts. Really? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, it's, that's a thing. Do you not know that? 
No, I, I didn't. Uh, Sam Sam, I know, recently tried this for retro achievements, and I warned him because I know Dan has told me this game is brutal. No one, no one should play this game. Get a re reputable doctor like Doctor Amigo. What is your influenza? I love, I love that commercial. Doctor Amigo is a pretty amazing Dr. commercial. Amigo. Thank you. Gamers, thank you for the bits. Okay. I really like the art style in this game. It's too bad this game is super hard. Mm hmm Dr. Mar- <laughs> Dr. X Mario 64. Jack, seriously, what's with the R, like, with the, like, the X after it? Good question, I don't know. Is Captain Syrup in this? No, it's all Wario Land 3. Oh, man, Isn't she, like, the pirate lady or something? Sir Syrup is the pirate lady, yeah. Okay. She's yeah, risky. So, this game gets very bullshit. Uh, you will die. You will experience pain. Ah. Yeah, RX is a uh, prescription. You can see this enemy right here. It's, oh. from Three. it's two player. Uh, you can actually do four player as well, I think. Yeah. I think it's like, that looks like a yellow Mr. Frosty from Kirby. We'll, we'll do with a that, like, story. A lot of features. Which is cool. They can play as Dr. Mario or Wario. Um, I guess we'll play as Wario because he's not lying and trying to be a doctor, but he's not. <laughs> Why is Wario here? <laughs> but, okay, it gets better. Who do you think they turn into uh, later when you uh, beat the game? Hmm. I, I, it's, it's still them. It's different versions of them. Oh, it's different. Okay, I was going to say, because they turn into like, something different and weird. Yeah, I don't take know. a guess what form they take. Hmm. So, I'm gonna guess Mario becomes regular Mario, like... Wrong. It's not in his overalls? Okay. Wario, I would guess his biker outfit? Or did that not exist That's yet? before that. Okay. So it is, it is Metal Mario and Vampire Wario. Okay, see, Metal Mario was my second choice. I was thinking, like, a power-up from 64 of some kind. Vampire Wario, I think I could never guess. Suddenly, Lucy's in his truck. So, Dr. Mario rushes about curing patients all day long. I honestly don't know why Wario's in this game. I guess because it's Wario Land 3, but like, he really doesn't need to be here? Seems a little pointless, honestly. It's me, Wario! I'm so bored! Is your reminder to wear a mask, by the way? Now that we're playing Dr. Uh, Dr. Mario? Oh, my aching head. Help me out, Doc. Can Dr. Mario help poor Octo? Octo. And now his Mega Vitamins! He's got mega vitamins. He can cure anything. It's like a freaking mega vitamins. Of life. I'll be rich if I can get my hands on those. <laughs> oh my god! Man, Mario's Einstein. Going to... Last, I don't want to get the mega vitamins. Just what I've been looking for, mega vitamin. What are you waiting for? Go and steal them. That's uh, Throwdy the Clown, the final boss of Warland Three. Dr. Ah, Mario okay. returns home to take a well-deserved rest. Get your flu shots as well. Yes. Oh wait, he's leaving oh, again yeah. so soon? Look, I went to Dr. Mario's house, it's Mad Seinstein. Who made this game? Is it Nintendo? This is terrible, he's still in the Megabyte. It's got like such a unique style to it. Oh, Sanders. absolutely. Hold it, you! Those belong to me! Wah! Dr. Mario is back. What a shock! Those Mega Vitamins are gone! Dr. Mario sparks Wario and says, If you want to get away! I like how this implies that Dr. Mario and Mario are not the same character. I mean, have you seen them in Smash? They're, they're separate there. I gotta say, this already moves kind of fast. Yeah, this looks like some of the later speeds in Dr. Mario. Dude, I'm so trash at Dr. Mario. Like, it, it's fun, but I sometimes just start getting like all the colors mixed up, and I'm just like, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, I start like 
seeing colors in the wrong places, if that makes sense, I don't know. I think it's just like, overload. <laughs> I, think, I think you have sensory overload. Maybe, maybe yeah. you got the fever and the chills, I usually hear. Ah, perhaps I need some of Dr. Mario's uh, pills. Grabbing peels. Peels. Grabbing a shot. Man, what a, what a good game Left 4 Dead is. That complicates things a little bit. A little bit. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a doctor. I don't pretend to be like Mario. <laughs> Can't play this game right, I'm not a doctor. No! As you know, oh, oh, that was almost oh, really good. I almost T-spinned. Aww. I guess you can do a form of T-spinning in this game. I don't know if we're going to be seeing Left 4 3 in a while, honestly. I only say that because we, we just- uh, Valve, as you know, cannot count to 3. Uh, we, we also just got a update for Left 4 Dead 2. Like, new maps and everything. It's also not a very good update from what I've heard. Yeah, which is a shame. It was overhyped and not really a whole lot. Apparently it was like a fan thing that was made official? Not the first time they've done that. No. I think they, if anything, appreciate the fans making stuff. New maps, there's a port of a map from Left 4 Dead 1. The most recent one? I could have sworn the most recent thing was like some new stuff. Black Mesa, the Half-Life 1 remake. Hmm. Don't really know too much about Half-Life myself, personally. Black Mesa is very good. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I made a mistake. Fuck. I have, I have fucked this royally. Please do not hire me as a doctor. Hire a real doctor. I mean, Mario's just shoving pills and pills and pills just down their patients' throats. This is probably not good doctoring, anyways. Combo. Yes. Aw, nice. Gotta get that score. You know, because score matters so much in Dr. Mario. I think it actually does. I think he's gonna win. I thought you win by, like, whoever clears all the viruses first. He's got three left, and the, the music changed. Yes. Ah, yes! All according to plan, whatever I just did there. I'm in trouble. Double red. Remind me, was there a difficulty uh, for uh, for the story, or well, did you just kind of uh, go into I it? I picked normal, by the way, just to give you an idea. Okay. I, I mentioned this this game is like notoriously hard. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's also, like, no room to, uh, place things. Yeah, not to mention that you have to make, like, a four in a row, either up and down or side to side. Right, I'm gonna have to restart this. Here we go. Yeah, that's about right for Dr. First Mario. Stage two. Hey, relax. Just because it's the first stage doesn't mean anything. It's still really hard in this game. Yeah, no, you can say, like, is, oh, this hey. This is notoriously a people I... People I know who are better at Dr. Mario than me say this is a really hard game. If you're going to laugh, relax. I don't normally say that because, like, usually we're pretty chill, but, like, no, this is, like, a notoriously really hard game, so please chill. Or fever. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what you were going for. Uh, I think I'm more of a fee. No, actually, I think it depends on the mood I'm in. I don't know, I don't actually know which, uh, Dr. Mario song I prefer more between Fever and oh. Chill. Oh, that sucks. The worst is, like, just, you wanna, like, put something down, it's just like, oh, I put the wrong color here, oopsie. 
it the way it uh the way it does that I'm not a fan of. Yeah. It's like it just places it down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart. Possibly a good idea. At least they give you a quick redo. That's actually really nice. It's like they knew. Your dad could probably do it. Alright, cool, I'm not your dad. Are you my dad? I'm not. I hate to say. <laughs> I've been looking for you for so long. <laughs> you went out to go buy some milk and you never came home. I always wondered, do you ever think there was like a dad out there that like legit got lost on like the milk, like to the way on, on the, mm, on the way to the milk store? Probably, uh, that's likely. How though? Like, how would they get lost? How does anyone get lost? They don't know where they're going. I mean, yes, but I don't know. Is this like alien maybe? Like, it could be like alien abduction. Ah, uh, yes, the alien milk abduction. They do, they do like cows. <laughs> you say, there you go, yeah. I got this crow strat. What are aliens using cows for anyways? Like, has anyone ever, like, pondered that? Like, the aliens in media tend to, like, take cows for something, but, like, what are they using the cows for? You know, probes? What I've always assumed. I, I guess, but I thought, like, they probed, like, people because of, like, some reason. I don't, I don't know what. Cows produce CO2? Like, gas? Yes. You see that amazing combo? That was actually a pretty good combo. Nicely done. I am so proud of you, son. You are not my dad. <laughs> I'm older than you. By like a year or two, I think. Mario. That sucks, dude. I could go load up the, the original one, like, right now, and I would not be doing this bad. I'm I'm serious about that when I say this game is, like, there's something harder about it. Do you think it's the way the pieces move? Do you think I think it's, it's that. There is, there is a weird feel about this, and I've rented this game once as a kid, and I remember feeling the same way. And mm -hmm. knowing Dan has talked about it, knowing Sam Sam people who have regularly uh, play a lot of Dr. Mario. They, I'm pretty sure both of them either have or got really close to getting the badge on Retro Achievements, which is uh, a very difficult task, by the way. Oh, I'm sure. You know what I think it is? I think it's if, if it touches the bottom at all, it completely stops momentum. Could see it. Like that. Like, do you see how I, I was trying to turn there and then it didn't work? Yeah, so it's like you got like some honey on or something. It's just going to stick to things. Are you putting honey on things? I don't know. The the B music from Mario Galaxy came up in my playlist. The B music. And, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like thinking about like honey and stuff right now. Does the European version do it better? Uh, chat's a little hard for me to the, to, for this game, but uh, as far as I know, the answer is no. I'm gonna say, would, would there be any differences? No, sometimes they like they differ make it easier sometimes. Like I, I know, I think like if you think know. this game is rough just from watching, it, it gets mm -hmm. harder. Wasn't it um, Battletoads' European version that's easier? Is that the one? No, Japanese. I thought there was something with like a European Battletoads or some hard NES game with the European version was like easier. 
I definitely feel like it is the pieces, though, immediately stopping and not giving you, like, any breathing room. I mean, isn't that just kind of Dr. Mario in general? No, there's there's normally a little bit of breathing room. Hmm. All right. Genesis version was easier. I think that's what it was. Yeah, no, pu puzzle games, puzzle games are not my forte. They're more my uh, don't -ay. I, I didn't I do anything. Oh, the yeah, I just... I don't what? even know what they did. But I, di I didn't destroy anything. What? Was they someone lost? was someone watching the other side? <laughs> All right. Dropped, I want to point like, out, the AI in this game in is there. so awful as well that they, they destroyed themselves. I didn't do that. Dr. Mario is so bad as a doctor, he defeated himself. I, th I like to imagine Mario was like- not me! Yeah, I didn't steal the Mega Vitamins! Here! That's him! He's the one! Stop! Those are Wario's! Hey, it's Einstein scurries away! Wario and Dr. Mario chase after the Mega Vitamins! There's a tree and Wario can't stop in time. BAM! You're ready, you're going to pay for that mistake! Uh -huh. Yeah, you have, like, a fraction of time, as I just demonstrated there. A mm -hmm. Barely any time to do it, but you can. Slowly just build him down. I don't even think any of these enemies are sick. I do like the idea, though, of there being a story mode and, like, actually enemies to fight instead of just a virus. Mm hmm. That adds a little bit of uh, charm to the game. What are you even fighting? Like a little, like. Viruses. Oh, this is a, a spearhead from, uh, Wario Land 3. Ah, uh, okay. I haven't played any of the Wario Lands myself, but I'd be interested in playing some good. of them. It's, it's like a point. puzzle Metroidvania. Mm-hmm. I guess it's either first to destroy all of, uh, the viruses. Um, or what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing, it's first to either destroy all viruses or also, I guess, like a subgoal of survival as well. Fuck. It's like if the other person dies, then you're good. It's, it's definitely how the pieces move. It's no question. That's that's what's tripping me up most. Mm hmm. Aw, oh, that red. Oh, that's so mean. Yeah, that happens in like every <laughs> puzzle game. I, I believe they do try and land where you need the most. Like, I, I actually sense. think in like every puzzle game, it's like hard-coded to do that. Oh, I can believe that. I know I've definitely had times where it screws me over in like Puyo Tetris. I haven't played that game in a while. Fun times. I love that game. That game's getting a sequel. It is. I'm, I'm good at puzzle games. I'm good at the original one, but there's something about this game that I don't know what it is. It's just different. That's really it.
Here's an interesting question I just thought of. What's that? What was, I think, the last time you could think of where you took a chance on a game knowing literally nothing about it? I like maybe like you bought it or like you saw like maybe like something from it that kind of interested you that I can think of um yeah just like kind of like taking a chance of the game or something probably rocket robot on wheels is uh definitely didn't know anything about that game made a really good choice T go chase Nick with the catch up on chat we're chasing after the mega vitamins what exactly are we fighting with good question it really makes me want some panel to pond panel to pond's good you can pick that if you would I'll probably I think just it's on the like stage online. Or something. We'll see. Pimple confirmed for GG Strive. Maybe. Tutris? Tutris is wrong. So is this technically a prequel? No, I think this is after. I, I might it might just be non-canon. To WarioWare or You mean Wario Land? Or uh, yeah. Or he won't uh, stop until he gets those mega vitamins. Hard. It's time, time stops suddenly. Wario slides right by and. It's eaten by a spider. How tragic. Oh my, you don't look very tasty. Which is why he lets him go free. <laughs> I'll let you go free if you can beat me in a battle of making medicine. Egg salad. I'm getting used to the physics in this game. Uh, slowly but surely, it looks like. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. They're they're very not Dr. Mario. Maybe that's why I never hear anyone talk about this game. Other than the one time I rented this. Oh yeah, egg salad. Egg salad is a thing that Wario says in Wario World. It's actually saying he's actually saying excellent, but it's not like he's saying egg salad. It definitely which... sounds like he's saying egg salad. I even agree with that. Egg I gotta, salad. I gotta... Now I can get dolphin working, no problem. I gotta, I gotta play the game at some point. Play the Japanese version. You'll you'll like it better. The Japanese version is finished. Yeah, it's like I hear the Japanese version has more content to it. It's which not is even just that. It's like the final boss is a good example. It's completely different and better very lazy and not good in the original game. Mm hmm Well, we'll see. That's good. Uh, give me junk. Junk. This is very uh, tense for Chad as it is me. 
Making everyone nervous here. They're not giving me the doubles that I need. They're giving me doubles for like everything. There we go. Dude, it's just double or nothing at this point. Chat. My A2 puzzle right. games, what would they be in Poyo and Tetris don't count? Give me Bejeweled with, um... That's a good question. Give me what Bejeweled was the question? and, uh... A Bejeweled platformer. A puzzle platformer. Oh. A2 puzzle games, what would they be? Hmm. Is there an English patch for the Japanese version? Uh, don't know. There's virtually no text in Warrior World? Probably not. And that's the other thing, uh, oh, oh. I feel like the, maybe it's the RNG the pieces feels off. That's the story, is it? We'll do one more. We'll never make it this far. Hammerbot will stop them. Look, it's Applebee. He looks so happy with his big shiny apple. Oh, it's a shitty restaurant. Yeah, here they come. A racket. Hey, give me back my apple. Hey, apple. The amount of times I just see, like, something looks like it really should just clear and just doesn't. It's like, man, they really strict sometimes on the whole, like, four in a row thing. Sure are. At least the music is good in this game. That's That helps it, uh, feel easier. Yeah. Even Wario agrees. It was like that jiggle in his stomach when he was stomping the ground there. Getting his ass pounded from the looks of it. It's like fucking rivers from Street Fighter fall over again with the stomach jiggle. Yeah, whatever, that works. That does not work. Yes. That works. C -c -c combo Terrible. It really gives you like no time, which is something that like modern puzzle games at least give you. Mm -hmm. Overall, there's definitely a lot of good going on to this game. There, there is. Um, it's just more, I'm looking at this with a modern puzzle mindset. Oh, absolutely. And like, you know, stuff, stuff has changed over time. For sure. That's a good example, too, of uh, what I mean by, like, how the scheme, scheme is. Mm hmm You can't rotate when it goes down there! Well, whatever, it worked. Aww. Alright, I'm out. 
We got enough time for one more try. I figured it was gonna be longer than that. This game definitely gets brutal. Absolutely, just from what I can see. out in my favor somehow. I, I really hate that you can't turn it, though. If it's falling down, it's, it's permanently stuck, which I think that's part of the difficulty, because I don't know if you could do that off the top of your head in the, uh, in the other game. Anymore. Yo, going, Mom, what's up? Yo. All right. Uh, this is a good game. I would definitely recommend if you're gonna play this game, though. Probably best to play this game in multiplayer. Would I recommend it just for that? Yeah. I mean, puzzle games are great with friends. Uh, AI is rude. You like the controls? Are a little weird. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, I guess it's zombie instead of uh, vampire Wario. Uh, it's a good choice. Thank you for the pick. Alright, if you would like the next game choice. Got a little bit of tunnel vision there. What's next? Yo, G, what's up? If you're not Yo, following G, G uh, please go follow G. Oh. Wow. Please go follow G. Cool dude. Alright, dude, first I see. Here is your reminder to have a game ready if you're entering. It means you have a game ready. For all of you who just entered. And, uh... Didn't have a game ready? Shame on you. Remember, posting the Jew Lock actually helps rig the uh, the chances towards your favor slightly. The more you post, I hear, the more it actually weighs it in your favor. But uh, as usual, now's a good time to remind you. <sighs> hey, fuck. At the moment, uh, now's a good thing to mention. There is a charity stream on Sunday. I will be a part of. It's the Soul Calibur Six segment over on uh, John's channel. 
I don't know, on Saturday. At 9 PM, which is when I start my streams normally. I, that just kind of worked out conveniently. I, I didn't even ask. So, uh, if you have not heard, you definitely want to be there for that. It's very good. Very cool stuff. Yeah. It's on Saturday, not Sunday. I know, no, I, I stream on Sunday. Yeah, because you said Sunday, so I'm like, wait, that's no, not I, right. I, I said Saturday. No, you said Sunday. I don't know why it sounded like that, but I definitely said Saturday. You know, I can, I can 100% I don't know why, you said I, Sunday. Sun My point is, it's on Saturday um, at 9 p.m. I'm going to be running. There's a lot of stuff. I put a lot of work into that block. Raise money for breast cancer. It is breast cancer month. Everyone, unfortunately, probably either knows someone currently suffering or has uh, known someone in the past. And cancer sucks. I, I hate cancer. You hate cancer as much as anyone else you ask. So let's work together to make this world a better place. So be there. Donate during the block. I mean a lot to me if you do. And if not, you can't donate. That's fine. Uh, this year sucks. Completely understand that. So uh, we're going to have to probably, you know, eh, spread the word helps. But have your game ready, please. It will help speed things up. Give me the, uh, the 10 second countdown again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Trolling Shuckle, congratulations. Yo, congrats. I think it's your first time winning. Fuck. You need to stop. I <laughs> <laughs> can't spell. All right, uh, Trolling Shuckle, what are we playing? Okay, so. You're doing the Sam Sam method. Ah, I see. I always love it when people have like a full like essay ready of like why to play this game. Big love. Oh, dude, essays are fun. Gee, I like that emo combo. I've never even thought of doing that. Remember how you said there was a oh, monthly no. SpongeBob game? No. no. <laughs> I don't remember saying that. Oh, more anime, of course. Yeah, after Mario, clearly. I, I actually don't remember saying that there was a monthly SpongeBob game. I. I said it feels like every week there's a SpongeBob game on here. All right, what what SpongeBob game is it? Okay, what's our what's our monthly spang? Spangleberg Babbledink. Ah! Revenge Imagine of the, the Flying, Flying Dutchman. Dutchman. I think it's funny that every time we've had a SpongeBob game here, no one has ever picked the same SpongeBob game. Which is fine. You can pick the same game uh, if we played it in the past. That's fine. I don't I don't really care if that happens. Uh, there was one week where I just said. Oh, we, we had done DBZ last week. Uh, it was the Advanced Adventure, so I was like, if you want to, you want to do that, we I mean, can. That, 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 that's more Dragon Ball than it is Dragon Ball Z, but I get, I get what you mean. You know what I mean. Yeah. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, though. Maybe it's a good game. Why do people like SpongeBob games so much? They're, they're good games. Well, no, not really. But they're, they're good, uh, good... What am I looking for? What's the word? It's a good show. I will say the worst SpongeBob game I've ever played is definitely the Game Boy Color one, and I've beaten it for some reason as a kid. Do I recommend it? No, oh, God, no. Don't don't do that. By the way, since I mentioned it earlier, uh, G recently has got into streaming. If you're not already following him, please do. He's a really cool dude. That is 8EK is his channel. Very good. He was doing some Dead Space 3 with John last night, and uh, it was a lot of fun, super chill. We're gonna hang out in the streams. We got a lot of good work done. Yeah. I've, I've had G on for a few really uh, classic streams around here. The, the Mortal Kombat one was very good. I love that one. We played uh, all of Shaolin Monks together. Very ah, good. yes, Shaolin Monks. Shaolin Monks is probably my favorite spin-off game of anything. It's 
it shouldn't be good, but it just works. I don't know why. It just kind of all goes together in like some weird combination that just pulls it off right. Man, the SpongeBob games all start the same exact way. They really do! <laughs> same sounds and everything. In, 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 no, there is never gonna be a Shrektober. Never. Yeah, I'd be done for like. 50,000 points wasted immediately today. You look, we, we can go next one for us. No, swamp, look at the swamp hand! Member. What? Oh, what is wrong with that hand? From Vicarious Visions! So I'm probably gonna hop off the call for a little bit. I'll, I'll be back a little bit later. Just I, I should go actually eat something. <laughs> I'll probably be in chat, but yeah. Ah, Scenic Bikini Bottom, home to SpongeBob SquarePants and his pals. Look here, our spongy hitter is out for a walk. With his pet snail Gary, and it. Oh no, Gary smells. Help me. Is it running away? What do we SpongeBob do? Gary! Come back here, Gary! Yeah, they use the same sprite and everything, and he's- What the fuck is this? Select chapter, home of sweet pineapple. Level B. I hate that hand! Use the normal bubble to trap jellyfish. Use them as platforms. So it's like every other game. Yeah, the B stands for Bungebob. I don't like his walk cycle, it's so weird. He looks unnatural, there's something wrong with his sprite, the way it moves. I don't know. Hi Spongebob, what's going on? Uh, Patrick, Gary ran away, have you seen him? I think he went that way, where was it that way? Don't, the inflatable sprite is back in this game. on the bounce bubble to bounce extra far. So I guess you, it's like a puzzle platformer. Oh no, Squidward. Oh no, it's you. Will I ever have some peace and quiet so I can practice? Everything just feels wrong, and like the art style does not match for everything else. Why does SpongeBob look so different? Gary, come back! You can blame it all on me. Use the strong bubble to remove barriers and enemies. To murder people, use this bubble. It explodes! It's dead. The jellyfish population will be no more. They've had it too good for too long. We're gonna make them extinct. Jump on the float bubble to be carried to high places. SpongeBob twerk. There's probably one episode of SpongeBob where he has twerked in the new SpongeBob. I hate to admit that, but he probably has at least once. Gary! I finally found you! Look, Gary! A treasure chest. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Man, the Dutchman looks really good for being like that weird, like, 3D. <laughs> At last! I'm free! I'm free! Wow. Are you a genie? No! Oh, I was imprisoned. I mean, I was enjoying a peaceful slumber in that bottle when you came and woke me up. You're a genie? I gotta make a wish. Arr! No, you don't get to make a wish. You're a genie and I let you out of the bottle. 
I'm not a genie, you imbecile! I'm the fearsome flying Dutchman! The greatest pirate that ever lived! Where do I get my wish? Arr! If you go away, I'll grant you one wish. But first! You must help me find my lost pirate treasure. Ten of my greatest treasures are lost somewhere around Bikini Bottom, along with my word of golden doubloons. Find all my treasures and I'll grant you your wish. Now leave me alone, I'm off to relieve my old pirating days. Let's go, Gary, we're on a treasure hunt! Select all three keys to unlock the Dutchman's treasure. The Dutchman's treasure! Two gold doubloons! Plastic! What is this wiggle animation? Press A to tuck into small areas and avoid enemies. What? I don't like this. They are the same game! They're, they re-released the same game like five or ten different times. The monkey's chain! The monkey's fist! The monkey! <laughs> I already figured that out, game. That was straight up the Zelda jingle. Did you hear that? It went down and See? It did it again. That was the Zelda jingle. Unmistakably. The Zelda jingle. I'm just gonna tank the damage. SpongeBob has in fact twerked. He's doing it right now. Na -na -na -na. Medal of Dishonor. Ah, a jellyfish jam. Down with the jellyfish. Watch the jellyfish's moves first, then repeat its moves to earn bonuses. The further you get, the more one ups you win. Alright? Time to twerk. This is some good dancing. Seen with Sarah, please in the chair. This is like perfect music to do that. What? Wasn't it up left? Oh. Yeah, for some reason the game does not have uh, saving. And the passwords are so lazy. What is with Mr. Krabs? It looks like he has a carrot for a nose. His nose is not the same color in that portrait. Fudge boy, me Bob! Where is my best fry cook off to in such a hurry? Arr, gar, 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 gar. I'm on a treasure hunt, Mr. Krabs. You see, uh, there was this genie. Ah, treasure hunt, eh? You lad after me, own heart. But I can't let you just skip work here. Deliver this Krabby Patty Pie to rock bottom for me and be on your way. Yeah, 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 Captain! Ah! The hand is so weird! This has so many weird things in this game that are making me not like it. But at least you could constantly cancel uh, the hover. It's pretty good, I gotta say. That man is dead. Can't go to the bus station. Hmm. 
I don't know if this is the best SpongeBob game on the GBA. It's, it's hard to say. I like that one where you got to play as everyone and they had like different abilities. That one was pretty good. A lot of stuff though to collect. They really want you to do a lot. They really they, they like in the games making you go back to rock bottom. It's like it's like one of the the best episodes, but they they never brought it back for some reason. I can already see how this game gets really annoying. Sorry, but uh, you missed you missed the key. Lights, camera, pants? Yes, that was the one. Oh, he turned into the, the dope fish. I just noticed. Man, dope fish is like a, a classic meme. I can't understand your accent. Your A key is. I can't. I can't just go there yet. Come on. So SpongeBob gets like violently shocked in this game. Kind of messed up. Really? Come on. The the angles in this game are so weird because like sometimes you can just go through. And sometimes you can't. Oh, joy, doubloons. Keys are usually easily visible. Hmm, usually does not mean they are. Spot. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. I think I think I've played every other one on stream. Or if not, I've at least done uh, whatever game it was for uh, retro achievements. Super Sponge. I've, I've done that one for uh, retro achievements. Box is a really janky too in this game. I I like a good puzzle platformer like this where you have to like you know make the platforms and everything as you play. There, there's something about this one so far that uh, hmm, it's not sitting well with me. that jellyfish. It, uh, you'd have to ask someone else what games are on the GBA for Spongebob. You had the misfortune of playing the hardest of the three starting levels? I didn't... I don't feel very good about the tutorial of this game either. And then again, I've, I've kind of said all the Spongebob games are super janky, so maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm not the target audience for them. I can get behind that. Pick up another sponge relative. Hmm. 
they want you to like make platforms as you fall, maybe? Or not? I can't really tell. No, that is what they want you to do. Okay. That's that's janky. This is way forward? Oh, this does not feel like a way forward game. This, this is like the B team of way forward, but I guess they had the fun Shantae somehow. You cannot catch uh, things with certain bubbles, which I feel like all of them, except for the strong one, should be able to do. I feel like every bubble should just be able to capture thing. Because now if you're me and you grab the wrong thing, uh, now you have to find where the thing was. Oh, we got the key. Oh, this was Vicarious Agents. That's a, that, that is what it said. Enjoy your food, sir. Yes, SpongeBob. Enter the enter the vortex. It's such a bad idea. I mean, at least uh, Spongebob's, uh, Sp Spang's, uh, hitbox is pretty good at touching things, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Because, like, I definitely did not touch that coin, but it gave it to me. Shows how far game devs have come. For sure. I don't mind playing bad games on stream. Uh, I, I love talking about game design. If you're, if you're here enough, you'll, you'll often hear me ranting about what, what makes good game design, and I'm like, I'm not a developer, but I... I have just played so many games, I pick up on, like, what passes is good, what passes is bad, common mistakes people make. I think, I think there's a good game in here. Um, I really do. I think it's just... I feel like this needed to be done. Uh, better? Bubbles, come on. That was annoying. Yo, Uzworm, what's up? How you doing? Are you gonna also make me play a SpongeBob game today? It's been anime night. You know, we we, we got everything. We all all the games today are anime. Uh, you know, we had Digimon, we had Shaman King. SpongeBob, uh, Dr. Mario 64. Classic anime games. It's the most anime game ever. Ah, yes, Hudson Hawk. The most anime game. Bruce Willis is basically anime. Sure is. Today could be the day. I, am I missing something? I what? I don't see anything that like I missed. tell if that was the right way to go or not. You needed to aim up with the strong- well, then you just saw fuck the game then! That's not good!
Someone did say this was the hardest level in the game. This means if I beat it, I'm, uh, I'm a god gamer. That's what they say. Like, what's, what's to stop me from grabbing this? How do I know I need this one? I might need something else. We don't know. I'm not gonna grab that yet. The last SpongeBob GBA game. This is the last SpongeBob game we will ever play on stream, ever. I'm I'm joking, of course. We're missing the green key, which means uh, joy. What could it be? Artist starting level does not raise my confidence. I guess the green key has to be up here? Yeah, I can't think of anywhere else where they would, they would put the green key. Good news, if you do that, uh, I gotta leave the room. Excuse me, what? Did the... Okay, so this respawns, which means... There we go, okay, we're good. Completely blinded that, that's, that's on me. There it is. The key to the Dutchman's treasure. Da -na -na -na. You think SpongeBob has actually ever done a Zelda parody? I beat the final level of this game and it sucked. How could you? People just like picking the Spongebob games around here. I, I don't know why. Spongebob is most popular series around here. You would think it would be like Mario or his brother Luigi, but nope. Sponge. He did a D&D &D episode. I remember the D&D &D episode. If it's the one I think it is, where it's all medieval. Anchor, now I could be weighed down by all of my sins. Urchin to fight. Ah, Spongy Boy Me Bob, how goes the hunt? You deliver this scrubby patty pizza to the outback for me. Hey, 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 Captain. Eh, what's this? <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. Langton! Trying to steal me secret formula again, are you? Here you go, When I get the formula, I'll run you out of business, crabs. Er, not today, squirt. Back to the chum bucket with you. Insta kill moves. I don't know if that's a good sign. Hey, it's the urchin from Super Mario World. Like, straight up, it's the same enemy. The same goofy eyes. It's purple, it's got the orange and yellow spikes. That's... I mean, I mean, urchins are real things that exist. I'm not gonna blame the game, but I'm just saying. Exact same design doing the... Oh my god, that thing was terrifying! What is that? I went to college! You know why he wants the formula, right? He's 
still gotta pay off them student loans. This thing is terrifying, though. How did they let this be in a SpongeBob team? How are you supposed to make that jump? I guess you gotta, gotta make the bubble, but I don't have any other bubbles. That's the only bubble I got. You gotta be, like, exact on that timing. I almost missed that. It's an easy key to miss. What was Plankton's major in college? Probably holograms, which explains his wife Karen. Thing. This, this thing is so goddamn terrifying. How did they put this in a kid's game? Wouldn't that be a major in computer science? No, because he loves holographic meatloaf. He built Karen's uh, hologram machine. That's what I'm getting at. I guess he's also really good at taking brains out of Spongebob and other kinds of stuff like that. Okay, sand does not kill you immediately. Do you think if, uh, if I sink into this long enough, do you think Spongebob has sandy cheeks? Dumps. All right, the room, the room was pretty mixed on that one, as I expected. I figured it was just going to be a complete boo. Bundrop's neutral expression was thinking into the sand. This is the way I die. I've waited my whole life for this moment. Thanks for the food, mister. I had four biscuits, but I ate one, and now I have three. The customer is always right. What the... Okay. Why did he... Why did he tell me that? I knew it was a good idea to check over there. in one hit, that's kind of neat. You know what these uh, anemones look like? They look like McDonald's french fries. They got the red with the yellow sticking out of it. From the Frying Dutchman episode. I don't remember that. I believe you do. combo shit in this game, keeping secrets. Alright, there's gotta be some booties up here. What, what's up here? Hell, don't need that. Maybe tartar sauce? You know, I'm not really a seafood kind of guy. Is tartar sauce any good? 
I really just do not like seafood. Very good. No, it isn't. It's all mayonnaise. It's all mayonnaise? Has been. Welcome to Jellyfish Rodeo. Collect coins and reach the finished green bonuses. You're using a... You like it when there's dill? Dill tartar sauce? Oh! I don't like this! Oh, this looks weird! What a song to use, too. The Come From Alabama with a banjo underneath. So, this is, this is an interesting minigame. I don't see why you would want to press the A button. Everything coming at you, I feel like it's better to just go slow. Miss things this way. SpongeBob staring at you like that? That's a good question. I touch those, by the way. I just want to make that clear. I definitely touch those. Heck this game. We're almost done with the uh, the level. We'll finish up the level. Seems like the worst bubble in the game. But it kills things, but at what cost? It also looks like you can go in so many more doors than you actually can in this game. And it's way faster to just, like, take damage. Strong bubbles don't even kill the anemones. Okay, I guess it does kill that one. It kills the urchins. Alright, well, we missed the green one again. Um, we're gonna call it here. We will never find out what the Dutchman's treasure is. That was, um... I don't know if that was the worst Spongebob game, though, but... It was, um, it was definitely a game. Alright, if you would like to get in on the next game that we're going to pick for the next half hour. Bubble. As a reminder, have your game ready, please. It makes this go a lot faster. I really appreciate it if you do. Now's a good time to remind you that, hey, on Saturday over on uh, John's channel, we're going to be doing a charity event. Thank you for those lucky emotes. Remember, the lucky emotes do help you uh, read your chances. The more you post them, the more likely you're going to win. So, uh, essentially, it's going to be a breast cancer charity stream. You don't have to donate. It's 2020. I completely understand if you don't have the money. Spread the word. Uh, 9 p.m. I'm going to be doing a block. It's going to be Soul Calibur 6. I got a lot of great stuff coming. Uh, if you can donate during the block, let me know. It's going to be pretty good. I expect a lot of dumb art to come out of that. Not because... I know we have a lot of good artists, but like, I saw the last Soul Calibur event, so I know what to expect. It's, it's Trolling Chuckle, if you want to pick another Spongebob game, you can. It's not up to me. Uh, it's up to you, I always say. 
Every time someone asks her, are you in the mood for this or that, I always say, nope, not my choice. Of course. Grab some food, be back after that. Gee, you remember, if I'm always in my uh, my Discord if you ever want to, you know, that, pop in and just chat. You're always welcome. I will tell you this now, Tree. Uh, the way I did it was I got a list and I crossed off the ones that I think the designs were too much. Uh, what that means, I guess you'll find out because, like, there's only so much I could do with Soul Calibur, if that makes sense. So, if you don't see yours, because there's a lot of them out there, there's a good chance that I probably could not do, do it in a way that made me happy. Because I, I would want the artist to be happy as well. That goes for everyone, though. I'm more excited rather than just the Johns. I'm more interested in the, uh... Eventually, uh, the other characters that are going to show up, because I figured that we can't just have this. It's just going to be crazy. Hooters Road Trip is very boring. You could pick that game. It's very boring. It's about as boring as going to Hooters is. You added more? Yeah, it's, it's John-related things. So, expect other things. I'll even tell- I'll give you one of them. The return of a classic creator character from years ago is coming back. That's one. And you could probably expect Wesker because let's be, let's, let's be real. He's gonna show up. Of course he is. That's all you're getting, though. Anyways, that'll be at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Eurochan, congrats! What are we playing? It's still rigged with that GG. Just missed it, but remember, there's gonna be more. Just because you missed it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. So what are we what are we playing, Euro? The Yamcha one? Castlevania Bloodlines. Ooh. And yes, uh, you do get the choice. I like to give people the choice depending on uh, games like this. This is a very good game. I actually wanted to play it this uh, this month. Speaking of, uh, I think I got a game for Sunday in mind. I'm, we're doing like spooky stuff for Sundays in, until the, uh, the month is over. Uh, how do you guys feel about Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth? Because I might have got that working. I might just make it a rebirth stream is what I'll do. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. It'll be a it'll be a fun choice. You wanted uh, Lacard, is what you said. There's a visual novel version of Silent Hill. Yup, it's on Retro Achievements, and I've thought about multiple times doing it for that. So, if you don't know what the, uh, the Rebirth games are, uh, I guess I'll talk about this really quick, since I guess we're gonna do that now on Sunday. So, the Castlevania, the Adventure Rebirth, uh, Gradius Rebirth, and Contour Rebirth were three bad games, originally, that got remade for WiiWare. They're very good games. Unfortunately, the WiiWare does not exist anymore, so you cannot play those games anymore. But, I have a way around it. Turns out, uh, I remembered I own those games. Is this the one with John Morris's dad? Yes.
Team level, we'll do normal. Turn the players to five. You can play as John Morris, he plays like a whip guy, but why would you do that when you have Eric Lacard here? Oh yeah, John Morris is from Texas. Yeah, it's it's really stupid brawler. I I hate it. So it'll be a really cool thing to revisit. Bartley is a translation error. It's supposed to be Elizabeth Barth Barthory. Hungarian noble woman and serial killer reportedly bathed in her victim's blood. I I think I know who that is. So uh, Eric actually I believe uses Alucard's spear. This game's got a rockin' soundtrack. I was watching uh, Middle East Stream uh, recently play this on his channel. This game's great. I would I would consider doing a full playthrough of this for the month. Uh, I've, I've got a lot of good stuff. Uh, we've been doing, we're working through, uh, Castlevania. Well, well, like, I might, I might do, like, one Castlevania. We're, we're actually, we're doing, I, I cannot speak tonight. <laughs> um, Spongebob has destroyed me. And we're, we're working through, um, right now, we're going through, uh, Resident Evil, Code Veronica. Code Veronica sounds like Castlevania. I guess that's what my, my brain was thinking. Seems very violent. Oh, dude, these, these tunes, they're so good. So yeah, we're playing through Resident Evil Code Veronica now. That's uh, a blind run. I'm excited to do uh, more of that. There's like... Does he not have like a flip? I thought he had like a really high jump in this game. I guess he doesn't. Thank you. That's what it was I was thinking of. Okay. I, I was like, there, is, there, is there not a button for that? We're going the other way. Come on, Tur, what's up? How you doing, buddy? Does he not have movement, though, while he's doing it? I guess not. Hmm. Aha! Here we go. I think this is one of the best sounding games in the uh, the Genesis. Like they always say, Genesis Genesis does what you can Genesis. You finished some trophy hunting? Uh, nice! Were you doing it for uh, retro achievements? Because I was thinking about doing this for retro achievements if I do it. See, Retro Achievements is just a fun way for me to have excuses to revisit a lot of these games. Where the... I don't need Retro Achievements for every game. There's some games where I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm good to play it alone. I guess this is, this is the way to go. It's hard to tell. Hey Draco, what's up? Hey Nat Jam Cop, thank you so much for stopping by. Really appreciate it. What do you do? Regular holy water. Okay, because the axes are different. It's been a while since I played. I usually like holy water, but let's let's go with this.
Nice try. Look at how violent that was, too. By the way, that was only a mid boss. So if you don't know the skeletons in Castlevania are uh, their boners, they are the worst. I love, though, that uh, you get to attack in multiple directions as part of the charm of this game. It's, it's got a lot of really good things that I feel like a lot of other Castlevania games have never really done. It's, it's weird, they kind of just dropped, you know, classic Vania altogether. They're just throwing me a frickin' bone. Okay, that's in the background. That's good. I was worried. I was like, well, I'm gonna die here. Oh! Oh, yeah. I love that, by the way. Look at how violent that is when you die. The spear impales you. So something I don't miss from old Castlevania games, a lot of them, uh, this game included, like to, for some reason, include an upgrade system. But the thing with the upgrade system is the upgrade system really never mattered because you pretty much always got it back immediately. I don't know, I never liked it. I, I felt like if you're gonna give it back to me immediately, you might as well just do something different. So cool looking. The more I play this game, the more I'm happy this got picked. It's a perfect October game that's also uh, very good for just like better than I remember it being. You never owned a Genesis as a kid. Nothing wrong with that. I didn't really have many Genesis games as a kid either. I kind of bought them after. Couldn't mute that in time. Next sneezing. This is uh, Eric Lacard. Uh, mild spoilers. If you've played Portrait of Ruin, you know who Eric Lacard is. He's in that game. I'm not gonna say where, but he's in the game. Strong sneeze is a sign of a strong spirit. I love that this boss has battle damage. I think it's a really cool choice. It comes like a baton twirler as you uh, defeat it. It's like it's like the Black Knight in uh, in Monty Python. I think that's what they're going for with this fight. 
She's just a flesh wound. She's but a scratch. Bloodlines is very good. Where's the password? I gotta say, I bet death feels a bit bad of having to fight Alucard, as it's like... Oh my, well, I, always, I always joke about that whenever I would play Symphony of the Night. I've streamed uh, Symphony of the Night three different times in three different ways. I've done the uh, Dilla game, I have done the Rando, I have done Crowd Control. This is really cool, by the way, the way the, uh, the water moves. I would always uh, imagine death as his, like, uncle. Ah, Alucard, would you like to tickle my root bones? Yes, I think that would be a great idea. You remember when you used to play me like a xylophone? Ah, uh, it was one of my favorite times as a child. Which death is my favorite? Um, probably Symphony of the Night, just for his ways of like, Ah, Alucard! Remember when we used to play fetch in the backyard of the castle? Yes, it was quite good. I would turn into a bat. Doggo, hi. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? Raids are actually working on Twitch again, so I can see that. Hello. Thank you so much for the raid. Can we get a shout out for Underdog? What are we playing? Did I pick the wrong one? Where you can't spear uh, downwards. It's interesting you don't have hearts in this game, you have gems. That's what he's doing! I just noticed- Oh, I forgot about this. Ugh! That was almost really bad. Now for the real boss. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. I've beaten this game, uh, this is a normal. I've beaten this game on hard in the past. I play a lot of Castlevania though, so I can I can handle this on hard. I'm rusty, so I have to play this on uh, normal. It's been it's been a long time. Damn that contact damage! Luckily, this fight is consistent, so it's always the same every time. I mean, there's nothing really different about it. Oh, 
record the first time you do it. Use this guy even. I just I always just call him Water Wizard as a kid. The Water Wizard. Hydromancer. That's what I do when I get everyone to drink water. Um, I think it might be better if I have the holy water for this. Never mind. Only a four? Oh, four is not enough to use any sub weapon. Got him. I remember what to do. He get close to him. It's like a Dark Souls boss. God, there was another guy. His English name is Heavy Armor. That is some heavy armor. Fuck out of here. I think it might be better to have this fight axe with axe, as they say. isn't over though. This game doesn't fuck around. This game is like very slowly all coming back to me. Which is a good thing. That restarts the uh, full level up. Oh no, it starts you back here. Okay, that's convenient. This is what I mean. Like, any Castlevania game, they make you lose your upgrade, and then it's like, oh no, I lost the upgrade, but then you, you get it back immediately. Who cares? Any other cats when you have limited continues? Nope. 
That's the only reason I haven't considered uh, doing this, like, fully. Yo, that's something I really remember about this game. So many cool little details like that. I mean, just the way this guy wiggles is, is much better than it is in any other Castlevania. It's just, they're so satisfying, the graphics. No other Castlevania game has you doing stuff like this, and I, I think that's part of it. I think I want the axe. I think this maybe might be my second favorite of the old Castlevania games. My favorite, probably Super Castlevania 4. Uh, that game did not age very well. In some places, I'm looking at you, uh, Slagra. Slagra is the worst fight in that game. You know the Slogger fight, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Rondo? I I streamed Rondo the first time I played it. Uh, very good game. I think that's my third favorite. It's it's very good Rondo, though. this. Uh, just going for it, I guess. Yeah, I always just refer to them as classic mania and like modern mania. It's just easier for me. This guy being not too bad, but I figured I'd take the L. I get my health back. This room is more annoying from what I remember than, uh, than the rest of the uh, boss. These guys were really angry that they couldn't drink any water while it was going down. I mean, it happens to the best of us. You know, sometimes you also forget to drink water. Are you actually playing Symphony, uh, Montero? Nice. This is what I remember about this boss being easy, is, uh, he, he a chunky boy. Oh, damn, he a thick boy, but... Really easy to get to him. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Especially uh, with the way the axe works in this game. You can see what I mean. Very easy boss. There's even like a shatter sound to the boss. Yeah, I was gonna do it with that, but then I realized it might be better if I have a little bit of health, so I, I just intentionally killed myself. The super sub weapon is such a cool idea. Hey, it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa.
Uh, this is a real historical thing that has happened, by the way, uh, if you have never been here. They have it on display in the tower. I remember the one time I went there. I was like, hey, where, where's the where's the pizza? It's the, the pizza tower, right? And then they were like, uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. There's no pizza. Wendy's doesn't do pizza. I love these Minotaur enemies. They're, they're so good in this game. I think maybe in this game, my favorite sub-weapon is probably... Boomerang. It, it's feel, it feels better than a normal Boomerang. Usually I like to take holy water in every game. Mom visited Lingling Tower when she was in the That's really cool. I've actually never been to Italy. I've only left the country to go to Mexico or Canada. Yeah, you know, Canada, or as we like to call it, America too. If you go there, if you ask about the the dinosaur skulls, they'll answer you. They'll be like, ah, the classic. The only thing not on tilt in this tower. No, no, it was not. Well, it's a good thing I picked up the axe. Yeah, so, uh, Leaning Tower Pisa, also known for its leaning, uh, leaning white dragon bones, I think is what the enemy's called. Classic, classic Italian thing. Mamma mia, no damage. they brought back the super sub weapon for like a classic mania game but i mean like everything else castlevania um and, and konami you know it's all it's all dead the only series that i think has games now is uh is bomberman i think there's there's a bomberman battle royale and it's uh i would love to play it it'd probably be one of the only battle royales i ever touched stadia exclusive guess i'm not touching that I thought Stadia exclusive was a good idea. What a, what a fool. There's Stadia exclusive Risk of Rain 2 content, and that upsets me. At full level of that game, it's just not accessible now. Ah, mummies. Another classic thing in the Leaning Tower. Yeah, they buried a lot of pharaohs in the Leaning Tower. Thought it was starting a CD exclusive? Um, as far as I know, uh, they never said that, but if they did, that's good. Isn't Stadia dead or dying? Uh, probably. How, how are you doing, by the way, Kirby Vaults? Hope you're doing well. Remembered this part. I didn't know it was this level. I thought it was like the next level. Thanks! I enjoyed the, the gentle push. Really, it was it was great. Thank <laughs> you. 
Really, uh, if you want to, you want to keep pushing me, uh, that would be great. You were supposed to keep yourself secret? Was the reason so that way you could waste your points? Because now we have a new waste option for anyone who missed it. Uh, all of you fools really like wasting your points, so... New waste option. 2,000 points, a streak. Are you going to sin? Are you going to waste points? There, there is absolutely no reward. I'm not, I'm not even joking. There's nothing. You will get nothing if you, if you fund this. There is no incentive to doing this. Keep asking for ways to waste points around here. So there you go. The floating platforms are another uh, famous part of the Leaning Tower. The Leaning Floating Platforms. You can't really tell they're leaning just from the uh, the angle they're at sometimes. But, I mean, if you look really carefully, you'll, uh, you'll know. I have holy water now. By the way, a uh, really cool part of the game here, uh, as much as I am very uncomfortable right now, because I remember this part being a pain in the ass. No! Part of battle tendency where the, the volcano. It's on uh, Air Saplena Island. There he is. This fucker. This guy's really cool. It's probably the coolest looking boss in the game. It's a little distracting from what I remember though. Small price to pay for a leaning tower. Here. I don't have enough HP. I don't think this is mode 7 if it's on Genesis. I think it's called something else. Mode 8 or mode 6. This is a bat? I, I, I never knew it was a bat. I just thought it was a demon. My, my one complaint with this game is that as cool as it looks, I'm sure you could imagine uh, playing this game gets a little distracting at times. Like this. Pizza gargoyle. You know, gar gargoyles are known for their love of pizza. <laughs> no! I almost fell off the cliff. Well, we're gonna we're gonna ride out the rest of these lives, and then we'll move on to the next game. Because we are at time. They like pizza. Yeah. Haven't you seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Gargoyles? All they do is eat pizza in that show. Are you gonna tell me you saw a different show? I know what I saw. Oh, I almost fell off the cliff!
That was a waste. Shouldn't have done that. Ah. Alright. That game still is very good. Uh, they give you continues. If you want to play this, uh, it's a very good game for October. We're going to be checking out uh, Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth over on Sunday. So I look forward to revisiting that game. It's very good. But... Tattooed Teenage Alien Gargoyles from Beverly Hills. Mmm. Classic series. Alright, if you want to get in on the next raffle... Here's how to get in. Pizza. Once again, I'm gonna remind you, have a game ready, please. It really helps. And hey, did you know on Saturday, I'm going to keep mentioning this, there is a charity stream. It is a breast cancer charity stream. It is going to be Saturday at 9 p.m. on John's channel. That is uh, twitch.tv slash protonjohn. You're probably already following him, but just in case, there's probably one person here that isn't. Check it out. I'm going to have a very good block. It's going to be uh, me with a bunch of Soul Calibur creations. They're going to be duking it out. And just trying to rig the RNG with that luck emote. I see how it is. Remember, if you post the luck emote, you're more likely to win. That's correct. So look forward to that. If you could donate, donate the one Saturday. If you could spread the word, that helps even more. I know it's 2020. I know you don't have a lot of money. Let's be real. Uh, it sucks. Uh, it's it's been a hard year. But if you're if for some reason you have extra money. You want to throw a dollar at us? That's great. Cancer uh, is something that I would love to one day be able to defeat. Uh, my uh, mother-in-law now actually uh, has uh, breast cancer. Found out recently. Nice, nice, very nice. You playing Bikini Bubble Bath for the NES yet? I am definitely not playing that game on stream. I know what game that is. That is not allowed on stream. I can't play that. But thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna give you the 10 second countdown, so get in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's not a SpongeBob game, that's a porn game. Drag, congrats. What are we playing? For anyone who doesn't know, Bubble Bath Babes is a porn game. Don't play it. It's also not a very good game. Uh, Sam Sam Rage quit it. Blaster Master Blasting Again. I didn't even know that game existed. Never even heard of it. Never once heard of this game. Oh no, it's one of these. Like the gritty reboot that they tried to do before realizing we don't need to gritty reboot every single game. Oh, oh, it's one of these. Oh. That's, that's the cover that I just found in my collection, uh, in my real collection. There are good porn games. All right, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not playing the game for the game, if that makes sense. I'm sure if you ask like Tiger or someone else, they'll uh, they'll tell you what the good what the good porn games are. I wouldn't know. I'm innocent. I've never played a porn game, ever. 
you go to my retro achievements page, it will definitely not say how many porn games I've mastered, which is more than one. I've never mastered a porn game. It's, you know, ever. The fact that it says, uh, plumbers don't wear ties, mastered. Sexy invaders, mastered. Those are not real games. Game 69 was plumbers don't wear ties, though. You're a good boy who doesn't have any porn. I don't believe you. BMX Triple X. I've never played it. I've heard of it. I, I've never played it. We're not playing that here, though. By the way, proof of concept. I did see drag. Post. Did you luck? Which means it works. One person winning with it. I mean, everyone has to win with it. That works. I'm not playing BMX on stream. If it's if it's a real porn game, I'm not playing it. You could you could stream Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. There is nothing bad in that game except for a nipple if you uncensor it, and that as a problem then. I've asked staff this question. That's what they told me. They said, sure, if you don't show anything, uh, your plumbers don't wear ties isn't really a porn game. I love that PlayStation uh, startup sound. I, I didn't even grow up with a PlayStation and I'm nostalgic for it. Oh no, is this a 3D game? Oh no, this might be a 3D game, I just realized. Uh-oh. Lonely is not my manager. <laughs> they just kicked the logo! Alright, that's pretty good. When my father was alive, he told me a story about alien beings that invaded and inhabited the ground beneath the earth. They were lightning beings, mechanical aliens that were building a nest deep under the ground. With their great power, they caused the evils in the earth threatening humanity. My father, in his combat vehicle, Sophia III, was the brave one who defeated the plutonium boss, but his bravery cost him, and my father succumbed to death. In combat, he fell into the enemy's trap. This is so serious for Blaster Master. This dying. is the same series that, that brought us the potted plant with tits. Without relying on anyone but ourselves. We didn't know it then, but it was only a matter of time before another nightmare would be upon us. Check complete. Sis? Navigation is in your hands. Okay, leave it to me. How's Sophia today? The potted plank with hits. Oh, Daydream, that's real. That's in uh, Blaster Master Zero Two. Great. Everyone loves that character, yeah, and even helping. if they've never played the game, she's got like watermelon and gazongos. It's only reconnaissance again. No, not Kana, the watermelon. Okay, uh, plants. Know, it's real. So, shall we start? Look at that thumbs up. Didn't this series start with a kid trying to find his pet frog? Yeah, yeah, it did. I think I think that's the lore they dropped at us. And I think they just didn't want to mention the frog part because it, it sounded uh, lame for how edgy they were trying to go. Yeah, no, that's a real character. She's she's real. I've not played Blaster Master Zero or, or Zero Two. I, I meant to and then never bought the games. Oh, 
Oh, yo, the music. I'll update you with any information I can pick up. Remember, if the lamp on the bottom left corner of the screen flashes, open the communication line by pressing the sub window button. Got it? Why is this 3D Blaster Master, and why have I never heard of it? It's just like, it's like a remix of the original theme. It's pretty good. Well, if you got a sour, please. I, I mean, now's the time to deal with it. This is, this is good. How have I never known this game existed, though? Like... This, this is a little zoomed in, admittedly. But, really Blaster Master, I feel like it work. Seems like it auto locks on. It's cool. Z2 is better, but harder. Don't worry. It has to be harder after you take a good look at Kana. I mean, it's just fact. I know what you're thinking. It's true, but you don't need to say it. Well, yeah. I will say, this game's kind of ugly looking. Uh, I kind of expected Blaster Master to be a lot brighter. Maybe it's because we're in a cave going underground, but... Kind of gray. Power, F power. I'm really liking this. This is just, really, it's just Blaster Master, but in. There's nothing bad about this. It's. Just, it works. I, my only complaint is really that the game is kind of ugly to look at and everything kind of looks the same. doesn't fit at all. You're, you're absolutely right. But the music does not need to fit to be good music, and I can recognize that. I talk about this a lot. You'll hear me every once in a while say, um, weirdly enough, my favorite Tetris music is uh, Tetris CDI has the best soundtrack if you look it up on YouTube right now. It's like, nah, th th it shouldn't be this good, Tetris CDI. And then you listen to it and you're like, no, he's right. That That is really good. The best game on the CDI. I mean, that's not a hard thing to do, but... Were there any other Blaster Master games now that, now that I think about it that, like, I never knew about this whole time? There might be. I might have to go look at it. There's time? I didn't know there was time to this game. Oh no. Blaster Master Overdrive doesn't exist anymore, uh, sadly. Shame, but I have a way to play it. I, I have been talking about the Tetris uh, CDI OST for like at least like two years. I'm glad other people are talking about it. A lot of stuff you can pick up in this game too.
You can just save when it. Oh, I guess what's on here. Okay, so that's how you get out. I was wondering if you could get out. I guess I have to go in here. It seems like a place I would park my car. Yeah, shoot that rock with the tiny gun. Junior and enemy below. Can't go in there? How do I get across then? Do I just have to jump? I guess I guess you have higher jumps than uh, the Sophia. The Poltergust, hi! Thank you for the raid. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. We're doing a jukebox community night. If you don't know what that is, if you're new here, every half hour you get to pick the game. So we were playing Blaster Master for the PS1. I didn't know there was a Blaster Master on the PS1. Did you? Lowed Gis uh, Mansion. Welcome, uh, Polter, Turnabout Robin, Mama Jelly, Yakyo, Adorabat, if you're new here, hi, my name is Juker, I'm playing, uh, playing video games, and that's a good time to mention once again, uh, if you are new here, we have a lot of fun around here, we do different stuff every day, uh, Saturday, it's not gonna be on my channel, but it's gonna be on Proton John's channel, I am helping with a, uh, breast cancer charity, so, uh, definitely tune in for that, stick around though, uh, we have fun, playing through, uh, Code Veronica for the first time tomorrow, we started it up the other day. It's pretty good. Then on uh, Sunday, we're going to be checking out the uh, Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth. As well as the other Rebirth games. Honestly, yeah, this is this is fine. I don't have a problem with this game, it's, except for the, the look. The look is just so lacking. Oh. That's the game over? You just spin around? I think this is pretty zoomed in, honestly. Maybe it's because you didn't get here when we were in the Sophia. Ronnie? What were you guys, uh, what were you guys playing? I'm Jelly, thank you so much for the follow if you're doing the stream. Yeah, I got spoopy stuff planned basically all month. Uh, Thursdays is just a whatever day. I'm happy to uh, find new games like this. I didn't even know this game existed, and I like Blaster Master. Uh, someone randomly picked it, and it popped up, and here we are. Fun. I can go in these. I tried to drive into one earlier, and it didn't work. Art streams, drawing OCs dressed like one of the magician sisters from Loogie Mansion 3. Haven't played Loogie Mansion 3. Maybe this month. Who knows? So this music though. Still just caves though, like it, there needs to be more than just caves in this game for me to really recommend it. And maybe not have loading screens in between every area. It's not one or two. See, I didn't like two. Uh, I didn't even play two, but like I knew it wasn't for me. I've heard three took a lot of what I didn't like, though, into and make it, its, make it a better thing. We'll see. Like I said, we're just doing spooky stuff all month. Uh, one of the games I want to check out um, that looks very good that I need to check out this month. Uh, actually, unironically, very good. Did you know there is a Muppet horror game on the PS1? What? There, there's a Muppet horror game on the PS1, you say? Well, yeah, of course there was. Why wouldn't there be? I want to play that uh, for October, one of these days. We're going to be playing it. One door is red and the other is spooks. That's what you get when you play the Muppets. Spooky game. Ever thinking of picking that? Might want to hold off on that if that wins then. 
I mean, you can pick it. I'm not gonna say no. You'll get a taste of it. But uh, I wanna, I wanna do that on stream in full. It's a really rare game, apparently, as I've been told. It's a, uh, it's a collectathon where you play as uh, oh fuck, what's his name? Uh, Ralph. Robin, thank you. So you play as Robin and you go around uh, spooky areas and it's, it's a collectathon, but it's like actually really good from what I've heard. Like it's better than it has any right to be. Yeah, so the Muppets get turned into classic horror monsters, so it's like... Uh, let's... I'll, I'll give you the one example I remember. I was, I was... I had to think for a moment which one was which. Um, Gonzo, with his nose, is, uh, Nose Feratu the Vampire. Kermit is, uh, Kermit Stein. Yeah, I think Miss Piggy's, like, the bride of Kermit Stein. I want to say... Fozzy is the werewolf. The werebear. You collect evil energy and the soundtrack was done by Michael Giacino before he started doing big film scores. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Which means it probably will not get uh, the Vodmute uh, triggered. Twenty-eight bucks, according to price charting. Uh, it's funny. Like a year or two ago, I saw it was going for way more. I guess it dropped in price. Game, come on. I mean, Animal's not one of the main uh, Muppets, though. I mean, he's he's pretty big and he's pretty popular. He's one of my favorites, but he's, he's not Fozzie Bear. It is so hard to make jumps in this game. Pepe, I think, is in that game as well. We're, we're probably gonna do Muppets uh, once we're done with, uh, once, once we're done doing the, uh, what, Veronica? Clifford the Dog? Yo, Clifford the Dog is, like, one of the best Muppets. Clifford's great because at one point in the movies, uh, they need they need to do a montage and they have to get him. So they're like, "Hey, uh, let's let's go help." And then it's like, "How come I wasn't in the montage?" And then they they go they flash back to getting him. He's just napping on the hammock. They're like, "Hey, we're getting the Muppets back together. You want to go in?" He just wakes up. And he's like, yeah, "Okay, I guess." That's fair. I love everything Muppets. I'm so happy Muppets games are actually good. Uh, one thing, all right, chat, you're gonna you're gonna like this one. I haven't I haven't told anyone this yet. Uh, so you know I like doing retro achievements lately. It's been it's been a thing I've started doing this year. Uh, did you know? Oh boy, here we go. What what stupid game is you're gonna mention that got retro achievements now? It's always something stupid. I have noticed uh, the last time I checked. Superman 64 got added and uh, has not been mastered by anyone yet. I don't wanna do it. The the set is actually kind of amazing. Gotta get John to help master. John is actually mentioned by name on one of the uh, the achievements. One of them says, "Congrats, you made it farther than him." Nice. 
the flames to subside, and we're good to be right back. I think it would be fun, uh, Superman 64. To do that for retro achievements. Honestly, I didn't find extra mode that hard. Uh, the hardest part of extra mode probably was Krako Jr. and he didn't even give me that much trouble. It was more, actually, no, I disagree. The hardest part of extra mode for me was the uh, the bullshit enemy uh, placement. Is just extremely rude in extra mode. Even Montaru, uh, the Kirby expert around here. Uh, Montaru has never even attempted uh, extra mode. I like tweeting out the retro achievement stuff because uh, it's, it's a way to be like, hey, here's stuff I did. You did the extra mode with one health and one life challenge. Kirby Vault, why? I believe you, but also why? Did it unlock it? No, of course it didn't. At that point, Kirby wasn't even like a name, you know? It was, it was just whatever. You know, uh, the retro achievement set for Superman 64 kind of looks like actually fun, and I kind of want to play it. I've never played it on stream. I've played the PS1 version, which uh, never came out, but we, we did that on a, on a stream. Actually pretty good, the PS1 version. No, I, I'm not talking about the Commodore one. I'm strictly talking about the N64. I'm mad enough to, to do it. Maybe it's because I've been watching my buddy Mr. R Knight try and beat Superman 64 blind. He's he's been going at it. He's he's doing his best. I keep telling him he's not gonna be able to beat it because it looks like a job for Superman. Yeah, if you guys want to see that happen, I might, after October, maybe try and make that happen. If it, if we can't even get all the achievements, we'll at least make it a, a full playthrough. Have I actually beaten it? Yeah, I've beaten it with a friend in elementary school years ago. I think of it. I thought it was shit. <laughs> of course I did. It, uh, I knew a guy who got into video games who uh, that was one of their first games in elementary school that they ever played and I, I think that's they got so sick of Superman they didn't want to play video games ever again and it was like they asked their parents to buy them the N64 for like Christmas and everything. Really really tragic. I feel like if there was anything that would do it would be uh, that Superman release. Oh hey what's up? Not much. I ate. I hear. That's, that's about it. <laughs> I see you've been doing Blaster Master among some other games. They've been good. Yeah, I had no idea this game existed. Yeah, same. I'm not the most knowledgeable about like various releases, admittedly. See, but... I knew Blaster Master games existed and... Same. I never knew this one existed, I really like these games. Mm -hmm. I know about the NES one, I know about Blaster Master Zero, which was like the Switch one. And two. Yeah, Blaster Master Zero two. Or, it's Blaster, it doesn't matter. What matters is that there are many Blaster Masters. And it's cool to see. 
it's one of those walk on foot areas. Maybe. Yeah, I did say that, Adamant. It's just yeah, beach be level at twenty percent view. Which I love you can do that in that yep. game. Yeah, no, I love it. I love the achievement set for that. If any yo, Maniacal, do you wanna, do you wanna share that in the chat for everyone to see? Oh, uh yeah, sure, sure. Let me let me get that. I'm I'm mad enough to do it. You're stupid enough to do it more like like melon percent has been achieved and we're gonna do it first thing for uh november okay yeah i was wondering about melon percent but that would make sense for november i i was gonna do it but then we got we got into october mode so i was like oh i guess that's putting on hold dude i feel that i want i wanted to start resident evil like a week ago but i had like other stuff i needed to finish first i got so annoyed that i couldn't finish it fast enough but whatever i started it that's all i care about dude i, I will say resident evil 4 is really fucking good so far that game is fun. Yeah, no. I really like that one big fish you got the other day. It was... Dude, I was so... <laughs> I don't even want to describe it. I was... He's, he's I... been playing Resident Evil 4 for the first time on his channel, and uh, I was like, Oh, hey, you, you look like you could use some health before the boss. Here, uh, you can heal up if you shoot the water in the uh, on the lake. And uh, yeah, I got him with that. I wanted, some I wanted some fish. I was like, I don't see any fish. I, th I thought I saw some fish, but that was imagining things. So I'm like... You know, you just keep shooting the water, maybe more fish will come up. Big ass fish comes up and just like scares the shit out of me. <laughs> just like, yeah, well, I knew it would work on you. <laughs> it's like, fucking asshole. <laughs> I, was, I was mad, but I was also like laughing because it was so funny to me. Yes, uh, Commander Proton, I, I read that out. I, that, I said that one of them mentions him for making it further than him. As far as I checked, no one, no one has gotten all the achievements, and I, if no one else no one is has. doing it, I kind of want to be the first person to do it. Someone else may already be working on it because they might want to say, "Oh, I want to do, or I want to be the first person to master Superman 64." If anything, I just appreciate the genre on this page. Best flying simulator ever. Yep. Yeah, the more you look at that page, the better it is. And yes, uh, uh, John knows because I told him immediately as soon as I got uh, published, and he got a good laugh out of it. Nice. That's gonna be a very dated achievement in time, I'm sure. Eventually. Eventually, yeah. I mean, at least the very least, the description will be updated, but that's all you really need to do. For the moment, though, I'm sure, like... Is, is there? Is there for right now? I don't understand where I need to go. It's so dark everywhere, I can honestly... don't know. I went up to the door, and the door told me to heck off. Okay. Was the door crazy? I don't know she loves saying heck. I guess we're, we're going under. Uh, I think the 11 people thing is actually how many people have played it. That, that is how many people have played the game. Like they have it on their profile at all. So, one thing that I, I complained about earlier with this game, um, I think it's really easy to get lost, and I'm definitely lost. Everything, everything looks, looks the same. same. Yeah. Um, we, we got like four minutes left of this game. I think I'm good to just uh, call this one. This was a good game. I just... I think it needs some more color and maybe not have everything be rock. I think... Makes this game kind of forgettable. Mm-hmm. And it's a little too gritty and serious, whereas No Blaster Master game, I think... Has ever been... Is serious. You don't want to go too edgy. When you go too edgy, the game is forgotten and trash. In some cases. I'm gonna try opening the door one last time. If it doesn't open, then we'll stop. Or you could be Daikatana and be remembered forever. Hi, Tiger, where were you when we were talking about uh, Kana, the watermelon babe? I thought that oh, was something you. Oh, right, yeah, there was like a watermelon go for Blaster Master. Watermelon and potted plants. Yeah. Listening. That's not so disturbing. Watermelon boobs. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Open up! <laughs> yeah, that is cr oh, I didn't even notice on the page, you're right. Developer Titus Software, publisher Tit Soft Wario. Yep, Soft Wario. Soft Wario. That's supposed to a hard Wario. Like my favorite command from uh, the Mario series, Mount Wario. Ah, uh, yes. The uh, honestly a pretty good stage in Mario Kart. Would you Mount right. Wario chat? All right, 
yeah, we're done with this game. Good game, but uh, needs some direction. It was a good choice. Perhaps waypoints could work. Hi! Hi, Wang, you got here just in time. We're about to do the next raffle. How you doing, buddy? If you want to get on, on the next raffle, you get to pick the game for the next half hour if you win. Now's a good time to mention, uh, since I've been doing this every uh, time. First off, uh, if you need to know, exclamation point jukebox, type in exclamation point Kana if you want to enter. Please get those the Lux out. It helps you with the RNG. You will ring the RNG in your favor if you have access to it, I hear. But! Let me say the most important part. Did you know there is a charity stream on Saturday? I'm going to be uh, helping out over on uh, Proton John's channel. It is for breast cancer, and if you could be there, that would mean a lot to me. If you can't make it, that's fine. Spread the word. I'm going to be running a Soul Calibur 6 Create a Character block, and it's going to be great. You don't have to donate. The, the year is really difficult. I know. I understand. Do what you can. If you really can't donate, just spread the word. It really helps out a lot. This year's tough. We're getting through it. We'll look forward to that. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I might even make an incentive on the fly. Who knows? If you could donate during that block, I definitely recommend you do. Or at least stop by. It'll be worth it. Anyways, I'm gonna give it the 10 second countdown if you still wanna get in. Get those lucky emotes ready. You got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ultimate Spaz! Congratulations. Congrats. I think this is the first time they won. I hope you had a game ready. What are we playing? Wild Guns for the Super Nintendo. Hell yeah. Good choice. If I had the remake, I would have just loaded that up, but uh, I don't have that, sadly. Wild Guns is a great choice. Ah, Natsume, he made so many great games. Game level, do it on normal. We gotta be Annie. Annie's the better character. Oh, absolutely. She is the better character. Oh, we'll go with black. They always say, ye. I cannot stress this enough. Oh. If you don't know how this game works, uh, it is a run and gun. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's kind of a run and gun. I have to remember the melee button. There's a melee. I don't want to play this. 
It is. It has been a long time since I've played this game. You want to run around and uh, basically shoot everyone, but you can't move and shoot anything with this game. You can, you can avoid these uh, these uh, dinguses. Ah, of course. It's a it's a Wild West robot game, which is kind of unique. I am very rusty at this game, you couldn't tell. Oh, okay. you just want to hit him when he gets close. Was this in the arcade? I feel like it was. I shot one guy and they both fell over. The bosses are great, they're all just rootin' tootin' cowboys. Mm hmm Can't tell you how many times I could think of where I would just, like, try and dodge out of the way and just roll into shots on accident or something. Yeah, That's always the this, worst. This game is hard. I love this game, but it's oh, definitely dude. a game you gotta warm up for, so... Mm-hmm. Fun I'm game, but oh, man. Times. Right. I do love like all of Annie's like there's just like all these different alternate colors you can put on them. For sure. It's unnecessary, but I'm glad it exists. Mm-hmm. There we go, okay. Okay, you can, you can see I'm already doing better now that I'm starting to remember how to play. Oh, absolutely. I love the screen clear in this game. Oh yeah, no, it's real good. This game is so extra, like everything that you do, and I love it. Like, none of what you were doing doesn't need to be this extreme, and it's part of what makes this game great. Mm -hmm. oh, shit, I do bad. like. This is a bad time to I sneeze. Do... Oh no, I feel the sneeze coming on. I do like that this game actually did get a remaster. Yes, that's what, uh, that's what last I was year. mentioning uh, earlier. It's, I've heard it's really good. I have heard the same. I've heard it's better. Yeah, I think Dalton is a big fan of it. Uh, I believe it is better because there are more characters for that one thing. Matter to me. They play the same. Mm -hmm, but there's like more than just the characters, to my knowledge. But overall, yeah, a lot of people will say that the remaster slash remake is a lot better. The new character is a cord with a gun on its back. Yo, Good. Middle East stream, what's up? We get a shout out for Middle East stream. Really cool little guy, really chill. If you like my streams, you'll probably like his. He's got the same vibe. You know, tables are extra too. You don't really need tables. Tables are overrated. Table? You can just stand up and eat. It's fine. It builds character. Absolutely. Mario 35. Nice choice. Oh, right. You can double jump in this game. You can. Actually, I think... Is any of you double jump? Wasn't her whole thing so she's more agile? I, maybe they are different? I, it's, it's been like, a few years since I've played this. Probably like eight I years. Want, I want to say Annie's more agile too. And, like She can like double jump and stuff. Whereas... I think it's Cole was the other guy. I think he's more stronger, like his bullets do more damage. Honestly, in games like these, I like to be alive, personally. Okay, Clint can double jump too, gotcha. I've yet to play Mario 35 myself. I have not no because... interest, I'm not, I'm not big on Battle Royales. I just find it really weird for the people who really like it, um, oh, so... going away. Yeah. It's like, that, yeah. that really sucks. I would at least give it a shot. Oh my god, it's that one guy from uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2 that you fight in that one part of the game, I won't say. I say so that could literally be no, anyone. It's, you know why I can't say it. It's that part of the game. I mean, yes, I know why. 
There's a, there's one guy in a blue suit that looks like this. He's mm -hmm. voiced by Dio. Yes, that guy. Say, Takahiro Koyasu is a very good VA. He does so many good characters across Yo, so many different series. Yo, on Katsumiki 2. Great game. Well, when you know what to do in that game. That game is, is bullshit, but I love it. Castlevania 2, oof, that is, that is a game, alright. It's rough, but I, I really like it when you know what to do. It, it's like the original um, Modern Mania, in a, in a way, you know? Yeah, I could, I could see why you it, say it that. It really started the whole thing, like, if you look back, a lot of what it wanted to do was just perfected in later games. So it's a really cool, cool game, just to look at it. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck, I missed it. I've yet to actually uh, renew my Switch Online is the only reason why I haven't really like played Mario 35 yet, I'll say. I am on my uh, my girlfriend's account. She just pays for it because she uses the online way more than me. Mm -hmm. I just have an account for myself. Like A friend did offer, like, hey, I could like Switch Online. I'm like, I appreciate that, but I want, I want it for myself, you know? I want to pay for it on my own and like have my own account on it. Like, If there's like a little any, like, deals or whatever, it's like, I'll just get those for myself, not have to worry about missing out on them. Understandable. But I, yeah, no, I, I mean, I like having it for my own. It's, it's okay. nice. Mm -hmm. I think about it, has... Let's have go you to Desolation done? Canyon, probably because it's easier. Desolation Canyon is a good one to go to, oh, yeah. Zero. Have you, out of curiosity, bought Mario Alt 3D All-Stars? Nope. No, okay. I don't own a lot of the games that are in there. I think I think uh, I know there's only three of them, but like I think actually I don't think I own any of them anymore except for Mario 64 DS. And that doesn't even count. Mm -hmm. I've never had a copy of oh. 64 before, so it'd be nice to have my own copy of that. Sunshine, I still have my copy of. I guess still have my copy of Galaxy, but it's just nice to be able to play on my Switch. I've already beaten Sunshine again on that. Yeah, the, the, a lot of the a lot of the port just seems really lazy to me. Is part of the reason I haven't got them. Oh, and that's completely fair. If someone bought it for you as a gift, I'm sure, like, you probably wouldn't say no at that point. I though. wouldn't say no, but I, I think I'd rather have other games I haven't played. I get that, yeah. Like, Sunshine looks worse. There's something about it that is just wrong Oh, no, I, I, I noticed the same thing, like, when I... It was, like, like the ending stuff, right? No, I noticed how, like... Well, that too, but I, I mean, where I noticed it, like, the most... It was when the ending stuff, where you could see, like... Alger's face and like the water, like the upscaling made it look really odd. It was kind of hard to describe with the textures and like the water and on Bowser's chin. There was just something really off about it, and I was like, "What? What am I looking at here?" And people told me it was upscaling, so I'm like, "I so." <laughs> I agree with that. And there is upscaling to the game. You know what? Actually, what's the really funny thing with the upscaling? Did you know that the 100% reward for Mario Sunshine actually got smaller? <laughs> what? Excuse me, how? Yeah, so it's a picture. That's why spoilers for that, but it is a picture you get for 100% reward. The picture is actually smaller in the 3D All-Stars version. <laughs> why? I don't know. Another weird thing is I think when you swim underwater, or no, there's some, like, camera trick in the game that doesn't work in 3D All-Stars anymore. It doesn't, like, fit the entire screen. So you get uh, attacked by that fish. That was pretty cool. I've never seen that happen. Dude, I, I was so I mean, sad. I guess the good thing is the game is so broken that if you're... If you want to play the game for, uh... A seizure warning, by the way. You need to look away, look away. Oh, yeah, it's a bit. There's a seizure boy. Uh, so... It's, it's one of those, uh, like... If you want to speedrun the game, it's probably the best version. Um, I don't know what people have been saying about that. I mean, I, I think it's too early to say, but it, it seems I can tell you pretty broken to me. Maybe. I, I, I feel like Sunshine was always this broken, but it could be a bit more janky. I've, I've had some stuff happen to me in Sunshine, like this new version I've never had happen to me before. You're good to look, by the way, if you were looking away. To my knowledge, um, 64, obviously, no, people still like original 64, because it's a different version of it uh, on 3 All-Stars. And Galaxy, I have no idea. Hi, Dan. How, how are you doing, buddy? Congrats on the PB, Dan. Congrats on PB. What flavor was it? Chunky? 
I hope it was like crisp. You only want smooth pee speedrunning. You don't want crunchy PBs? It's, it's very bad for speedrunners. Oh. <laughs> Got a lot of nerve showing your face here, partner. See if we got in this raid. Got quite a number of people here. We got Mr. Viper Fang. Wolves are kind of cool. They are. Kyrie Hawk, welcome. Dan, hello. Your Chaos Chow, hello again. Got a Can Doom, welcome. Andrew, you're already here. That doesn't count. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I see you try to be in this chat and that chat at the same time. Don't think I didn't notice. Pikachu hey, girls. Wrong with that. I'm gonna say Pikachu, Pikachu, oh Pikachu girl, saltiest potato. Great name. Gem Phoenix Music, thank you for the follow. That Unknown Skull, good to see you. Your G-Fan, welcome. Flying Tengu, hello. Goyo, welcome. Solace Nexus, good to have you. Blade, hello. d -Mats. hey. Trinosaur, welcome. Anyone else I'm just getting here? Zoplade Storm, Does Diz, Lugan, welcome. I'm a spoon. You're here, Darkest Tempest. Never mind. Uh, welcome, we are doing Jukebox Community Night. It's basically every 30 minutes you get to pick the game. You're playing Wild Guns. Great game on the Super Nintendo. And since there's another raid, and we're bringing it up a lot, hey, there's a charity stream on Saturday. I'm going to be a part of for breast cancer. It's going to be on uh, Proton John's channel. And if you like Soul Calibur, if you like your dumb creative characters, uh, you definitely want to be there. It's, if you can, spread the word. Raid, if you can. I don't normally say raid whoever, but if, if it's a charity marathon, spread the word. For a good cause. Thing feels like a Metal Gear. Uh, I could see that. Like a weird, like, Shackahod. Yeah. The Yeehaw God. It's gonna be a lot of fun, though. Uh, you definitely do not want to miss that block. It will be worth your time. Let's try another stage. Mostly because of the... Go for it. Yeah, um, in a few minutes, I think we got like 10 minutes left, uh, we are going to do the next raffle, if you want to pick the game. You can really tell though, I've, I've pretty much uh, started getting the hang of this game again. Like, I died there, and that's fine, but like, you can see I'm playing a lot better than when I was like, alright, time to get back into this game. Immediately, I game over, and now I'm like, oh. I, was, I, I do appreciate play. I do appreciate you saying, like, starting the sentence off, I know what I'm doing, as you just get killed in the middle of No, it. I actually do. Like, I kind of understand what I'm doing. No, 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 I know, I just found that funny with the name. I, I, I understand. Just kind of funny how, like, timings can work like that. If you like what you're seeing here, I usually see the remastered version go pretty cheap every now and then. I might have then. to pick it up on the Switch. It's pretty good. Uh, it's for fun here. I got my Switch open. Let's let's see how much this is on the eShop. It's wild guns, not wild arms. I tend to confuse the two. And you can pick up the dynamite, by the way. Oh, you motherfucker! I didn't see you! Oh, that was so dirty! Oh, those guys suck. I didn't even see him! He just, just came up on the screen and shanked me. I was focused on the, the boss. <laughs> Swiggity swooty. <laughs> Use my knife. Let's try this again. Uh, Wild Guns Reloaded is 1999 currently on the Switch eShop. But I'm sure that will go on sale. Really, at any point, so always be on the lookout for that. Even put on your uh, wish list if you want. Nintendo's usually pretty good about emailing you uh, whenever something goes on sale on your wish list, as I found out, which is nice. This is also a great co op game if you need a great co op game to play with a buddy. That's great. Uh, I thought I could roll in time and grab that. That's my fault. I think it's only local co op from what I'm saying. Yes, yes it is. But if you have the Steam version, uh, you can play that on Persec, which is great. That is true. Recommended, especially for uh, current world. 
I was already using it before, but now that it's like, you can't go outside and you can't get those buddies together, Parsec is better than ever. I Not mean, it's really just, just the same thing, it's just, now you can play it with, uh, give an excuse to play with friends now, locally. Right, but I would also recommend not just Parsec, but also, of course, Steam Remote Play. You can do as well. Oh, come on. Yeah, Steam Remote Play, that's, that's the Parsec on it. Yeah. Remote Play, I have not had as good of an experience with. I've only ever used it once, and it was kind of wonky. That's a shame, because in my experience using Remote Play, it was very good for me. Like, I had, a. Uh... I, 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 I know when you played it. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying, like, I just remember it being, like, pretty good. And that's the other thing. Not all games have remote play. Everything works with Parsec. That is true. There are some games under multiplayer that actually do not have remote play, which is a little frustrating, I feel. For, yeah, uh... No, Par Parsec is great for that. And you can play, uh, emulated games. Uh, I know I meme all the time about every game here being overclocked. Uh, we all know. We all know. Of course, with the pump, blah, 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 blah. with Parsec, it also comes down to um, figuring out all the little like inner workings of Parsec to make like one of the most important levels, things. And we'll go on to the next game. Of course, I would say one of the most important things about Parsec is figuring out audio. So, I, yeah, like the person, if you have you virtual have... audio cable set up, it helps. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want your person hearing you twice or like hearing themselves. That, that's never fun. this Mad Max inspired uh, level. Oh, it's pretty good. These dune buggies. Really? I am playing so sloppy now, all of a sudden. Oh. Can't dodge roll off the train in this game, luckily. This train here kind of reminds me of uh, Shadows of the Empire, believe it or not. I used to like really? that game, but then I kind of realized the platforming segments in that game are kind of stanky. Is that a Star Wars game? Yes, or... yes it is. They were going to turn it into a movie at one point because it's based on a book originally. Okay. And they never did. Definitely a lot of interesting um, Star Wars media that they've tried adapting into various, well, media. Mystery shots? Mystery. Apparently the main character ship cameos in a version of the new hope. Yes, but then they said everything extended universe isn't, uh, you know, extended universe stuff is non-canon. But then it shows up, so it, it is canon, but it isn't, and they've never answered it's, that. It is weird. <laughs> no one knows for sure. I mean, the Extended Universe had a lot of really cool stuff in it, like uh, Luke's wife, who does not exist anymore. Yeah. I think there was something about, like, Extended Universe stuff introducing some stuff like Luke getting, like, a dual saber or something. I can believe that. Or, is that a dual? I, no, I think it was actually, like a, like, a mini saber. Like, he, get, like, a, he gets, like, a second, like, tiny lightsaber. His wife was badass. One of the most badass characters. It's such a shame. A shame that she never showed up? No, that she's non canon now. Ah. But then they were like, well, we might decanonize the movies. I, I don't want them to. Of seizure warning again. It just seems to happen the V gun power up. I guess you, you just charge it at the bottom. Which sucks because now I can't do anything, so it's a waste. 
What do you mean decanonize the movies? Oh, the new movies they were trying to, they were talking about um decanonizing them maybe, which is I, I would rather they not do that. That's I understand people hated them, but like, man, that, that seems a bit excessive, don't I, you think? I don't like them, but I really like the characters. I think the writing was a mess. Like, like it wasn't perfect. Let me let me put it that way. I think it had a no, lot of potential, but, but I don't think it should just be thrown away like that. I think that's wrong if they're actually ending up doing that. Yeah, I only saw episode seven myself, but I heard bits and pieces about like the later episodes, uh, eight and nine, mm -hmm. and I heard like, for one thing. The main thing I heard was that they wasted the potential of Finn, one of like, the coolest new characters, sure. and like, like what, like a lot of neat ideas there. Like apparently he just gets thrown to the side eventually, which really sucks to hear, because I was very interested in Finn like as a character. All right. If you would like to get in on the next raffle to decide what we're playing, Yeehaw. You have the Jew luck right now. Now's the best time to post it. Helps to uh, rig your chances against everyone else. Fully recommend it. Don't put it in with your actual entry, otherwise it doesn't count. Have a game ready, please. It helps us go faster. Once again, uh, you're gonna keep hearing about it all night. Hey, Saturday, parody stream, 9 p.m. Eastern. Be there. It'll be fun. It's gonna be on John's channel, not mine. Go watch it. Where can we check the game list? It's all emulated. Yes. Don't tell anyone. I love every time that happens. I, I I put it as any game. I mean, I think most people when they see something like that, they assume like, oh, I guess it's like a like a list or something. But no, no, not, not so. I own literally every game on those consoles for real. You can't see my my collection, but they're there. Trust me. Oh, it's a, it's a big collection. Like shelves and shelves of the things. What's up? Stream tomorrow might start a little bit late. We're gonna continue Code Veronica. It's the one of the Resident Evil games. Very good. Playing that for the first time. Once I we're done with that, it. we're gonna check out the Muppets uh PS1 collectathon horror game. It's very spoopy, I hear. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a game to check out. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun so far. I look forward to more dumb Wesker shenanigans because uh, them being in that game was a surprise to me. Really? Like, I, huh. I knew I knew Wesker was in the game. I didn't know it started immediately. As soon as, soon as he shows up, he's just like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a bunch of stuff. Anyway, um, let's roll it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... This is congrats. I was looking at your name before I rolled it, so I guess I rigged it by doing that. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you have to look at everybody's names before you nope. uh, roll it. Literally, no time. I'm like, they're going to win. I knew it. I, I saw their name. It was like, that's it. Rugs. I hope you had a game ready because, I mean, I do ask for that. So I always have a game ready before uh, when you enter. It helps make things go by just a little faster. It does help. What are we playing? Tom and Jerry Fist of Furry for the N64. Fucking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that fucking game. I think this one's on Retro Achievements. I'm going to fucking check real quick. And I, you know what? Fuck it. We'll do it for Retro Achievements. Why not? Now I think about it, didn't somebody make you play that f shitty Powerpuff Girls fighting game? No, I did that on my own for retro achievements. 
I thought, th I thought someone made you do this for uh, do that for this uh, for these streams. Huh. No, nope. I was mistaken. Then. I played that on my own. It was it was terrible. Oh yeah, no, that, that's not. Powerpuff Girls game. Chemical Extraction was an easy two hundred percent, but it was also pain. Hmm. Is this actually on retro achievements? Because my fucking god, it is. I uh, just gotta get those points, man. I don't want to do this for retro achievements. <laughs> Looking at it, I'm just like, that's a skanky set. <laughs> How bad? Pretty bad. <coughs> it's asking it's asking for uh, me to be an expert at the game, which I'm like, eh. Maybe I don't want to do this one <laughs> for it. I was talking about it earlier uh, for people who are still here from the raid earlier. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing the Superman 64 set got added to Retro Achievements a while ago, and no one has finished the game yet. That Sounds might like be it just something got added. after October. It's been out for a few days, that's why. I, like, usually by now, people usually master the set. It's also Superman 64. I don't think people are actively looking for Superman 64 to master. Yeah, but it's a meme game, and people people on Retro Achievements love meme games. That is true. We might, might make that a goal or something at one point. And there is a new waste of points. Uh, I know for some reason people like throwing their points away. I see we got 59,000 uh, points wasted. If you really want to waste your points, uh, we have a thing. You can, you can go do that. The community waste. Yes. Dr. Smasher wasting 10,000 points. That is a selfish waste. It only helps you. <laughs> the community waste is just like... There's literally nothing to it. You're just throwing away your points by entering it. Because I knew it would work. 61,000 points in one night. It's a pretty good start. Yeah. I'm, I'll be impressed if they actually reach the million by the end of the month. Oh, you're going for the end of the month? Okay. Well, end of the month. It's 30 days. So. Ah, gotcha. There is no way that the million will ever be achieved. You're not going to do anything special to hit the million? No, I, I already said I wasn't. Why not? Because you're wasting your points. You're not. You're not spending your points. You're wasting them. Then why would I spend them? Yeah, pe give people to an waste. incentive. People like wasting them. That's the incentive. It's to throw them away. Just I get a bigger pile of trash. Yeah. That's that's it. This is the only character we have unlocked, by the way. Tom. Who even are these other characters? I see Tom. I think I see Jerry in there. I don't even know who the rest. Did the game crash? I think I might have crashed. I think it may have, because I, I can imagine Spike, like they're the dog that's around there. Hold on. I remember playing like a Tom and Jerry Flash game on the Cartoon Network site once. Good times. The N64 logo there is actually really smooth, I gotta say, for this game. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, it's working now. Whatever. I should go back through like a bunch of old Tom and Jerry episodes. That's, that's always a good time. <laughs> Like they're just classics. How do I pick things up? That's a good question. Oh, they don't even have the Tom scream in this game? What's even the point of playing it? Aww. You can't have a Tom and Jerry game without him just yelling in his like, signature way. Remember that time he sat on the, the train tracks and, and died? Yeah, where he got really depressed. And I do remember that, actually. I think the idea was, like, he got depressed because he spent a lot of money, like, buying, like, diamonds or whatever, like, for some other cat, and she just, like, left him anyways, and yes. he got so depressed from it that he just I, I know, sat I know on the, the one you're talking about, because I know my old cartoon very well. Yeah, that, Jerry that joined them, too. Cat, I don't know her name, but I would always see her. There is multiple, like, girl cats Tom would be interested in. Jerry, the what the fuck are you doing in the corner? I win. Timer scam, motherfucker. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Camping as usual. Hey, 
If Jerry's camping with that low health, I automatically win. Oh shit, he's getting free. <laughs> he's getting free. What is he doing? I'm not attacking him. Say, is this another Power Stone like? Yeah, it's like Power the Billy Stone. Mandy game. You have to be really observant to see what's going on here. He's hiding behind the uh, the extra life. There could be only one, Jerry. He's just is so offended. There's another like visage of Jerry that he's just going nuts over it. I don't know what happened. I, can someone tell me how he got up there? I won though. Pro strat. Maybe it's like the same way the baby got up, like on the fridge at the beginning of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The man baby. Yeah. I uh, mean, Pedro Gondwara, right? Yes. Just goes up to Roger Rabbit, like, let's pacify this bitch. Uh, what a great moment in that game. He's, he's coming back in Yakuza 7. Is he actually? He's That's summoned. amazing. Oh, of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? I mean, you're right about that. I haven't been, like, seeing too much about 7 on purpose, because I'm like, I mean, I want to play this eventually for myself. And, because like, 7 stream is going to happen as soon as it's out. Mm -hmm. Some I'll people probably, told like, me it comes out on the 10th, some people have said the 13th. I don't know when. Either I, either day, happening. I, I want to say it actually got pushed ahead of its release. The Steam says the 13th, but everywhere else I knew it said the 10th. And Jake was like, <laughs> no, it says, it says the 13th on Steam. And I'm like, does it though? I want to say it got like pushed up. Is what happened. I don't. I, I think that's what happened too. I say this game is not bad. It's surprisingly better than I would have expected. Mm. The AI is terrible though. Like, look, he's just floating there. November. It comes out next month. We really think it's almost November. Oh, it's this duck. Ah, uh, yes, that duck. Oh. Could be an emulation thing. Or, I'm sorry, a overclocked thing. What are you talking about? Black lines on the character icons. Maybe. I like to assume the game is just really bad. Let's uh, horribly brand the character. Like, with, like fire? Like yeah, on the, like, the hot. I, I missed it, I guess. I like, looked away for like, one second. Oh my gosh, that's awful. The AI is <laughs> terrible. They're not even going to go for the health. They're the baby you're branding right now. It's my baby. Just because it's your baby doesn't mean you have to freaking brand it. Do you remember, remember the episode of Dexter's Lab where. With the decoder rings and stuff. I think it's the decoder ring episode, what? isn't it? Where it, no, it's a, I think it's a different episode. Where it's like, I don't see your name on this waffle, and he just starts punching the waffle with like brass knuckles. Oh, I do remember that actually. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, we're doing this again. Amazing. Okay. Oh, wait. What is this with the AI, dude? <laughs> Oh my god, he's going again! Oh, 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 he's free! Is he? No, he's not! Oh, you're referring to Dexter's rude, rude removal there, Junbi. Junbi. That is a interesting one. He keeps getting higher. He's ascending. You think this is the aftermath of when, like, an alternate universe where, like, the duck actually went into, like, the boiling pot instead of Tom saving him. What the fuck? What are you talking about? Yeah, like, this duck was, like, gonna go into, like, a boiling pot, but Tom was like, no, don't do that. And he was like, it was like his child or something. I don't remember this. Yeah, this happened to Tom and Jerry. I mean, I win. The, I win. I win from timer scam. Like, the duck was legit gonna kill itself. And Tom, like, by jumping into a boiling pot of like water and Tom developed a parental relationship with the duck and like I can't eat this duck I have to save him well uh Diz -diz, I don't know how you did it but you picked a great game for tonight I love when stuff like this happens on stream because this happens a lot around here 
it is pretty incredible what happens. You ever get hit so hard though, you get uppercut and you just slowly fly upwards forever? Isn't that just like... Oh god, what game would that be actually? You could almost say that could be a Sura's Wrath in some cases. You get hit so hard... Round one! Just what do you mean round one? This is the same map! Congrats. I heard that one time Tom picked up a shield so he couldn't get punched. The energy I shield. I do. Classic moment of Tom and Jerry. Yes. I'd say that, but I feel like there was an episode where Tom did pick up a shield. Yeah, where he got the. He, he became Super Saiyan. Yes, of course, after drinking that, like, weird, like, milk concoction. I know what you're talking about, I think I actually remember that episode. Yeah, he, like, he made, like, a poison, like, milk thing to give to Jerry to kill him. And instead, it just makes Jerry really buff. And he just starts, like, beating the shit out of Tom. And then Tom yes. drinks it, and it, like, starts, like shrinking him every time he gets hit, so Jerry just keeps hitting him. Make him smaller and smaller. Look how slow you throw these! So you're not gonna get hit by those. You know what someone said, though? Someone said this game needed four-player, and then they made a four-player version of this for the game too, which I have streamed. Nice. What do you mean, nice? I mean, there he goes again! Nice. Like, that, that's cool. <laughs> he just really likes jumping. He's a jump man. Oh, this is poison. Oh. Everything in this game feels off. Not not even just because, you know, like, bad game, but just like, it's so weird when you hit something, how slow it moves, and how it feels like it just doesn't have weight to it. Right. But you can just catch that out of the air, what the f- how? No, 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 that's cheating. Yo, Sandmeister, what's up? What's Yo. There is a guard button. Yo, you wanna start an Evo? A new Evo with this? It's like, old Evo's dead. Yeah, oh, god, Evo. Fuck, I forget that happened this year, too. Yeah, that was like, this year. That 2020's been such a wild ride. Yeah, no kidding. More Evo dying. Like, it was gonna happen, and, like, the, all the allegations came up, and all the companies started pulling out, so they're like, yeah, uh, I Evo's thought it wasn't gonna happen, gone. because of, that was, there was still COVID, though. I mean, there still is, but... They were, do, they were gonna do an online event with a lot of games that had good netcode. It was not gonna be the same, but it was still, like, something. Yeah, that was, that was this year. Yeah. This year. This game follows the show's tier list. Canon tier lists are always my favorite, like the literal tier list, where it's like, okay, this is the god tier you have uh, in you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Amaterasu, literally god. Thor, literally god. Dormammu. Do Dormammu, also literally god. Then I think at the bottom you have, like, Phoenix, Phoenix Wright, Wright, lawyer. Lawyer, that's it. I would, I would honestly rank uh, Chris Redfield on the very low end of the power tier list. Sure, he can punch a boulder with relative ease. But, let me put it this way. It's not in his moveset in that game, and he's still a normal human being at the end of the day. He needs to fully charge up for that.
You know, remember I said earlier this was the anime night? It really is. Yeah, but, wait a minute. <laughs> you admitted to it! <laughs> like, yeah, well... You know, anime I, just means really, animation, so that I, means... Have you, have you not seen that poster where it's like, anime means animation, it means, uh... You can have an anime thread for uh, Family Guy on here? User was banned for this post. Yes, I saw that. See, here's the thing though, I wanted to actually look like some... Japanese Tom and Jerry thing. Like, like a Japanese series for it. I don't know for sure. What I do know is I believe there is a museum in Japan that has, like, actual, like, models of Tom's various, like, yes, there is. I've form seen he's taken by being, like, hit by something, that like, crushed by an anvil. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, just keep, keep jumping forever, it's cool. No, 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 it's fine. You want a timer scam? That's uh, you know it's it's completely fair if you timer scam. You timer scam yourself more than you timer scam. It's fair. Powerpuff Girl Z, but for Tom and Jerry. I don't know if I want to watch that. I probably do. What am I saying? Of course I'm watching. I think I think you'd watch it out of curiosity. I thought they fixed it, but I guess they didn't fix raids, because I noticed that on the dashboard. Hi. Oh, box, no, I, uh, I, I Every Thursday broken. night, we're doing a half hour of uh, any game that gets picked by uh, the raffle winner. Hey, Thank you for the raid. It's so hard. Was this Spike, right? Or was Spike the big one? Uh, this is the tiny one. I think this is... Uh... Butch? Uh, uh, I, Spike was the big dog. I don't know what this guy's name is. What, what's what's, slow, what's slower than a Spike? A needle? No, spike tiny. Spike okay. That makes more sense, yeah. Spike and needle. What the fuck? <laughs> Not throw the milk at Tom, it only makes it more powerful. I don't know why this keeps happening. I don't know, maybe we still look at this game's code. I love it. So, uh, right now, Tyke is doing what we call a half A press, if you just got here. Oh my gosh, shut off. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Juker, how can you say, uh, you know, it's a, a half A press? An A press is an A press. Hey there, Mr. DJ Henry Yoshi. Amazing much publicity that guy got just from that video. Oh, yeah, no, he's totally cool with it, too. Whereas Panon uh, hates it. He absolutely hates it. What, is it, what if this is piracy detection? How is it piracy if I if I win? They're letting me win! Sorry, you said Pennon? Pennon, go. Who was that? A -A is that the guy who made the video? Oh, did oh. crash? We're free. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, maybe we're, maybe we're actually kind of lucky that there's no, like, um, Tom yells, because I can only imagine what that would sound like as it crashes. We got a lot of joy out of this game. I think I, I think we might have to just move on to the next game. Deuce Diz, you picked such a great game. Uh, it wasn't 30 minutes, but, uh, oh my god, this was a lot of fun. What a, what a ride. Thank you, you, you absolute legend for it. Oh my god. <laughs> Darth Mauler 64. Thank you. You picked a real winner. Almost as good as last week, we did uh, Barney Genesis, and we beat the game without Barney. literally touching a button. As you can you do literally left. <laughs> I literally left to, gra to grab a drink and came back, and the game was done. I hope it was a good drink, at least. 
it's apple cider, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it was. Go get apple cider. Anyway, uh, that was a great choice. I don't care that it broke. I think it's funnier that it broke. And I'm glad you had fun with it from the looks of it. Anyway. Panicoke is the half a press man, Crazy Red. He's the one who did that video. All right. You want to get in on the next raffle? Thank you. That was more than I could have asked for. I'm glad. You want to get on the next raffle? Uh, the next raffle. That was more than I could have asked for. Give me Tom. Once again, hey, here's a charity on Saturday. It's not going to be on my channel. It's going to be on uh, Proton John's channel. Definitely check it out. It's going to be at 9 p.m. If you can, please donate during that block. I mean, donate in general, but donate during that block. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be me doing a bunch of Soul Calibur 6 stuff. You won't want to miss it. Even if you don't have money, you could spread the word. As for uh, right now, though, put in Tom. If you got those, the Jew Lux, it helps you rig the RNG. Great time to post it. Definitely helps rig the RNG every single time. Oh, I see the sunglasses. You see the sunglasses actually adds double lock if you do that. I'll go over the schedule real quick uh, for this week. Friday, we're going to be doing more uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. That's tomorrow. Might be a bit late of a start. We're going to see if I have everything set up for the charity stream first before we do everything. So it might start a little bit late. Resident Evil Code Veronica is a lot of fun. We're going through it blind. It's very goofy. It's the first game with Wesker to be uh, like the Wesker we know in Love and Five, basically. I think, I think Resident Evil 1, Wesker had a different voice, right? Yeah, well, that... He also has a different voice in Code Veronica, but it's, it's okay. Wesker when he starts doing crazy shit. Right. Yeah, because he's more like normal um, police captain dude mm -hmm. in 1. Uh, let's see. Sunday, we're going to be checking out Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth. I got the Rebirth games working. If we beat that, we're going to check out the other two games. It'll be fun. Isn't that, isn't that Red Hair, Simon? No, because Simon's not in that game. Which is the one that's Red Hair Simon? Uh, that was one of the Wii Wear ones. Or no, no, I'm thinking no, of the PS1 you're, Castlevania. You're thinking of the PS1 game. Yeah, dude, Red Hair Simon's like my favorite like Simon look. It's kind of a shame it doesn't really get acknowledged anymore. So that's that's going to be that. Uh, if we finish with Veronica, we're going to start the Muppets Poopy Horror game for the PS1. Good choice. It looks fun. Anyways, I'm going to give it the 10-second countdown. Get in if you haven't. 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ironic, congratulations. What are we playing? Congrats. You already won. What are, what are we playing? Say, so, make your choice. Ready. We're playing Tom. Don't make me load up the the game that they used to have on Toonami. Lego Racers for the N64. So I never played the first game. I might have played it once at a friend's house. Um, I actually I had the uh, sequel, which I, th I like that game a lot. This is an interesting pick. Oh, goodness. I remember the Magic Ring. I remember watching the uh, that they movie. They used to run Dan. ads for that movie all the time on Cartoon Network. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> They just wanted people to watch it, and I was definitely one of those kids suckered into watching it, I'll tell you that. Yo, yo, I heard Lego Racers. <laughs> Hello, Green. Hello. I'm here for fucking Lego Racers. <laughs> I mean, it's not as, it's probably not as good as the sequel, because the sequel was like an open world adventure game, which is really cool. 
I think they're both good in their own ways, but I have personal history with LEGO Racers. Did you step on the game and then it really hurt your foot? <laughs> just yelled like Tom yes. in the cartoon. Ah! You just do that? <laughs> oh, exactly. Oh, That's basically the Tom yell. Absolutely. They just okay. Filter. I, I want to share this because I don't think I'll have an, ever have an opportunity to share this again. Uh, I don't know why, but YouTube has just been randomly recommending me anime Tom and Jerry videos. Why not? I, I told you like, anime Tom and Jerry was real. Sometimes you just want some, like, Tom no Jerry. Like, the artist is really talented, but also why? <laughs> oh shit, I just realized we're at 69,000 for community waste already. What's wrong with you that you wasted 69,000 points exactly, Chad? If you want any support, what's wrong with you? Don't add any more. You're not allowed Perfect. to add any more. If you ruin it, get banned. I don't think I don't notice. Ah, uh, no, somebody already ruined it! That was Dan. No, wait, no, wait, was it? I don't know. He doesn't say it on there. Anyway, this game is rad. The music is good in this game. Oh, oh, it's so good. So what I remember from this game, I think the one time I played it at Princess. You were at six, it was at 69? Alright, you're safe. That's fine. Uh, what I remember about this game is this game does a weird power-up system, kind of like uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. Really? The yeah. problem is is that there's only one power-up that matters, as you're going to find out. And that That is, I, I know oh, exactly the power-up you're talking about. I almost said fast. it, but... I almost said it, but it sounds like you don't want to spoil it. We gotta get those tower oh, in the so good. Right now. We we gotta make our own cart and character. We gotta. I'm remembering E3 like a few years ago when they showed off the like the Lego characters in that Forza game. That's such a weird crossover. It was very fascinating. To see. The giant Lego car blew my mind oh, in I the best and worst worst way. It was just like this is insane. I love it. Uh, yeah, I, I love building Ooh, characters. I love, I love the, the, the night helmet. It's pretty good there. Uh, it's my new OC. The Lego version of me. Oh, you, could, you could make Lego friend. You could. Oh, dude, I could have the skull hat, though. Never mind. All right, we're taking it. Yes. 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 <laughs> I love the skeleton face. We're going to be a uh, skull witch. He's got the RuneScape uh, wizard hat. Classic. <laughs> ah, the classic. Uh, the Robin Hood hat is a good look too. But... I like the one with the arms at right here. But... Oh, it's just Skeletor now. Not Skeletor. What should we name him? Uh, how about Robin Bones? He's not Why? wearing Robin Hood head. He's not Robin. He's not Robin. Game audio, yeah, Robin? the game audio was kind of loud. I was actually about to lower that. I was like getting ready to lower it right now. I'm trying to think of a Merlin pun with bones. There we go. Yellow bones. I, mean, we, I don't think. I we mean, we could that. just call him Mr. Bones. Could. How about we call him Skelly? Or... Skulker? <laughs> we'll do Skulker. Now is... Oh, I know that name. Why do I know that name? Sounds like the guy from Danny Phantom. Yeah, I was good. Okay, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure, because I haven't actually watched the show. I've seen, like, one episode, and all I remember is, like, some technological thing trying to kill him, and he's just like, I'm too young to shave! Hmm? I remember liking Danny Phantom. So that was a good time. Yeah. It's very fascinating when you think back on like. Do you remember like when Butch Hartman first left like Nickelodeon? There was like so much like I guess support you could say for the guy. And over time, I think everyone kind of found out how much of an asshole he was. <laughs> I, I straight up unsubscribed when like there was a ch there was a video that was like oh no something sad happened to my channel 
He's just like, oh, is it, you gonna stop making content books? He's just like, ah, oh, cause we're doing another, we're, do, we're doing an upgrade. It's just like, fuck off. Fuck off. Okay, time to make a death machine. I don't like the most clickbaity of clickbait. I, what I love to do is just stack the rectangular blocks. Just a big box car. Literal box yeah. car. Yeah. I think, you that, I think you could say that, Dan. Definitely a, definitely a bit of a fall of grace, or fall from grace. It was never that he fell from grace, it was that we knew what kind of monster he always was. Yeah, he was kind of, he, 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 he kind of like this the whole time. We just didn't know. Yeah, exactly. We didn't know. Like, straight up. The public didn't know. It was probably just how he always was. We only found out once we got to see more of his, like, true face. Okay, let's check this out. Butch Harmon did not create Johnny Bravo. He no, created... that was Van Partible. Yes. Uh, Butch Harmon is known for Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, um, Tough Puppy, which was like a later I show. I heard he Tough Puppy is pretty good now that I watched it. Uh, it's, it's mediocre. It's adequate. I remember watching a few episodes and I thought it was alright. It's not, it's not Danny Phantom or Fairly Odd Parents. But it's no. not, it's also not Bunsen is a Beast, so... Oof. Is this good I, banjo nuts and bolts? No, nuts and bolts is nuts and bolts. I like yeah. nuts and bolts a lot. Shame on you for saying you don't like it, whoever said that. The game is great. I will not hear any of that. I think a lot of people nuts and bolts have a lot of good stuff going for it. People I feel hate like it reason. because it is it is banjo kazooie. If it was called anything else, it would just be a great game. Oh exactly. I like it because I like Lego Racer 2 as a game. Lego Racer 2 is a great game. I firmly believe were it to not have the Banjo Kazooie moniker or title or anything involving Banjo in it, people would love that game. To be like, oh, this game is super good. It, it has the Federation Force problem of you are not a bad game, you just came at a very bad time. <laughs> just because you are a bad game does not mean you are a bad game. Bad game. <laughs> here, here comes the fun part. So we're going to have the booster here. Be on the oh, side. I forgot about the booster. Booster's got to be on the side, otherwise it doesn't go fast. Was Nuts and Bolts included in uh, Rare Replay? I know some of the Xbox 360 games were, uh, but I wasn't sure if that was. I want to say it was. That was for like what, 60 bucks? The Rare Replay? Yeah. I think so. That is a good deal. Oh, there's a ton of games you can get on that thing. Like I would buy that if it was just the Nintendo 64 games, not not just not on, not like the fact that they include the Xbox and uh, NES and everything and else in between before and after in 64 is just like that's neat. Thirty. Wow. That's oh wow. Ooh. That's that's that is that is so much for that price. All right, you ready to see some magic happen? Oh, I'm ready. So this car is perfectly safe. Uh, we make sure that you can't get hurt. Like, do you see the crash in the front? Like, if you crash at all, this you just got a giant windshield. So uh, to help out, we there is no way to even see out of the car. But now you're probably wondering, what's so good about the uh, power-ups in this game. You mentioned there's only one power-up that matters, right? <laughs> I'm waiting, I'm waiting for it to respawn. Uh, to answer your question on that, Soundmeister, I want to say Zangief was more of a villain in, like, the Street Fighter 2 era of stuff. He like, I know, like, oh. they just, they needed a, a villain, I think. That's what I they mean, said. he was a villain in the movie, but he that's was a villain in the, the movie. movie. That's what I meant, like, they needed a villain, and then they put him in. And technically, wasn't he just paid anyway? He wasn't actually, like, evil. Yeah. Well, no, he wasn't okay, paid, but that was the thing. He was surprised that people got paid. Get ready. You're going to see some shit when we hit 88 miles per hour. That's going to paid. No, you, you need one more. Okay. Paid. So, I don't have all four of them. So, basically, there are white bricks, and they upgrade you. When you get white bricks, the, uh, if you upgrade this enough, it just becomes warp. You just warp ahead. 
It is the most absolutely busted thing. But sometimes it can backfire. A very, very few times it backfires, and you'll crash into a wall. But, uh, it's very broken. It's, it's like Bullet Bill, but times at least three, if not more. Times ten. Like, when Goku I don't does know the Kaioken, that. and he's like, Kaioken times whatever, and you, you know he's making up bullshit numbers. Kaioken times twenty. Well, the thing is, the thing is, Zuck, Bison is in the same meeting. It's weird that they even have Zangief in there, because Bison already covers it. I think they just wanted Zangief because he had funny accent. Actually, there is a reason why Zangief is there. It's because I think the writer of the script had a lot of trouble fighting Zangief as a kid, so he just put him there as a villain. I'm pretty sure that actually yeah. is the reason <laughs> I've heard that before. Which is honestly a pretty incredible reason to put Zongief there. This. So far, the game feels like it controls uh, decently. I forgot how hard the text is to read. Yeah. Was he actually the worst guard in Manila Street Fighter 2? That's interesting, your kid. There are other upgrades that you can get, but really, you only want the greens. The green's the best color or something, alright? <laughs> Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might be... Oh, I guess I lost my power. I think you get hit and you lose it in this game. There's a lot of shortcuts, too. Uh, if I had a missile or something, you could have gone down there. You see, what What was really strange to me recently is that uh, that Henry Stickman game uh, references uh, the warp power-up. Okay. Of, like, erasers? Yeah. Yeah. All right, get ready. You want to see the warp? Look at this. Look at this right, bullshit! Second place. From six to seven. The second. <laughs> six to seventh. It made you go backwards. <laughs> wow, that is broken. What the heck? Juries. And you, and you can get as many as you want as long as there's power up blocks. I think I remember the shield being the worst power up in the game. This is like some racing games that like the AI will just like uh, rubber band to like rubber band back to you. Rubber band like, you uh, just do this. Right, they can't, it's they can't like keep that. up with you. I mean, look at this shit. I think the only character that rubber bands extremely is your rival. So, like, Redbeard rubber bands a lot, but the rest don't. The rest are just there. Yeah. Because all that matters is beating Redbeard. Um, that's a good question, Soundmaster. I cooked that up. Because I don't remember off the top of my head if there are anybody. Um, is Laura from Puerto Rico? Oh, like Lauren Shaw, oh, no fair. Can you get into first person mode? I believe it's C up. Uh. Oh my god, oh, you're right. Oh no, why would you tell mode. me to do this? Thank you for the, the donation, I appreciate it. Yeah, I forgot about this. Because I never use this. Man, this just makes me want, like, a, a handheld port. Remember when Mario Kart 7 did that? Where you could go in first person? And C in 3D. Yes. Android. What a great name. <laughs> oh yeah, this... I know it's October. Uh, if you have to look away for this race, I understand. This this race gets really scary. Please, please look away if, if you are faint of heart. Hey, looking at this, actually, Lucia is Puerto Rican. Uh, Mooch, did you ever update the wiki for my Thursday stream? Does this become the regular? I don't know if you ever did. Oh, fuck! Proton, I think that might have just been a gag. I forget. That might be a PS1 version thing. I heard the PS1 version of this game is actually... I don't know if there's much of a difference. Ah, okay. Other than, like, I think there might be FMV on PS1. What about Faint of Liver? If you're Faint of Liver, you should really get that checked out. That probably gonna be And And don't drink. And if you're Faint of Booby, uh, I mean, come to the charity stream on Saturday. Yes. 
To answer the question, Thunmeister uh, Jury is actually Korean. I gotta say, this, this game is really smooth for 30 frames. This is 30, right? It feels like 60. This, I think it's 30, but I could believe it being 60. I don't know, I'm not the best about, like, having an eye for frames in games like this. I'm pretty sure F-Zero is the only racing game, or really just game, that has 60 frames on the N64. Oh, and it's gonna be four, right? right. It, it's four. It's forty-seven frames specifically. Why would you ever use that? Long number. <laughs> oh, that's like the thing from uh, speedrunners, except not as good. I mean, it, you can tell it's not really worth using power-ups in this game because the, the warp is just so good. They just want you to get the green. But apparently, green um, is too good that everyone wants to just be green. Sorry, green. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy being green. Oh, of course. That was a... mm -hmm. How was that? I'm gonna yeah. win! Do I have this being scared? Yes! Pretty scared during that car. Huh. I, I want. I keep remember my dream last time, but I just remember it being like a really long dream, and like there's so much stuff in it. I remember there was like time traveling babies at one point, which was kind of weird. Time traveling babies. I, I went to go read chat, then was like, what? <laughs> yeah, what? that was part of my dream last night at one point. I want to know about I, time traveling babies. Um, Mooch, I was asking, did you ever update it? Because like this is my Thursday stream now. I once had a dream where I stole a car. That's just illegal. I'm gonna get the dream. And I wasn't even of driving age yet. I just took our car and was just like, bye. That's illegal. <laughs> I don't know where I'm taking this, but I'm going. All I remember is that, like, the time traveling baby fucked up so hard that when it came back, it became, like, really deformed and there were dinosaurs everywhere. And, like, the city became, like, like a desolate forest, like, city kind of thing. It was very weird. I remember that was, like, one. I have, I, I sometimes have many dreams in a night. For whatever reason. Oh yeah, I know, know that feeling. Right, the shortcut is blue-red game. I was mentioning this earlier today, but I had a dream with Unit Maniacal and I don't have any oh, really? context. I don't have any context except for Limit saying there's been a change of plans and you just being really angry and being like, what the fuck do you mean a change of plans? <laughs> it sounds like something he would say. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. See what? Uh, okay. The only Canadian character is Abigail for Street Fighter. Which, Abigail uh, Adams in Street Fighter? Mm, sure. No, Ab Abigail's just this really buff dude. I think Abigail's like great. I was kind of not interested in the me edit to five. But, uh, then I saw what they could do, and I was like, okay, they're not just uh, Hugo, because I would have rather just had Hugo. Yeah, because like, they're actually just a clone of Hugo in uh, Final Fight. Yeah. Abigail's been there for a long while. I, mean, I think when Abigail re revealed this DLC, people were like, "Nobody wanted this." <laughs> Which no, was, was oh, I guess it changes every lap. Oh, oh. you motherfucker! God, <laughs> this is oh. making queasy. Why is there no music? Maybe it died. Hey, you still won though. Desert Adventure, correctly. Now this one is not scary, so feel free to look for this one. I remember this one. This one kicked my ass. 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 I'm able to get that green. I think Brutal Moose even reviewed this game years ago and even said the same thing. And like, the green is just good. Yeah. Don't get anything else. Both Ian and Caddy covered this game. I'm looking for the green. I don't. I don't know where most of the shortcuts are except for the base one. All right, here we go. Check this out. No, that's weird in first person. It sure oh, is. that's so weird in first person. I don't like racing. Most games it's oh, I, oh, I didn't even mention uh, in in the Stickman game when you use the warp, uh, it just ends up breaking his brain because he goes through another dimension. So 
I like that that is the, the Stickman was created by the Among Us folks, and I had no idea. Oh yeah, I love it. This is why I the new it. DLC is going to be Stickman themed. Because because I I love both games so much, even though I've only known them for like a year. Oh, this is what I mean by it's very dangerous when you do that. Yeah, yeah, I, I warned about that. Sometimes you just get flung into objects you don't want to be flung into. That tends to happen. I mean, you know, Among Us was great. It's still around. It's, nobody cares about that game anymore, clearly. <laughs> it hasn't even, like, died down that much. It has, uh, it has more than its peak, but, like, nothing's replaced uh! it yet. Oh god, that's a wall. Oh. That's like the worst I've ever seen it do. Uh, <laughs> yep. So I think they got rid of the warp for LEGO Racers 2. I don't remember it existing. Maybe maybe one day I'll do a LEGO Racers 2 stream, because that game's actually really good. Go for it. The main thing that I know I prefer in LEGO Racers 2 that I was disappointed wasn't in this one is your LEGO's getting knocked off when you get hit. Yes, I thought that would be in this game. They changed all of the weapons in 2. I remember all the weapons in 2 being good. There's me. Me. One. The skeleton man. The One. <laughs> Forgot you're a weird skeleton man. No, I think Dark Stalkers will happen. I, I'm confident it'll happen. Captain Redbeard's uh, car set. I guess that's good if you want to build more stuff. I guess that means we can get a peg leg now. Peg leg skeleton. We'll, we'll do one more uh, circuit and then we'll switch teams. That went faster than I expected. Okay, the last one is Rocket Racer, who is the final boss of the second game as well. Dude, you, you sing uh, Akira there, Arcade? Made me think about the fucking new virtual fighter we might be getting which is kind of kind of insane we, we are getting it yeah no no like there was like a teaser for it and everything i'm like oh wow like virtual fighter okay that's really neat i'm really glad to see that there's there's no way we're getting a, a red arrow but dark stalkers uh they've renewed the ip they've also mentioned they wanted they want to do stuff with old ips i keep saying that lately because like mm -hmm. some of their ips are just so spicy that like they've kind of realized hmm probably do something with these. DMC. Yeah, yeah, I, I get I guess the other Akira, but I just like couldn't help but think of uh the one I just mentioned there you apparently forgot the name Honestly, of. Honestly the upgrade system in this game also was I'm glad they, they got rid of it if it means we get a better system in the for the PC, which is funny because I do a whole lot of PC gaming. I actually did a lot, but I don't think I had any Lego games. You! It's most of the games I showed off like about a year ago. Most of my main LEGO experiences were on the... So, like, Star Wars, and Batman, and Indiana Jones. And we had the Lord of the Rings for some reason, even though I didn't really care about that franchise. I got a green call right now, though. Okay. Yeah. Not using that. Green. There actually was a Doc Stalkers anime OVA like years ago. Doc Wait, Stalkers? The cartoon? No, not the cartoon. There actually, there actually was a Japanese OVA for it. I know about the uh, cartoon, though. Oh boy. <laughs> Lord Raptor and his rap. Fuck you! I won! It's ride, ride backwards. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I can't believe that worked. Oh shit! You like broke the game there. I hope you are having a good night, Juka. I love that By era. The way, there is a where they were just making cartoons the out of like of every little game. series. 
that's shout out awesome. to uh, thank shout you for the combat combat time. Uh, I'm sorry. Commander Proton, Are is there a modding community for the sequel? Because I'm I would be more interested in checking that out. Or I'm sorry. Proton. Are you racing someone named a Chew? Yes. Get in tight. That green. It's me. I'm I here. The turns in this level being green. Uh, green in the green. I played a Crayola game as a kid. Remember when I played the Crayola game on the stream where the guy lost his color and died? Oh, geez. No. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mine. Uh, the one that I played was a castle creator. You could just. This tour through the castle, and there was this weird, like, just guest who would tell you everything about medieval times, I guess. I'm gonna have to keep a lookout for that if I ever decide to play two on stream. Probably won't be for a while. I've already got a ton of games lined up. I thought about doing it in the past. You motherfucker, that was my green. <laughs> They're not even using the warp. The warp. The wop. The wop was Wazowski. The way you'd use the wop was Wazowski. Gotta turn in your wop was Wazowski. <laughs> I see you forgot to turn in your wop last night. Oh, I guess we're getting blue now. Your stun, your stun silence is very reassuring. Always watching Wazowski. <laughs> what a what a good movie. I wish they had her. I, I haven't seen Monster University ever. I heard it wasn't very good, but uh. Um, it's, it's all right. right. I've seen it. I, I, I wish right. I wish I, I had her as like a teen and she was just really sexy. And then it's just like, <laughs> what happened to you? Well, she she would have been one of those Pixar moms with the dump truck butt. God. <laughs> Randall Randall actually was a nerd. Which it's hard to believe. I love that. The reason he looks like he does is because they took off his glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was he it. To have glasses on, so that's why he's always like sneering at people, which is amazing. Character development. I don't care. Though so there, so there are reasons why he becomes kind of an asshole in uh, Action Monsters Inc., but they go into that in the movie. The first one's really good. Really like. Uh... Oh, dude, the first Monsters, Inc. is really yeah, good. Yeah, I love that... it about as much as, um, the video game on the GameCube. It's, it's really good. That's fucking Power Stone one. Not Power Stone, it's called Volleyball. Oh, is that what it was? Okay, I just said, like, just... I might be saying something else, then. There are a lot of licensed games that end up being Power Stone, I feel like, which is really weird. Power Stone's easy I mean, to do. And also, the best... people really like Power Stone. The best one of those is the Billy and Mandy one, I feel. As it a clone, is. I could say I had it as a kid. I unlocked everyone. Oh yeah, they still do the obscured mic gag, even on like official merch. It's so funny, I love it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a gag, is it? I think it's it can't be. Oh, it's did, absolutely did a gag. Like, does he get what oh. Mike was asking in Kingdom Hearts 3? Because I didn't I didn't play for him. Uh I know people made te that. Technically video. technically yes. He gets Mike Wazowski, like in terms of like, getting his like self obscured. He gets that does happen in three. I, I knew it. What the hell is the yellow? What the hell is that mummy one? Versus controls. Okay, that's not gonna help. Yeah, that doesn't AI, matter at all to the AI. So, but that's you interesting. Yeah. It'd be good for players. You know what would be great yeah. is if I played this game with humans. Uh, humans. I would make sure a no warp clause exists because it is too broken. Want to use boosters? That's fine. No problem with that. We use the warp. Delete it.
to use the warp, you have to sit there for at least ten Commander seconds. Cold? Like the DC villain? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Commander? I thought it was Captain Cold for the DC villain. Is it, is, is it Captain Cold? Yeah. It's Captain Cold, yeah. Okay, never mind that. Maybe that's still Captain. supposed to be him, though. Captain Crunch. Leonard Snart, isn't that his name, right? Uh, I don't yeah, know. You, that is exactly right. Snart. I know he's a playable character in Injustice Two. He's actually pretty cool in Injustice Two. I was not interested he is. in him. <laughs> cool, I get it. Because he's, he's cool. He's surprisingly good in that game. Way better than you would have expected. His super was really mm. cool too. He like he's super flashy in the best way. Which is funny because oh, he's yeah. the Flash villain. Oh yeah, he's one of Flash's many villains. I really like that episode where, like, all of Flash, uh, that, that episode of Justice League where all of Flash's villains team up together. Yes, that it's really great. interesting. Flash Museum. Yeah. No. I do like the one where he goes to, like, a bar to find one of his villains, and he's like, Yep, that's, uh, uh, the trickster. that's uh, Mark Hamill. He's like, yeah, turn yeah, yourself like, in. Got me again, Flash. Uh, Make sure to turn yourself in. It, it's a really good Flash moment. Flash what? is one of my favorite DC heroes in general, so I always love Flash is him. probably my absolute <gasps> favorite. Oh my god, that warp every time. I, I like how he has a sense of humor, but can still take things seriously. Yes. Absolutely. Like, th those are the kind of superheroes I really like. I don't mind one that goes in either direction, but like, I, I love superheroes that can goof off, but still have a sense of tact. Personally, I like <laughs> right. seeing one that can go in both directions. <laughs> I think the only superhero I can think of that can be snarky and goofy but also take things seriously is, is uh, Spider-Man. See, I would say the same thing if you didn't say Spider-Man. Yeah. Same thing, yeah. It, it, you have to wear red to be a good superhero. Unless you're Superman. He sucks. No, I, Super, I, Superman I like, can be written really no, like well. I feel like no. a lot of the movies don't do I disagree. The, the, best, the best things with Superman are stories that involve him, but he's not the focus. Those are always the best. I feel like the best parts about Superman are when they do stuff that shows like how like more of his human side. Yeah, I that's exactly what I was gonna say. Cause Justice League, um, Justice League specifically Unlimited shows that off a lot. Yeah, just like show me Clark Kent. Show like give me more Clark Kent Superman. And it's funny. Like I remember an Impractical Jokers gag where the where like Q has to present the game uh, like Superman, but just the Clark Kent stuff. And I was like, I would actually play that though. I would think that's great. Like, yeah, you don't get to do all the, like, the Superman cool fighting action, but, like, working at the Daily Planet is nothing to sneeze at either. Mm hmm Like, there's a clip, I know, of Just Like Unlimited, where it's, uh, Superman invites Martian Manhunter to, uh, to celebrate Christmas with him at his place. And it's just nice, like, just Superman, like, or nice Clark Kent Superman. It's like, this is... Well, I enjoy. Right. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about Mr. Mitzelplitzik. Mr. Mitzelplitzik, I think. All right. Uh, this was good. We're gonna do uh, two yeah, more raffles. The next one is gonna be the last game of the night. Thank you for that host. Uh, but be sure to stick around to see what we start with for next week. You're gonna have to decide that. Like to get in on the next raffle, it's gonna be. Warp. I think one of my favorite Superman like comic things in general is the one where he talks a girl out of like jumping, but like not mm -hmm. to like be like, "Hey, don't do this, or I'm gonna catch you or whatever." But he just talks to her for a while. As usual, be sure to get your the Jew Lux out if you want to win. It helps you actually rig the RNG. And Honestly, remember, hey, charity plug. Once again, gonna keep saying it during these raffles this week. Yo, Saturday. Be there. It's gonna be for breast cancer. I'm gonna have an amazing block at 9 p.m. It's my normal start time, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. If you can't donate during the block or really ever, that's fine. Be sure to uh, spread the word. It's really important. You know, I know it's hard these mm -hmm. times. No one is forcing you to donate, but hey, spreading the word really helps. So maybe you know a brother, maybe you know a friend. You might like to have some fun and support a good cause. Maybe, maybe your brother is your friend. 
Maybe your friend is like a brother. Only closer. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Only closer. <laughs> so what is going to be the next game of the night? Burn is like a dragon? No, that'll be next month. If the 10 second countdown is usual, please have your game ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Universe Infinity, congratulations. I like the, the icon. Is that, a, is that a TF2 spy with a gator head? Pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Congrats. Remember, we're going to do one more raffle after this to decide what we start with, so stick around. going to be for next Thursday. What are we playing? Say, please. Always, Always have a choice. Uh, ready when you enter. Ace Megaforce. Let's see oh, Ace Megaforce. Okay. Can't say I've ever heard of that game. one. It sounds like Power Ranger, but I don't know for sure. But yeah, I think Superman really depends on who's writing him. Absolutely. <laughs> because a lot of people just look at Superman and they're like, oh, he's like, he's got all these superpowers. He can beat the shit out of people. That's all that you need to do. It's just it's like, like, fuck it's off. It's like, he's, he's, it's like, oh, he's basically invincible, except if you have kryptonite or magic. It's just like, sun. maybe you could make that cool. But like, that is that is not the best way to write his character. That is just a way to write his character. Yeah, so this is not a Power mm -hmm. Rangers game. I found my copy. It was sitting in the pile on top of it, like every other game. Tiger, what? what? You've, draw you've drawn something. Oh, a drawing. What did you draw? Is it to bless charity? Where is it? Where did, where did you send me the thing? Right. My guess would be Twitter. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, I'm not trying to I'm throw. not surprised, honestly. I had a feeling you were. This is this is the most you thing ever. I figured you were gonna do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. some people could say Saitama is a better written Superman, except Absolutely, you know, I would Saitama's say Saitama is way more overpowered than Superman is. But he's also way better characterized. Oh, absolutely. Since we were talking about it earlier during Blaster Master. Oh boy. Oh, apparently I missed some shit. Oh, I already know what this is. If you just said Blaster Master. Surprise. This is actually pretty accurate. It's it's kinda the plant waifu. Oh yeah. There she is. Melon. It's not even an elude! It's just, just normally like this. He didn't elude anything. This is Bless. Look, Tiger, like you, you draw good. Yeah, look at those melons, though. Yeah. Gonzalo, you need to leave. <laughs> we'll be fine. You just have to go. One one day I'll play that on stream. I gotta, I gotta show facade to people if you've never yes. seen it. Facade, dude. <laughs> yes! I'm just saying, if you wanna draw like a mythra or something, no. Nah. <laughs> facade is such a, such a good, dumb game. Oh, it's so good. I, I love, I love it. that it recognizes certain names, so I could I, I could use my actual name. I think is the first choice, but like Gonzalo is the classic one. Gonzalo. Gonzalo. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if my name would be in there, because apparently like it's, Green is not it's a name. somewhat obscure. <laughs> Horseradish isn't a name either. By Toho. Oh, this is a Toho. Ooh. Yo. Oh. Sentinel, I'm scared. This is what you want. You, always, you never shut uh -oh. up about this. You call yourself Melons, you get banned. I don't, I don't want to do that. 
It was me I just saying yes. I remember Incredible. that. Classic. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I saw somebody else who hadn't even seen that video just do that strategy, and I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't take up a full stream, but it would it would be a fun thing to do. Where where are the anime girls? <laughs> where are their hats? Andrew D. So the only way just being a dick to the two characters. Incredible. Hey, you can do whatever. The game doesn't care. Yo, this is this is pretty great already. Oh, it's a shmup. Nice. Yeah, it's a shmup. Well, I guess it is a Toho, so it would be a shmup. It is the Toho company, but it is also a Toho game because it is a shmup. This is pretty good so far. This is this is very quiet. Let me turn this up. Lego Racers was so goddamn loud. It is. There we go. Yo, I got one of the Infinity Stones. Nice. Uh, which one? Uh, whatever the orange one was. Uh, uh that was Soul. I want to say that's Soul, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know them off the top of my head, which one is which. I know. Soul, Power, Time. I, I know which mind. ones are which, but, like, I don't know what they are, if that makes sense, like, their color. Like, I'm like, yeah, I could... I know all of I think, them. I think the only color I know for sure is Time is the green one. Otherwise, I'm just kind of like, whatever, after that, I don't know. Let's see. Soul is green, Power is purple. Uh, Soul, power is, be Soul is orange, Time is green, Power is purple. Uh, mind is yellow. Reality is red. And there's one I'm forgetting. Space is blue. There you go. Yeah, space stone. That's all six. This is really good so far. Thank you, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. <laughs> Power shot. Power shot. With with its uh with its infinity stone eggs. Ah, uh, the infinity eggs. The infinity stones. <laughs> God, the fucking Infinity Eggs. That was what a what a I, awful I considered pre getting the collector's edition because it looked so cool in the in what they showed. I'm glad I didn't. It did, and it, they looked like shit. They looked like they could have some chocolate inside if you open the damn things up. Dodged a, dodged a <laughs> ball there, didn't I? Oh, probably, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not, not probably. Uh, definitely. <laughs> oh, literally, yeah. Dodged a bullet. Yeah, what's weird to me about Infinite's plot is, like, Sigma is one half of the main villain, but, like, X and Zero barely do anything. Yep. Especially it's Zero. Because, it's because Marvel, like, straight up. Yeah. Well, but, like, other Capcom characters get a lot more screen time than X and Zero. It really depends on who they are, right, from what I've seen. Like, Dante shows up a bunch... Arthur gets more screen time than X okay. and Zero. I thought He's you meant Arthur, Arthur. From, from the show Arthur, and I was like, oh, that's <laughs> Yeah, the Aardvark. The show, is, the, the show yeah. is called Arthur, and you, you stupid yeah. idiot. And yeah. I was like, no, that's not what you mean. Never mind. I told you not to touch it, and then he, he punches Old Front Stigma. It was apparently the 20 year anniversary of that recently, which is kind of amazing. Oh, that's 20 years great. Old. I feel old now. Oh, yeah, I was there when I was a kid. How are they still kids? Uh, be because they, they don't age. Time loop? Ex explain why the South Park kids are still kids. Even though they've oh, been through like five presidents. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm trying to think of my favorite celebrities that showed up in Arthur. Yo-Yo Ma is an underrated one. I love his. Uh, I love his performances. Yo, I gotta say, uh, I'm really digging the combinations you can get on the options. They seem like some good stuff overall. Hasn't really been anything I've hated yet. Usually in, in a, uh, a shmup, you want to stick with one thing you like, but like, 
I don't know. There's a lot of options so far. And the options. Laser. 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 Rocket. The Nazca lines, really? I tried to use bombs the last second. Because that's how you're supposed to play these games. Right. This is a good smoke so far. I can see myself spending all the time with this. Yeah, there seems to be some good here. This might be one of those ones I, I check out for retro achievements, see if it's on there, because oh. I don't have any shmups done. Tell you which ones would you even do? I don't know. Probably Parodius first. See, I had a feeling you would say Parodius. Because I, I like Parodius. I've, I've been open about that. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, eh, I feel like it would be something you would do. It's dumb. I have done a 1cc of the Super Nintendo one once. Bullshit game, but uh, I've done it. Arthur and Thor together is awesome. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what team up in Marvel vs. Capcom in general was really cool for me. Uh, that's a good there's question. a lot of there's a lot of pairings uh, pairs that I thought were really neat. From what I saw, like there's a whole thing with Ryu and Hulk and Infinite, and the idea was like controlling their rage. Oh yeah, I love neat. that. Hey, they they do a lot of comparisons like that in NBC. They did it in three, which was the way they released all the characters. Fuck. One team I kind of liked was, uh, they, they had Spider-Man, Chris, Frank West, and Hagar all on one team together at one point, and I was like, that's an interesting group, but you know what? I'm for it. I like, uh, Wesker and Spider-Man, kind of, sort of. I, I guess I wouldn't really call it a rivalry, but, like, more so Spider-Man was trying to reach out to, uh, Wesker in NBC3 and be like, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, Albert. Which I always thought was interesting. Absolutely. He didn't really see him as a villain, he was just lost. Yeah. You can hear a lot in their dialogue. I love little character st stuff like that. I think one thing that I really like about uh, Three's roster is that it like a lot of the, a lot of the Capcom properties that they showed up in Three and weren't in later entries. And by later entries, I mean just Infinite. It, it's ones that like you wouldn't really expect it in a traditional fighting game, but are really fun there. I guess I don't know. That's that's a weird way to phrase it because yeah, a don't lot of them still be fighting. I, a lot of them still do fight. Like, ones that in other crossovers probably wouldn't get as much screen time, I guess, is a better way to put it. For infinite or for three? For, for three. For three. Okay. So, are you referring to more of the characters that don't really seem like fighters, maybe? Like, Finch no, I, I, I was at first, because I was thinking whoa, of Phoenix, I And I was like, well, oh. no. There's also ones that they don't do do? really use in crossovers that uh -oh. much, like uh -oh. Amaterasu. Oh and, my uh, gosh, yo. I don't think you were supposed to do that. They don't they don't really use Amaterasu or Joe for crossovers that much. I think that's more what I was meaning. Characters gotcha. that don't get as much screen time in terms of crossover stuff. Like Dante's done crossovers before and so is Resident Evil, but like 
it, it's a chance for lesser known Capcom properties to get some screen time. Kind of like how Smash uh, puts a light on uh, lesser known Nintendo franchises. Sure, I, I feel Nintendo like M MVC3 thought... does that with Capcom properties. I thought everyone knew about Chibi Robo. <laughs> Damn, I gotta use my bombs more in this game. That's what's getting me killed. But Smuff, game Smuff is this over. Day. This is Space Mega Force, a game suggested, I believe, that was suggested by Universe Infinity. That cool. sounds correct. I wasn't looking, I was reading chat. <laughs> Oops. Mm -hmm. Trumps are hard to play on stream. I like them. Uh, I think they're good games, especially for 30 minutes, but they, they're still hard to play. Shit going on right now. Seems like it. Yeah. How are you looking at this game though? What it's do you really think? good. Um, I can definitely see myself having a lot of fun with it. I mentioned this earlier. I might consider doing this. We'll see. It wouldn't be on stream. That's a big circle. It looks cool. It is. That's that's what I love about doing uh, jukebox nights is uh, seeing the cool games that people pick. Unfortunately, I did it dumb and got outside the bounds that you're not supposed to get outside of earlier. At the very least, you experimented by doing so. Yes. Yes, I did. And where did that lead you? Right. Really, it just led you to death, I feel. Which is very unfortunate, because you, you don't really want that. You want to be yeah, good I want that in any game. I mean, yes. What about Pac-Man 2? You can't die in Pac-Man 2. The game, the game is too merciful for your fate. Yes. It wants you to suffer. You, you can die in the Pac-Man arcade cabinet. Well, it's not Pac-Man 2 now, is it? That's Pac-Man 1. That's Pac-Man 1 in Pac-Man 2. It's still Pac-Man 2. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, Green, but that, that's, not, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. What is that in the background? Oh, uh, this looks like stars to me, Joker. Talking about the spinning thing that's getting closer. <laughs> it's a board cube. It's not a board cube. That is definitely not square enough <laughs> to be a board cube. <laughs> they picked such an iconic, like, ship it, to have just be a square, and I love it. Dude, of squares. I want some, like, square watermelon. I was having this conversation with someone. It like, tastes the same as regular watermelon. Uh, that They said the same thing, too. <laughs> you like, fucking idiot. <laughs> but I want... Uh, no, it's, it, the it's literally it's the, the same fucking it's thing. It's the presentation. That's maniacal. You know what that just makes me think of? What's that? They can't have... They have it! Square. Square. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just what you just did. I just want some squares in my life, man. You got Square. me Square. I don't even know the context of that shit, folks. 
Yo, Juker, if you could have anything with like a square shape right now, what would it be? Square spaghetti. Like what? Like, no, I'm actually gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? It wouldn't be an out. It wouldn't I be an out, it. man. No, no, because I'm a man. No, you said I'm not pick a food to be square, and I, I picked the first one that popped into oh. my mind. Square videos. Why is no. that the first food in your mind, then? No, <laughs> no. Why is it the here's... first one? Because you said pick a food, and I picked the food. No, Why? here's... Here's the thing, though. It's it's like a monkey's paw situation. The spaghettios themselves aren't square. The container is, so it's now just a cube of spaghettios. Dude, I was thinking the that. same. I was thinking the same thing. It just like the box. <laughs> put it out. It's just a square fucking spear. Square spear. Square, square spear. cube. Square yeah. spear. Square cube of spaghettios, just all together. <laughs> just, just, that's called a box. <laughs> Just a box full. You just get a cardboard box. Just it's filled with spaghetti. It's like taking like a spaghetti o bath. Oh, it would be like soggy. Right, oh, we, that's get, disgusting. Uh, if we get a million subs. I will take a spaghetti o bath. Juker. <laughs> I'll do the mac and cheese uh, exfoliation as well. What what is the mac and cheese exfoliation? When, when you uh, exfoliate the skin with with uh, mac. And cheese. It's never it's happening, like, by the way. That's why well, I've set the goal so extremely high that it will never be reached. Uh, hey. give her, dude, give it some time. You'll you'll get that. We'll never get reached. We will Spe be happy. Speaking speaking of square food, did you know that if you put food in an ice cube tray, that it will be the shape of the ice cube? That is true. Is it redundant yeah. to call something an ice cube though? If you make it like you use like let's let's say like a skull shaped ice cube maker, is it is it at that point an ice cube <laughs> if it is not? A... I I I wonder who that could. I, I, I mean that, that, that could be. Uh, from. That's just that, that's just ice at that point. No, I just I just pick something that like I've seen that's an ice cube tray. Is that is, did someone else do that? Oh no! In hindsight, I I thought it was the uh, Dan Aykroyd thing, but that was Crystal that was vodka. vodka. That, 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 that was yeah, that wasn't ice. That was vodka. Vodka. Oh, Dan Aykroyd! Ice. Why? What are you doing? You made good comedies. What the fuck are you go doing anymore? Honestly, thinking about it. All Most of the time, when it comes to ice cubes, they're more rectangular than they are, like, square. Depends on the tray, really. I mean, I guess it does, but most trays I've seen have more, like, rectangular, like, shaped, like, ridges to them to make rectangular ice cubes. By the way, I love this level because it's just you assaulting one ship, and it's so big that you just fly all over. This, this was a great choice, uh, universe. Seems very neat so far. I think you could probably take these guys out with laser. Laser. Drill. <laughs> Square. <laughs> Square. <laughs> oh, my favorite whiz. Square. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm gonna post to Twitter tomorrow. <laughs> Even though it's not it. topical to anything. Sonic fans will like it. Maybe, if it hasn't been done already. Maybe. I don't know why it took me this long, but this the stage in general just reminds me of the stages from Contra 3 where it's just top-down view. Oh, I hate those in Contra 3. They're very distracting. <laughs> I, I think it'd like be neat, but though. I definitely prefer the traditional gameplay. It was it was neat, but I, I, I get sick looking at those, which is rare for me. Yeah, I'm pretty really? sure they were just trying to show off. Absolutely, they said mode seven sounds cool. Let's do something with it. Man. It's only two <laughs> levels in the game, but it ruins any enjoyment I have of wanting to play that game. Then I remember that... to play those levels. Sound master, that is fair. Ice Trap's voice does not roll off the tongue as well as Ice Cube's. But I feel like Ice Cube's is the only something that we think rolls off the tongue. But my point is, is if, if you use an Ice Cube maker that is any other shape, is it an Ice Cube? No, it's not. It's a ice. It's just ice. Can I, can I call it an ice sphere? You could if you made like little like spears out of ice. No sphere. Why? Why do you say it like that? Say what? Spe you say spear. You said spear. It's spear. I said sphere. Oh money! It's I hear it's mean, real mean? funny in a rich man's world. That's that's your ABBA quote for tonight, <laughs> for all you ABBA fans out there. What the fuck it's is for ABBA? the avalanche of uh, great what, Did you say what the fuck is ABBA? Yeah. They it, did it's Mama the Mia. band. 
Yeah, they did Mamma Mia. And I don't, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this on stream, but I'm pretty sure they did not call Mamma Mia 2 Mamma Mia Here I Go Again, which... No, they did, they did. They that did. was the actual title. Okay. I mainly don't know what that. I never saw it because I was working at the movie theater and I knew there was no way a Mamma Mia 2 would ever be a good movie. Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. It's not the same song. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's Queen. I got super tired of some ABBA songs because my family always used to play Mamma Mia so frequently. Mamma Mia is like going the coast. Mamma Mia, here I go again. I got tired of the title song and also Dancing Queen. But like some of their other songs are really fun. I love uh, Lay, Lay Your Love On Me, I think is the name of the song. Don't go wasting your emotion. That one's real good. I like how dramatic it is. Can you make an ice sphere? Yes, uh, you actually can. People do that in bars. Uh, they do. You keep your drink cool. I learned that because of Yakuza. I'm not thinking yeah. of Bohemian Rhapsody. Wait, did you just... No, did you just call up. Maniacal me? <laughs> Hello, it is me, Green. I know the difference between Queen and Abba! <laughs> I definitely know the difference between Queen and Abba. Look, Maniacal, I think... I don't think you know what That's they are. <laughs> Yo, this stage is trippy. Like... Maybe. What kind of trippy? Like, banana Look. peel kind of trippy? It's like slippy. you're playing underwater. Glub glub. Oh god, it's like the quick man lasers, but in shmup form. I wouldn't I wouldn't say these are like quick man lasers, but I see why you these say that though. It's hard to tell, honestly, in this game what you can and can't uh fly over. I think I think that's one of my biggest complaints with this game. Yeah. Right. Also, all these robots in this level look like Eggman robots. The orb ones, anyway. I don't see that. Look! Eggman's robots! I had to do that. I crashed. <laughs> Multiple shots. Multiple shots. You know, this reminds me, for some reason, of a really neat shoot 'em up I got on Steam years ago called Symphony, where it makes levels to your music. It's great. Oh, that sounds cool, actually. About. Yeah, it, I love it. I love games like that in general, but Symphony is one of my favorites. I, yeah, I've been playing the uh, the sequel of the night. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Symphony I, 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 I thought it was a weird choice for them to make a PlayStation game and then eventually port it to Saturn, but I mean, hey. I hear that's been off at I hear that's been off at a prequel actually called uh, Rondo of Blood. Everything really, of Dracula really... X. Ah, of course. Yes, the better version. Symphony Dracula X. Yo, so, I, I, I do like uh, Dracula X, uh, the SNES version. Yeah, of, uh, so wait, if it's you, definitely if you, harder than Rondo, but it's still good. If you played a Castlevania randomizer, would it be a Rando of Blood? Yes, I, I, yes. I've done that actually. <laughs> Talked about it earlier. Rando of Blood. Yeah, laser might be the best weapon in this game. I'm just fucking shredding. Is the, they can have a lot of stuff. Good. is the Castlevania fighting game any good? No. No. It's, no. <laughs> it's very Fair much enough. because it's like the last Castlevania game we got. It's like the longest one. One of the last Actually, ones. That is like one of the longest ones we're saying. The last ones. Yeah, no, that's that's not a good game. That one's fun because that one has the Death Note artist on it, so you got like Light Yagami, Simon Belmont over here, and it looks really weird. <laughs> I actually like the Light Yagami, uh, Simon Belmonts, believe it or not. It's, really? I actually, I think it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. They use it in Harmony to Despair as well, maybe that's why. So I was used to it there before I realized it was Light Yagami. Maybe. It's not too bad, but like, there's worse in that game, like, absolutely. Like, uh... Maria is the worst. Oh She's god, Maria. Maria is so bad in that game. Every Everyone she meets, he goes, I need to get bigger boobs. And then uh, she meets a character who has a bigger boob size than her and gets very angry. That is Which the is entire game when you play as her. That's so her, I had, all her story, yeah. I had to look up 
Light Yagami because I don't know Death Note very well and I want to make sure this is the character I was thinking of. This design is just fucking a catchy. <laughs> hmm? Every time I look at this character, I'm just like, that's a catchy. I know, I know Death Note came first, so technically a catchy is Yagami, but still, to me, he is just a catchy. Right, multiple shots better with one. Laser. But I got two now, so whatever. Uh, boneless. Can I get it, uh, boneless? Maybe one day I'll watch Death Note. I know Lappy has I been don't reading think exactly. manga. I think, I think it's okay at best. <laughs> Uh, all I, all I, all I can think of when it comes to Death Note is just, like, Wooly. Like, somebody was giving somebody else shit for, like, not playing Dark Souls, and Wooly compared it to just, like, you're, like, you're being that guy that's just like, oh, you haven't seen Death Note? He's just like, wow. You really fucking went for that, huh? Damn. He's not wrong. At least for my personal I think experience. It's a good stopping points. There was a couple minutes left, but feel done for the night. We're gonna have one last raffle to decide what we are starting with for next week. I hope you're you're ready. One day I'll have my rhythm heaven. One day. And there's still one more. You could have it here. <laughs> Perhaps. All right. You want to get in? For what we start with next week, it's gonna be Toho as usual. Get those uh, the Jew Lux out if you wanna ring the vote. I'm glad that you didn't spell it correctly. I spelled it correctly. I spelled it like the company. <laughs> yes, it is the company. All right. So maybe I shouldn't have picked this. Now Sentinel's gonna win. Fuck. The odds of Sentinel winning for that is. Oh, about a one in however many people enter. Oh, yeah. This will be the game. Don't you start fucking with. say anything. Uh, we're we're gonna start with this uh, next week. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Real quickly, once again, hey, charity stream on Saturday. John's channel. That's twitch.tv slash protonjohn. Be there. You're probably already following him. I understand, but in case for some reason you don't know, please be there. My block is gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be at 9 p.m. Eastern. You won't want to miss it. You might be excited for a lot of the other stuff. Believe me, this is this is probably going to be the dumbest block. The best block. It's going to be really dumb. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're just going to chill out. Mess around with some AI matches of dumb creative characters. As for other stuff, uh, I believe there's Chaos Cookie. There's um, Falcon Roulette going to be back. Uh, there's the Thrustmaster controller, which is a weird controller. But that it's all correct. supporting breast cancer. It is a charity that matters a lot to me. Because I feel like everyone knows at least one person that has either lost someone or knows someone currently who has unfortunately suffered from uh, any form of cancer. So this is this is a great way to you know, try and try and fight back. I would say also don't forget about the charity crowd control at the start of the stream yes, as well. That is true. There's also a charity crowd control. So uh, be there for that. I think it starts properly at like 3 p.m. my time. Uh, it starts at. Give me one moment. It looks like one o'clock. I want to say this is Mountain, but I'm not 100 sure. I mean, actually, hang on. There's one thing right here. Well, it, it says, took yeah, 1 p.m. Mountain time. That is well, it, well, it took Eddie Van Halen. Uh, he had throat cancer. I, I would say beating any kind of cancer is good. So it, save your money for Saturday. I think. I think that, that would be the best thing. If you could save your money, even if you got a dollar, even if you have nothing and you want to just spread the word, it helps a lot. I don't think you realize how much it will help. But uh, real quickly, uh, schedule for this week. So that'll be Saturday. Uh, Friday, that's tomorrow. We're going to be doing more Resident Evil Code Veronica. It's got dumb, cheesy Wesker in it. I look forward to that. Uh, Sunday, we're going to check out Castlevania, The Adventure, Rebirth, and the other Rebirth games. And then if we finish up with uh, Resident Evil uh, Tuesday, we're going to start the uh, the Muppets spoopy game. 
the raffle already end? Nope. It would have said on, on stream. So we got we got some good spooky stuff uh, planned. I've been having fun with Resident Evil. This is a a game where the knife is extremely busted. Anyway, let me give you the 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again. <laughs> for fucking fuck! Game. <laughs> and the worst part for me is that you and I did it simultaneously. I was one second off. Alright, uh, you're gonna start next week with... Let's go Brave Fencer Musashi for the PS1. Uh, All right. Rhythm Heaven. That's a good game. <laughs> Can I play Rhythm Heaven? I think, I think there might be delay on that. By the way, don't Not ever pick Parappa. I can't play Parappa. I literally cannot play Parappa. That sucks. Yeah, Wait, like why not? Choice. You don't have a CRT TV, and uh, it's off. Oh, because I wanted Vib Ribbon, and that might have similar issues. Don't... Be careful with rhythm games. There's a good chance rhythm games are bad for streams. But good music! Doesn't matter. I can't play them. Oh well. It doesn't matter because I didn't get to pick. Because right, Maniacal put brave, down at the same time I did. Brave Fencer Musashi. <laughs> a game that I've always heard very good things about. And it's played. so good. It is so good. It is an action RPG type of game. It starts up in like less than five minutes. So I think you'll have plenty of time to play it. That's fine. That is a great thing. Uh, we need a raid message for tonight. What are we going to... What are we gonna do? Go read message. Square spaghettios. Square <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> what are ice cubes? Square watermelon. This is square. Like, it's square. Just, just square. <laughs> square pizza. Isn't that just like the fucking pizza you'd get from like your school, like for breakfast, like a little like sausage that's, on that's them? It's called Sicilian. You could also go with like a. Does that actually with... have a name? Yes. I don't know. You could also go something with warp, I guess, because we're warping over to another channel. Broken warp. Square, Square pizza. That's just deep dish. But, I mean, All right. I know a channel that I could throw you over to that they uh, they just started streaming. They're doing some Mario 35. Give, give them some good luck. We're going to be raiding uh, the Andy Gaming Network. Really cool dude. One of the people who uh, is very nice in the richer community. Really awesome guy. Yeah. He normally does uh, speed runs, but he has gotten addicted to Mario Bros. 35. So please show him some luck. Let him know the warp zone is broken because that's actually kind of the perfect raid message for this game. And he's a very cool dude. Anyways, as usual, stay safe, please. The year's almost over. We're in October. You're getting there. It's almost over. We'll get through this. These are tough times, but we're, we're so close to the end. And that race is going to be a lot of fun. Please do not miss it. Take it easy. Have a wonderful night. I hope to see you Saturday. Hope to see you tomorrow. But more importantly, Saturday. Peace.